Hey guys, what's up? Let's start. Let's let's get started on it. This is going to be a long grind. This is going to be a very long grind today. I'm expecting heavy resistance, and I don't even know if we'll have time to finish it. <laughs> but we'll see. We shall see. Oh yeah, I got to enter my name. What's going on, guys? Welcome on in. Who's here today so far? Welcome in, Coffee. Knight, Royal, Ryan, Celestial, Eater. What's going on, guys? Crudders? Welcome in, everybody. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Sunday. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a bit of a challenge today. This is going to be a bit of a challenge. <laughs> oh, thank you for the hug, Crudders. I appreciate it, man. Happy Sunday to all you guys. You know what's very nice about today is that we don't have to play any bad games. We just get to play this, and if there's time, we'll play something else. But I, I this might eat up the whole time. This might eat up the whole time. What's up, guys? Coffee not finding any burr runes? Color me surprised by that. I can't believe you're not doing that. <laughs> can't believe it, but... But I uh, hope you've had a nice day. This is a monster of a challenge, Celestial. I bet it. I bet it will be. <laughs> I bet it will be. Oh my goodness! I'm a little bit intimidated by this button mash. Welcome in, dude. Just getting started here. Looking forward to it. Neff, welcome in. What's going on, man? Good to see you. Looking forward to this insanity today. No bad games today. That's right, Royal. No bad games, and I'm excited. I am excited. There's a forecast of a chance of rage with searing blind hatred. That's possible, Ryan. That's possible, depending on some how these levels go. Rage meter rising on Mixer stream. Count on it today. Count on it today. There's going to be frustration. I love this game, though. So, I'm not going to be hating on the game. I'm going to be hating on some of the stuff we have to put up with. Hey, welcome in, Rob. What's going on, man? Uh, question, do you enjoy suffering? You manage to take good games and make them masochistic? Yeah! <laughs> oh, I love the, I love this game. I love this game. However, this might <laughs> be something to deal with here. No bad games today. Yeah, so I'm, I'm very happy to be playing this and just not have to play any bad games. But yeah, this is going to be something else. In fact, there's some of the bosses I'm not sure how we're going to kill at all. That that being like uh, the doppelganger. I don't even need to bother picking up half this crap. I've got the knife, but I mean, we're not going to use any uh, anything uh, except the whip. Rob, hope you're having a nice day, man. Welcome in. Oh, I, I, I've mentioned this on stream before trying this challenge, and people were like, I don't think that would be a good idea. <laughs> Too late for that. We're doing it. We're going all the way, and we're going down the Alucard path. We're taking every steps down we can take. That includes the water level that you don't have to do. We're doing the water level. That's a good start. This is what I wanted to see. <laughs> That's what I wanted to see. I can practically ignore the candles. Since I don't need ammo, I don't need weapons. And if I accidentally use a weapon and hit an enemy with it, I'm going to take a death on purpose. So we can reset the area. See, normally I think I would already have the axe or the holy water here, so we could easily kill the skeleton. But since I'm very limited, we can't do that. Maverick, welcome in, dude. No bad games yesterday either. Yonoid, I admit, Neff, it got a little bit better. It got a tiny bit better. I'm still not going to classify it as a good game. But maybe it's not as bad as some of the other stuff we played recently. I will give it that little bit of credit. But Yo Noid is not one of my favorites. <laughs> I didn't exactly enjoy it. Uh, Maverick, hope you're having a good day, man. Maybe because I played this a depth, but I find this challenge much easier than you than your past ventures. Okay, I I've only done the Alucard path a single time in my life, so in the water level a single time. So some of this stuff is going to be kind of relearning it a bit. And since we just have the whip, I'm anticipating that's going to be a major problem. Because some of these levels in this game are heavily dependent on like having better weapons and stuff like. It, 
Okay, we're looking for health here. I can pick health up. That's allowed. There it is. Okay, yeah. I, I remember a few things here and there. Celestial, you got a one death run of... Uh, hold up. Hold up. Let me make sure I'm reading it correctly. A one death run on Act Razor 2. Oh my god. <laughs> How many one death runs a Holy Diver did we have to do to get it? You're gonna get it. You're gonna... One death means it's possible. Just like my... Well, I was gonna say uh, Ghosts and Goblins, but we had quite a few more deaths than that yesterday. But, hey, <laughs> if I can do a one credit clear of Ghosts and Goblins like yesterday, I think you can get that Act Razor clear. I didn't think that Ghosts and Goblins run was gonna be possible, and somehow we did it yesterday. And you guys tell me I'm not lucky, please. Please. Mixer's crazy enough to tempt it at least once, though. Absolutely. Absolutely. If I have to play this game for seven hours a day, we're going to succeed. <laughs> we're going to do this. There's a couple of levels I have in mind that I'm absolutely dreading having to do. One of them's that climbing level. I hate that one with the blocks. Oh, that's a good start. That was a nice start with this guy. The guy's got more range than I remember. We should be fine. We're fine. Okay, good start. Good start. Jukebox, what's up, man? Welcome in, Jukebox. Hope you're having a nice day, buddy. Welcome on in. It's brutal. The game shows no mercy. Each level's its own beast. I can't wait to try that. You guys have been telling me now about Act Razor 2 for a long time. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're going to play it maybe fairly soon. I'm get, getting a lot of requests for it. That and Shatterhand, I think I've got the most requests for recently. So, yeah, we, we may do those next week. We'll see. We shall see. All right, we're going to take the, the down path. Every time it gives me an option to go down, we're taking it. Those are where all the hardest levels lie. Farley, welcome in, man. Whip it good. Yeah, we're going to whip it good today. That's what we're going to do. I'm already feeling a bit of uh, <laughs> a bit of a restriction here from just the whip because I've never tried a whip only run on anything with this game or a Trevor only run. So I figured if we we're gonna do Trevor only, might as well just add the whip only part on top of it and see what we can do. No problem so far. Of course, it's early on. You're the G and G master, I, Celeste. I think that was a very lucky run yesterday. I cannot take credit for that one. I thought that was going to be like a holy diver type grind or something, but no, we did it very quickly. And I'm in a little bit shock of that. You heard Shatterhand, maybe next week, Smart and Tart. Welcome in, man. Hope you're having a nice day. Yeah, Shatterhand. I, like I was saying, I've gotten a lot of requests for that one lately, so maybe next week we'll play it. Saturday or Sunday, I'm thinking, would be a good choice. Alright, not worried about these owls. Good targeting on those owls. There we go. No problem. Rolling right along. Farley, what's up, man? Hope you're having a nice day as well. Happy Sunday. Love for you because I still have very little skill on both G&G &G and Super. Both those, Super is actually easier. Believe it or not, Super Ghouls and Ghosts on the Super Nintendo is, is the easiest to me of the three originals. The Genesis one is actually going to be, to me, harder to get a one credit on than the Super Nintendo one. Well, okay, that fire three. I thought it was two. I, maybe it's two in the NES version. Zaylin, welcome in, man. You're a madman mixer. Good luck with this one. Yeah, I, I, I've been warned this might be a problem. I've been w well warned. But Zaylin, hope you're having a nice day, man. Happy Sunday. I am looking forward to digging into this one. Off to a fine start, but then again, there's been this is the, this is the easy levels. Is the wall meet around here? I don't remember where it is on, on all the levels. I think I remember. Oh, there it is. I knew it was. Oh, you're not gonna let me get it, really? Okay, we didn't need it anyway. We did not need that. All right, down again. We're going down every single time. We're going down. There's a harder version of the challenge, like, officially. For this game, how, how could, uh, like, for whip only, what would be a harder way to do it? One credit clear, deathless. <laughs> I don't think we're going to try that. 
Now, one credit clear in this game might be possible, but probably not on this path, and not with Trevor only. I, I don't think I could do that without a lot of like practice off stream. I never practice anything off stream, so uh, I, I'm kind of like just winging it. <laughs> when I get on, I'm kind of like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> no practice beforehand, just just do it. I think there's meat on this stage, like over here. I think we need to look for it. There he is, okay. Gotta remember where everything is. I haven't played this in a while. Doing well, same to you, sir. Hope you had a nice weekend. Yeah, I had a really nice weekend, Zaylin. I'm sorry it's already Sunday, though. It feels like the weekend is just over too quickly. We need three-day weekends permanently. That's what we need. Make sure we'll knock this out in a couple of hours. I don't know, Neff. What about that last Dracula fight? <laughs> I've never seen anyone fight that last Dracula fight with anything but the axe. Or something else. I don't even know how I'm going to hit him. I'm worried about that. It's going to be a problem. So in the timeline, is this set for the original Castlevania? Yeah, a long time before, I believe, Royal. I'm not real up to date on my Castlevania lore, but I'm pretty sure this one takes place long before the first one. Like a couple of hundred years or something, I want to say. Well, this level's not as bad as I remember it being. Of course, I'm a little more experienced with this game since the first time I... Ah, oh, come on. Come on, it's just a stupid bat. Better than a bird, though. No whip upgrades would make it harder. Oh, that may... <laughs> How are we gonna... No whip upgrades. Okay, I think we'll, we maybe we'll try that in the future. I haven't even tried that with the original Castlevania yet. The problem with the original Castlevania, though, with no whip upgrades is, like, when you kill enemies, they drop whip upgrades, like, all the time. Not accidentally picking one up would be a problem. Maybe I can find, like, a Game Genie code or something that will prevent the whip from being upgraded at all. Maybe that's what we need. I could try and do that, just to add more pro <laughs> add more, uh, add more challenge to it. We could do that. Are you finally caught off on your garbage games? Yes, Farley, they are all done for right now. However, there is still Dark Castle to be redeemed. And I'm sure somebody will redeem that at some point. Okay, I'm missing my whip strike on the bat every single time. And now I'm all beat up. Alright. I don't remember what the boss of this level is. It's the bat, isn't it? It's the bat. It's the bat. I, I, I remember now. <laughs> All right, getting here with more health would have been great. Nope. Nope. Try again. Another shot. Oh. Mmm. Mmm, problems. Problems. If you go to the Alucard path, just be prepared for a very long stream. Oh, I'm ready for it, man. I'm ready for it. Yes, Sunken City. We're, we're doing all the worst levels. Sunken City will be included. Expect it. Massimune, what's up, man? Hope you're having a nice day. Welcome on in. I do not like this part. <laughs> Tried this with Alucard only and was in for hell. He's so weak. Yeah, we're going to try that at some point. I bet that sounds insane. Vance Velez was working on that as well. I think he ended up finishing it. I hit jump. Th oh, you can't jump there. Okay, well, this bat fight's going to suck because I have no weapons to work with. This is going to suck a little bit, and that's okay. That's okay. We need to do more damage quicker. quicker. Dead. Almost got him. Almost. Almost. He did not take hits here. He did not take hits here. Yeah, we could not use the whip at all. I mean, not use the uh, upgraded whip, but I don't think I could pull that one off. Retro Mike, let me get you a shout-out, man, because my bot still isn't seeing you. I barely beat the dra the dragon in the sunken city. It's going to suck. Grant only would be interesting. Yeah, there's a lot more we can do with this game. There's a lot. Culep, welcome in. Oh, God, this is what you had in mind. Yep, this is it. <laughs> this is it. Oh, Mixer will get lucky again. I don't know about that. Yeah, actually, I do know about that, Neff. If we get through this, especially that last Dracula fight, I will. that will be lucky. I am worried about that last one, maybe more so than Doppelganger. I'm not sure. 
Imagine the taste of a roast turkey stuck in a wall for God knows how long. Hey, if it gives health, I'm taking it. <laughs> if it gives me some health, I don't care how long it's been there, how many centuries. Meows, welcome. Hope you're having a nice day. I really should upgrade the whip again. That might be a good choice. Can, can I upgrade it again? I can. Okay, we're fine. Welcome in, Meows. Welcome in, Kula. Hope you guys are having a nice day. But we're going the hardest possible route here. VA, uh, VA Chef, what's up, dude? Or VA Shell, sorry. <laughs> I need to increase my font size. It's way too small. I can barely see it. Shell, what's up? No one ever takes this. Yeah, I know. Most people don't like this, this uh, route here. But we're going to do it. And we're going Sunken City as well. The water level that everybody hates so much, we're doing that. That's going to happen. I've never done that level without Alucard to, like, fly past it, so, yeah. Can you do Trevor only, Whip only? No, not yet, Pookums. Not yet. I've barely done anything Castlevania 3 related at all, except, like, some of the, just the regular paths and stuff. So this is going to be new new territory here. All right, I got here with more health this time. All right, we just need to move around the room better. That's all we had to do was just move around the room a little bit better. There we go. But Pookums, welcome in, man. Hope you're having a nice day. Dude, Super C is great. I've been working on that a little bit myself. I tried Super C last night and failed it. Dude, I'm getting into Super C challenges right now. We're trying to do a deathless run of it. Not easy. Not easy. How many lives do I have left? One? Is that going to be enough to do this level? Probably not. I'm not even... Why am I picking things up? We don't need any stuff. We need nothing. I'm used to playing the game the normal way, but no. Can't do that here. I think I need to go down here. Make this guy move over. That's where we need to go. This is where we need to go. Trevor's whipping those baddies into submission. Yep. Hopefully that'll continue on. It's all I can already feel it's going to be a little more difficult with the whip, even at this early part in the game. Day is great because it's not yesterday or the day before, which means it's not scorching me to death. Is the weather any? Bit, is it a little bit cooler today? It's not here. I hope it is for you. 79 here again with a lot of humidity. It's going to be a long, hot, dreadful summer. Not looking forward to it. I was supposed to go to the mall today, but now I'm stuck watching a pot roast my parents decided to make while they went out. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Tell them to watch their own dang pot roast. Man in the box. Welcome in, man. What's up, dude? Good to see you. Hope you're having a nice Sunday. Thank you for the follow, man. If I get hit by these things again, I'm not going to be happy. There we go. Well, man in the box. Good to see you, dude pleasure as always man i've been in your streams quite a bit over the <laughs> over, over like the past couple of like months and everything and you always stream late I always miss your streams but good to see you man oh crap that's bad that's bad 70 here and it's not raining it was a oh my goodness 70 is kind of okay i don't mind it too much i, I like 60s and stuff that's what. Where's the meat? I know there's one on this level. We're gonna find it. What kind of Castlevania three challenges have you done? Uh, Shell. I don't think we've actually done a single like m added difficulty challenge in this game so far. Believe it or not, uh, we we beat it with Sypha the normal way. We've beaten it with Alucard the normal way. So this is kind of be this is kind of gonna be new territory for me. We've yet to do anything like out of the ordinary with this game. This is a kind of a first for me. We're looking for the meat here. We're looking for it. Where's the pot roast? Hey, sorry, thought I was falling earlier. No problem, man. No problem. Great to see you, dude, and I appreciate the follow very much. Okay, I think the wall meat is like here. I think. I gotta get it before it like despawns. Okay, that's how you do that. I See, I remember a few things here. A few things. <laughs> From the, the other... The only time I've done uh, Alucard Path was the first time I played the game. I was like, I've heard the Alucard Path is hard. Let's try it. And it was really tough. It was not easy. 
waiting for my window kit for my AC to come in today. I'm looking forward to hooking that up. Sounds good, Rob. That's a project I can get behind all day long. Hooking up a new AC. <laughs> Rob, do you live in a warmer climate too, like in here? I'm, I'm guessing you do. <laughs> because uh, otherwise, this is the perfect time to hook the AC up before it starts getting too hot. Yeah, I haven't beaten this game with Grant yet. That's one thing I've not done. Hold up, I just... Yeah, I, I... One second, guys. I just dropped the cap to my drink here on the floor, and I think it went under my desk. Don't you just love it when that kind of stuff happens? All right, sorry about that. Love it when stuff falls underneath my desk. Good stuff. How's the pot roast going, meows? Hopefully you get to eat for free if you're watching it. Now I even get to like to go outside. I used to like to go outside before it started getting so damn hot around here all the time. Even if it was raining, warm rain is great for gaming. It's be, it's it, Good rain is helps keep things cooled off. I'll always go with rain. Anytime you offer it to me, I'll take it. All right, we're going to beat Alucard here, but we're not taking him with us. We're, we're going solo. All right, I do remember how this fight works. Plabu, welcome in, man. Hope you're having a nice day. Cyber Shinobi, hope you're having a nice day, dude. You're not even going to eat it, Meows? Well, that really sucks. Yeah, but charge your parents to watch it or something. <laughs> how about that? I don't really like people, so I tend to stay inside. The only people I like hanging out with now are you guys. <laughs> Besides, like, my family and, like, a couple of select friends. Like, I, I spend more time talking to you guys than, like, anyone else almost these days. And that's great, because I have a really good time here. I live in the Northeast. Supposed to hit 85 tomorrow, though. Need that bad boy hooked up before I hear you, man. 85 is probably going to be hotter up there than it is here. That's unbelievable. We have an early heat wave going in the country right now. An early heat wave. That does not bode well for the rest of summer at all. Absolute misery on the way. Alucard is this big now. Why is he so small? Good question, Royal. I was wondering about that the first time I got here. I was like, wow, he shrunk. I thought he, he was big and powerful, but no, I guess not. <laughs> all right, there goes Alucard. That's an easy win. All right, no resistance so far. None whatsoever. We haven't even had to use continue yet. Of course, these are the easy levels. This is the easy stuff. Indiana, welcome in, man. Yeah, doing good, man. Doing good. Just getting started here. We're very early into it. All right, we're not taking him with us. I'm surprised you beat me. I've been waiting for you. You're surprised you didn't even hit me. Need you to help me destroy Dracula. What will you do? Take him with you, leave him behind. We're leaving him behind. Sorry, buddy, can't do it. Solo run. We'll have to find someone else. Please be careful. All right, I guess Grant, Sypha, and Alucard can go team up while I take care of things by myself here. That's how that's going to work. Phoenix, what's up, man? Welcome in. Hope you're having a nice day, dude. We're pretty much just getting started here. Still very early in the game. It's going to be a long grind on the later levels, though. We're going to die a million times. You whip the ego out of Alucard, I guess so. I haven't seen the new Castlevania like anime or anything. I know it's been out for a couple of years now, but I haven't seen it yet. And I need to. I think that would be a good thing to see, because I've always been a fan of this series. Plabu, hope you're having a nice day, man. Looking forward to seeing you streaming again sometime. I know you're going to at some point. But welcome in, dude. Make sure I'm not missing anything here in chat. We had about 85 Fahrenheit today. I'm oh yeah, that's that's not good, dude. It's hot everywhere right now. Getting too old for this shit. <laughs> no, you're about my age, coffee. You're not old. You know you're not. Come on now. Remember getting here and thinking I was fighting Dracula the first time I saw that too. I was like, wow, Dracula this early in the game. But no, just Alucard. I doubt Alabama is any hotter than Rio 50 Celsius on the shade. Yeah, that's that's definitely worse. Jukebox. Definitely worse down there in South America and much more humid, which I would really dislike. I cannot stand humidity. All right, I'm glad it, I got knocked that way because that would have been a death right there for sure. It got knocked in the right direction again. Love it. 
living dangerously right here. I think this stage is pretty short. No wall meat there. Okay, Nate, welcome in. Hope you're having a nice day, dude. Nate, have you played this yet? There's a lot of games you haven't gotten to, to yet. And you're just getting to them for the first time. You just did Castlevania 1 for the first time. You did great on it. But welcome in, dude. Hope all is well. All right, are we through? I think we're through that. Yeah, we're already through that. I think we're already through that. All right. Everybody was asking about this stage earlier. The sunken ruins. Well, here we go. Here we go. We're taking that, we're taking that path. All right, the, the, this stage does have great me You know what? Maybe I should just die here on purpose so we can... Yeah, we're going to die here on purpose. I'm going to need all hands on deck to beat this level. Alucard will get the girl. Trevor will get the win. Sounds good to me, Plabu. <laughs> just getting the win on this challenge is going to be just... I'm not even sure if we're going to be able to do some of the later levels, but yeah. We'll see. And Super NES DE, welcome in, man. Thank you for the follow. Good to have you aboard. Welcome to Castlevania 3, probably one of the best NES games ever. What? No, no probably to it. It is. It's like a top five tier game right here. Got to get that whip upgraded. This is a, an upgraded whip run. We're definitely upgrading the whip. <laughs> That's going to be a thing. I'll, I'll think about doing a no whip run, no upgraded whip run at some point, but I don't know if that's doable. Come on now. I don't know if that's doable. I only run the lowest path, not sure why. It's definitely the hardest. I've seen all the levels now besides the one, uh, besides the uh, Grant level. I've never done that one before in my life. I haven't tried this one yet. I see Sean was playing the second Castlevania. I haven't played that one too. The second one is uh, the, pretty much the black sheep of the series because it's where it's one of those where the hell do you go kind of games. I beat it when I was a kid only because I had Nintendo Power and because I called Nintendo Hotline. Otherwise, I never would have beaten that, the second one. I don't think I'll play that one on stream either. <laughs> I'd have to use a guide to get through it. There's no other way. Piece of pizza, welcome. Yeah, having a great day. Pretty much just getting started here. And hope you're having a wonderful, nice, relaxing day as well. I don't think I've ever even played as Grant in this game. That's something else we're going to have to do, is do stuff with Grant in this. Because I've heard he's a really good character. Alright, lots of water guys here. That's not going to be a problem. Let's honestly, just keep moving here. Just keep right on rolling. Oh, so far... N n n oh, oh cr this is not going to end well, is it? Can I just go through the door? I can. You can skip that guy. I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, Grant's a really cool character. Grant's a cool character from what I've seen of other people. He can, like, grab on and, like, climb around these blocks and stuff and grab onto the walls. That's that's pretty awesome. There's wall meat around here somewhere. I know there is. I need to move forward a little bit or I'm going to get pushed into the water. Ah, come on now. Come on now. I'm taking too many hits. Probably safer to do it like this. Nintendo Ghost, what's up, man? Thank you for the hundred bits. Holy crap, dude. You don't have to do that. I really appreciate it, though, man. Welcome in. Hope you're having a nice day. Actually, on Mixer Con, show me uh, <laughs> the way of my brother. Dude, I appreciate it. I really appreciate those hundred bits. But you know you don't have to do that, man. Now, welcome in. Crazy Swayze, welcome into Grant can jump further. Yeah, I was told about the high jumping with Grant. And that that's really, really useful for some of the stages. But Crazy, hope you're having a nice day, dude. Welcome in. Hope all is well. I gotta do a run with Grant. Everybody seems to like him the most of all the extra characters. I like Sypha the, the most. But I've only done Sypha and Alucard, so I can't comment yet on Grant. Alright, this might be a bit of a problem, this fight. This might be a bit of a problem. <laughs> I 
Where can I hide from this guy? <laughs> Probably nowhere. That went great. <laughs> that was the place to be right there. Now I gotta get the whip upgraded again. I knew this was gonna be a bad fight. Jumping forward right there. Great choice. Great choice. I thought there was wall meat somewhere on this level. I guess not. I hate this boss in the flood state. Yeah, I'm dreading this part. I am dreading this part very much. I swear there was a wall meat around here, and I have no clue where it is. It's a slow flying bone dragon. Yeah, he's slow and he's got no range attacks, but there's very little room to work with. If you get into that fight with the axe or something, it's really not hard at all, but whip only, this is going to be a major threat. Man, taking more damage is just not going to make it any better. I, I better. I got to be more patient here. Having a pretty chill Sunday. Looks like yours isn't too bad either since you're playing awesome sauce like Dracula's Curse. I, I know. We're not playing any crap today, crazy. That's a, that's making it a wonderful day. No Captain Planet. No Yo Noid. None of that bull crap. Just good old fun Castlevania. We're, we're done with bull crap games for right now. There'll be, there'll be more. But not yet. Not yet. Let me make sure I'm catching up with you guys. You called the dra that dragon party. <laughs> oh my good, make Sypha look manly. No, Stellar, welcome in. How you going? To How's it going today, man? Hope you're having a nice day. Did my bot? Yeah, got you. Okay, just making sure you can control his jump in midair too. Dude, I got Grant. Sounds awesome. We're gonna have to do a run with Grant at some point. Maybe a Grant only run too. I expect that at some point. I would have definitely taken a hit on that one. Come on. See, if you have holy water for that kind of fight right there, it's going to be a piece of cake. All right, back to this garbage. I'm worried about this fight. I really am. How are we going to do this? I'm dead. <laughs> oh, maybe not. I'm dead. I gotta find a safe place. I gotta find somewhere safe. Gotta find somewhere safe. That's gonna be the problem with this fight. Getting there with more health might help, I don't know. I could be a little more reckless if I got there with more health. Alright, that's a good start right there. Doing good. Yeah, day's going well, Stellar. Everything's good right now. I knew this level was going to be a major problem. I knew it would be. Well, getting there is not that bad, but the this dragon fight sucks. Yeah, we played Yo Noid uh, the last couple of days to beat it. It was not fun at all. I hate. I kind of hated it. Did a bionic commando playthrough last night. Killed Hitler with a bazooka. That's a win. That that's amazing that Hitler's in Bionic Commando. I've never even played it before, but I've seen the ending just from being like <laughs> just from like being on the internet so long. That's one of those things that's gonna pop up every now and then, but I've never actually played through Bionic Commando. I would like to at some point. It looks like a game I would enjoy. I think I played it a little bit as a kid, I wanna say. What why am I picking stuff up? We don't need that. But yeah, a seven up dot game win. Uh <laughs> <laughs> oh, S -S Spot, the 7-Up game? The Super Nintendo one doesn't look fun. The one on NES is like a like a little board game type thing that's kind of interesting. I, I don't know about the Super Nintendo one. <laughs> that one doesn't look fun. I've seen someone else play that one as well. No horses, no noids, no captains of planets, no birds. Either. Well, there will be birds in this game. This game's got birds. Cool Spot's a good game. I, I kind of like the NES one. That Super Nintendo one looks kind of trolly. Alright, this dragon cannot turn on a dime. He has to angle at me, which is a good thing. Alright, there's a couple of hits there. I honestly think he managed to just stay over here. I mean, he's going to hit me a couple of times, so that's probably okay. Alright, I think we've done enough to beat him. Yeah, now the water's going to pop in. Here we go. There is a one-up I think I can pick up on this stage, but I think you have to like go through extra part of the water to get to it. 
and that could be dangerous, but I'm going to try and get it. Yeah, there's going to be birds. There's going to be birds. In fact, there's a part I'm dreading in this part that's going to have birds. Not here yet, but on the second to last stage, there's a part with birds that's really bad. All right, here we cannot take our time. But you also have to delay a little bit to make sure you don't jump into one of these guys. I think the one-up's over here. I did find it on a previous playthrough. I think it's right here. Okay. Yeah, th see, when I got here before, I had to do... Uh, I had a la card, so I just, like, flew up there really quickly. I skipped all this stuff. And it was way easier. But no a la card here. None of that stuff, because I'm a bad person like likes to play through Back to the Future 2 and 3. That might be the worst game of all time, Rob. No exaggeration. That might be the worst video game of all time. <laughs> I don't think you guys could pay me enough to put that one up for redemption. Even like, oh, you want 500 gift subs? Okay, well, you get them if you play Back to the Future 2 and 3. I, I think I might have to take a hard pass. Where does this guy even spawn? Oh my god! Oh crap! Oh god! I didn't know where he was gonna spawn. I was kind of in a, in a panic right there. Okay, so he spawns on the right side of the screen. I thought he was gonna spawn like right underneath me. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. We can pick up the one up again. I think. We're fine. I needed to know his spawn point. As long as I pick up the one up, we're fine. Just gotta get that one up. All focus now is on grabbing that one up. Back to the Future uh, 2 on... You know what, honestly, I should just do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Back to the Future 2 and 3 on NES has everything I hate in a game. Mazes and puzzles. <laughs> it's like the worst thing imaginable. If you've never played that game, a speed run of it is like three hours. A speed run! Taking so many hits. Taking a lot of hits here. Hopefully another bat won't spawn as long as that one stays on the screen. This level's going to be a problem. Let me catch up with you guys real quick. You need to add a 1 million community redemptions for your most hated jank games like Goten. Those are hard to achieve. Yeah, but see, here's the thing, though, Pookums. Even with a million points going towards Back to the Future 2 and 3, one day it'll get redeemed, and that'll be like the worst day of my life when that happens. <laughs> so even then, I don't think it's worth doing. Because <laughs> I would be dreading that worse than literally anything I don't know, maybe ever. I, I don't think I could m m withstand that level of mental anguish in a game like that. And props to anybody that's beaten it. I know a person that's beaten it. <laughs> and I can't believe he's still sane. I, that's got to be the worst game he's ever beaten. But no, 500 gift subs would probably not be enough to make me play that Back to the Future 2 and 3. Back to the Future 3 on Sega? We could probably play that. I grew that statement it would take hours to play Back to the Future 2 and 3. It's a game where you have to find 30 hidden items and place them in 30 hidden places with a word scramble. Oh! <laughs> so it's worse than I thought. It's even worse. Man! <laughs> Crazy says he played Cool Spot on Genesis 4. It wasn't too bad. I think Shiny, the same people who did Earthworm Jim made it. Okay, well then that doesn't sound bad. I've never even played through Earthworm Dream, Earthworm Jim, but that's not a bad game. That's a good game. Okay, so maybe we could do Cool Spot at some point. I wouldn't mind giving that a shot, Crazy. The Super Nintendo one looked really trolly. Oh, that was a good spot to be in. All right, he's definitely going to come for me. Quickly do not fall in the water. All right, that was not that bad. We could have beaten that guy on the first try. But I didn't know where he was going to spawn. I thought he popped out in the middle of the screen. I guess not. All right, well, there went the water level. <laughs> water level's done. You want to hear the worst joke ever? Okay, why is the ocean blue? Because the fish going blue, 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 blue. Oh, my goodness. 
Oh my goodness, Nintendo Ghost. Never heard that one before, and I'm glad I never had before. <laughs> Earthworm Jim's good. Yeah, Coffee, you weren't playing that all that long ago. No, not Coffee, sorry. Stellar, I don't know what I'm thinking here. I, you know what I'm thinking here. I'm thinking about how much I hate this level right here. All right, so I'm going to die on purpose here so we can come at this level with more lives because everybody knows about this level, right? Who doesn't know the joys of this level? This is one of the worst levels in video game history right here. And it's maybe not not because it's just a hard level because of what they make you do. Go ahead and kill me. Headless guy with a rapier or whatever this <laughs> whatever this guy is right here. Cool spot is good. Not as good as Joe Noid, but still good. That doesn't mean it's good enough. That sounds like it's crappy. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. It would be the worst day of my life playing Back to the Future Parts 2 and 3. It really would be. Go, go play it if you don't believe me. It would be your worst day too. We need to upgrade the whip. This level is going to suck. This level is going to suck for more reasons than one. Can I hit this guy from here? Earthworm Jim, I'll probably end up playing at some point. It looks like a really difficult game, which is fine, but yeah, we'll work through it at some point. Stellar, I like seeing you play it. That part underwater, though, when he's like in the little sphere, that did not look fun. <laughs> that looked kind of miserable. A dreaded seventh stage, yep. This is going to be something. I played it, haven't beaten it. There's a two-hour playthrough of Part 2 or some years back on YouTube. It's one of the funniest things I've ever watched. I may have to watch that then. Considering that's a game I'm not going to play, I don't mind spoiling it. That should be more than adequate. <laughs> no Back to the Future 2 and 3. You know what's another game that goes into that category? is Home Improvement on the Super Nintendo. That's another Back to the Future 2 and 3 type game. Because all you're doing is searching for hidden stuff. That's, that's all you're doing, searching for hidden items where you don't know where they are. And you have that one's even, maybe even worse. You have limited continues in that. And no passwords or anything. Shadow Mario, what's up, man? Welcome in. I hope you're having a nice day. Oh, these trolley things. I hate these gargoyles. These gargoyles are not fun, especially on the second to last stage. That's where you uh, deal with a lot of grief from those guys. Okay, we're going to have to wait on the... Yeah, this is going to be a major problem here. No! God! It's too early to die in this level. I'm very tempted to just die again. On purpose. Those guys keep spawning. I'm dying on, again on purpose. Screw it. Screw it. We have to get through that part without taking a death because it's going to get a lot worse. It's going to get way worse. And there's three bosses at the end of this level on top of all this other crap you have to put up with. Three. Three. You have to beat the mummies, you have to beat a cyclops, and you have to beat that red devil dude. So I, we need to get to the end part at least with like one extra life. Really worried about that. You guys do predictions on the channel? Yeah, if we had any uh, mods here to do predictions, we absolutely would. We've done a lot before, actually. I don't think we have any mods here right now, but that's fine. I don't even know how to do predictions myself, and I'm a mod at a lot of channels. I am guess I'm not a very good mod if I don't even know how Twitch works half the time. I know how to ban people. That's about all I know how to do with, like, the commands. Imagine the burrito ghosts in this level. I'll pass on that. After dealing with those yesterday, they almost destroyed the Ghosts and Goblins run. They tried very hard to do so, and they almost succeeded, but we got them. Retro Grifter, welcome in, man. Hope you're having a nice day. The rage is starting, Ryan. The rage is starting. It's going to be this level that causes the rage. It wasn't even the water level. I'm kind of surprised about that. I thought the problem was going to be on the water level. No, it's going to be here. It's going to be here. <laughs> I've heard home improvement is beyond abysmal. It might be one of the worst games ever. 
I honestly had it up for redemption for a short time before I knew what it was because people were like, hey, why don't you, hey, Mixer, why don't you play some home improvement on Super Nintendo? That's a bad game. Put it up for redemption. I was like, okay, I guess I will without knowing anything about it. And then I learned about it and I had to remove it from my redemptions list before someone redeemed it because that would have been the, the worst grind ever. It would have been like a Back to the Future 2 and 3 type grind. So I had to remove that. My mental health, I think, would be deeply challenged by that type of game. <laughs> In all the wrong, for all the wrong reasons. This part is going to be absolutely miserable. Okay, what we need to do is... Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, this is going to suck big time. I'm really scared. I'm scared. <laughs> Okay, we only need a couple more blocks and we can go. Just a couple more blocks and we're fine. Just one, like one more block, okay. Now we're at the checkpoint. Yeah, the burrito ghost there would be awesome, right? I posted the Back to the Future Part 2 run on Discord under Gaming General. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. You know what? That's going to be something I'm going to watch at work tomorrow. If I have time to do so, because when you guys like show me videos and stuff, I always save them from when I'm actually at work when there's like a, a quiet moment. That's definitely my video time, because I work a lot on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Those are my like work uh, so much that I don't have to do much through the rest of the week. That's why I'm able to have a fairly consistent streaming schedule right now. Very useful. But thank you, Rob. I can't wait to dig into that and look at it. Oh crap, there's a bat boss on this too? I forgot all about this. Oh no. Oh no. Stun lock time! Oh, they got free. Oh, they got free. I'm in trouble. No! 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 Oh, there's no checkpoint! I, you have to beat that to get the checkpoint. Okay, I hope everybody likes this level. <laughs> I hope everyone likes this level. We might be here for a while. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I forgot all about that bat boss was there. You have to beat that to get to the checkpoint. Oh no. Vance, welcome in, man. <laughs> hope you're having a nice day. Vance, you've probably done this challenge, haven't you? You've done this. One step closer to Trevor only whip only Gradius path. Everything except the Gradius part. I like I like what I'm hearing. Omit the Gradius part and it's fine. <laughs> this is going to be hell, guys. This is going to be a, a, a definite hell. It's a fun game. You can wear it down. It gets a little better once you get Alucard. Yeah. We skipped Alucard, thankfully. Because that, that would have ruined the challenge if I would added Alucard to the mix here. You, if you have Alucard, you can fly, and that makes a lot of these stages far more tolerable. In fact, the developers of the game probably intended that. They're like, okay, we're giving you Alucard here, but the path is going to be really difficult to get through. However, they weren't intending some idiot to be like, oh, let's just do a whip-only run. We'd not use Alucard at all. We'd just use Trevor. That, that's probably not really what they intended here. But that's what we're doing. Pretty sure this is the longest Castlevania stage? Yes, I agree. I agree completely. And uh, what am I missing here? So not safe for work video, just a heads up, not really bad, but he does curse a little at the game, no problem. No problem. I can keep the volume turned low enough to where people in the neighboring offices will not hear me. <laughs> That's happened before. I've been watching a, a video on, to, or when watching someone on Twitch, and like something really ridiculous happened, and I was laughing, and like people next to me were going, "What are you laughing at?" I was like, "Oh, nothing." <laughs> it was just something stupid happening on a on somebody's Twitch channel. All right, we have to do this again, that I don't really want to do. Indiana, this is one of the best games on NES. If you haven't played it yet, I highly recommend a playthrough of this. And it's not always this hard. Because there's other characters you can play as. There's the other Castlevania weapons, the holy water, all that good stuff. 
but this is one of the best games on the system without a doubt. Alright, these guys just swap positions over and over. I think we're going to be fine here. I just got to beat the bat. Or not let the bat push me in the water. That's the, the real challenge here. You can stun lock the bat. I remember just being stuck on this part for hours as a kid. Just brutal. Yeah. Yeah, I'm afraid that's going to be happening here. Crazy. <laughs> I'm afraid we're going to be stuck here for a while. Maybe we can get it on the... If I can get past that, that bat, we might be okay. Because I know what the boss fights are. But I, I'm still worried about it. These things are just respawning, aren't they? They're just coming right back. Okay, I'm going to beat this skeleton before we do anything else. Because there's wall meat to pick up here. Alright, skeleton's down. This slime is causing a problem. There's the wall meat. I haven't done whip-only challenges in this game, but I've done characters-only challenges for all three assist characters. I'm looking forward to working on that, too. Vance, I was saying earlier, I was like, yeah, I, I know a guy that's already done, like, the Alucard-only run and stuff, and that would be you. That is you. Castlevania Aria of Sorrow has a mode that's kind of like this game. Really? That's kind of like a mazy game. Those newer Castlevania games, aren't those more like a maze-type game, though? Instead of just a standard old move to the right and kill stuff games. There's a way to stun lock this bat. And I've already missed out on opportunity to do so. It's getting behind me. That's a problem. Alright, well now I'm in the corner. That's really not where I needed to be here. They get behind you. They And my whip won't reach them. Oh, lord. So much trouble. So much trouble. So much trouble. Oh, they turned around? Not gonna matter. I'm dead again. See, if I had the axe, we could kill this in two seconds. Alright, we gotta start over again because we gotta get there with more lives. Gonna need some lives. Gonna need some lives. Can't do it with none. Risa Cola, welcome. This is the run. Maybe this is the run. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this will be it. Alucard is uh, Alucard only is tougher than Trevor Whip only. I I, I bet because that you know why? Because Alucard has no offensive capability. His weapon sucks. Those stinky little fireballs. When I play through using this path with Alucard, I never use him except to fly, because I discovered very quickly that he had no capability for doing damage. And that was with Alucard, so yeah. Yeah, that was with him crazy, so without him, oh, this is going to be a blast. This might end up being the hardest level of them all. This might be it. This truly might be it. If we can get through this level, the rest of the game might fall into place, but this particular level is going to be the issue. Where's the whip upgrade? We gotta get that and get them mixed up. So I was right thinking it was Dawn that Alucard and Julius. RPG ones are Metroidvania's very solid games. Yeah, they have maps at least. It's not like a total maze, Shadow Mario. Okay, don't need to be taking damage. That, that's a problem. No damage needs to be taken here. I need everything for the bat. This bat fight is re like really easy too if you bring the axe into it because I, I killed it on the first try every time. But with the whip, a little bit different. A little bit different. And thank you for the follow, Exile and Mudville. Welcome in, dude. Hope you're having a nice day. Things were going great here until we got to this level. <laughs> I, I, I knew in the back of my mind that this level was going to be the problem. And it, it truly is. Can I just stay in these two spots? That might be better. Nah, we kind of need to do it from here. Yeah, we're just going to stay in this spot. This is a place to be right here. And then we're going to switch to this spot, kill him there, move back here. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Aria's Julius alone. I need. I probably should play those games at some point. It's kind of hard for me to uh, get into the ones that just aren't the standard old Castlevania style of move left, kill stuff, move right, kill stuff. This mazy stuff gets on my nerves a little bit. They should just stick with the formula. I know they were going for the Metroidvania and all that good stuff, which is fine. It's something different. When you took the Alucard path, did you also... Yeah, we did Sunken City, Vance. 
we did Sunken City and it was not that bad. It took a couple of deaths to get through it. But no, it wasn't as bad as I was expecting, believe it or not. I was kind of worried about it. But nope, we got it on the like second run or something. How are we going to do this? Thank you for the follow, Fragor. Welcome in. Fragor, good to have you aboard, man. I'm trying to get better here. <laughs> it's not going too well, though. All right, this is the better positioning here. See, this is what I was trying to do the other time and couldn't do it. All right, well, now they're, now they're loose. I got to do damage while I have iframes. All right, that's what I was hoping would happen. Just get bounced up there. Just get past it. All right, we need to be higher on the, the steps next time. Oh, boy, my favorite part. <laughs> Oh boy! This is everybody's favorite part of Castlevania 3, am I right? <laughs> okay, but I do remember the pattern. I think the last time I did this, I just jumped back and forth on these two ledges, waited for it to get a little bit higher, and then switched to Alucard and finished it up with a flight. That's how this worked. It would be great to get past this without dying. I only have a little bit of health here, and if a block hits you, I think it does two points of damage. Be cool if they made a Super Castlevania 4 Part 2. I would love like more content for these games, Ryan. I think the, the closest we can get is uh, ROM hacks, which ROM hacks are outstanding. I've done a lot of ROM hacks that have been really, really good. Dak, hope you're having a nice day, man. I know you've been here, but I'm greeting you now because I was ranting about something stupid earlier. But Dak, welcome in, man. Hope you're having a nice day. This part's just boring. It's not overly difficult. The hardest part of this is paying attention. It's not like my mind drifting into wanting to talk about something else. <laughs> but I have to keep in mind, you got to jump back and forth here and t take your time and you're going to be fine. There's also a one-up to pick up on the next area. I have to keep that in mind. And I believe this level also has a little bit of trolley platforming with moving ledges that I skipped last time because we were actually using Alucard and not Trevor. All right, just got to take it slow and easy. It's going to be fine. Pay attention. That's the ma major thing here is just pay attention. Let me catch up with you guys because I don't want to fall too far behind here. And then the tower climbing crap. Love this. <laughs> tower, it, yeah. Th 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 this shouldn't even be in the game. This should not even be in the game. I think. I don't think it should be here. Dracula X was the last classic style Castlevania game on Retro, and then there's Rebirth on WiiWare. Yeah, Dracula X I thought was good. I like. I really like. A lot of people say like Dracula X is like a inferior version of uh, Rondo of Blood, which I have not played yet. I and we need to play those. We need to play Rondo of Blood, and I've yeah already done Dracula X, but we need to do it again. I got a bad ending. Or Mazish, I guess, fairly straightforward by area, but you need items to expand. Closer to Blaster Master, yeah, I could maybe put up with that. Maybe. That Picard moat right there, crazy, is perfect. for the, That sums up this whole level, that uh, Picard face palm. It, it, that's that, that's a Mike Matea mode as it is. I, I I can recognize the style. <laughs> I can recognize it. Yeah, the pattern does change here a little bit. That's another thing to be worried about. Not too much though, just a little bit. I think I'm still safe to use these two blocks right here. Just got to pay attention. That's all you have to do is pay attention. Don't think about anything else. Think about blocks. As a kid, I never would have made it past this stage. I would, I would have been so... I, my attention would have drifted elsewhere. Glitch Slime, welcome in, man. Hope you're having a nice day. Pleasure to see you as always. Did my shout-out bot get you Glitch? I don't think it did. It did not. Okay, I apologize for that. Let me hit, let me hit you up with that real quick. I, my bot is, for some reason, it doesn't recognize everybody that streams. I don't know why. It's supposed to, but it doesn't. So I'll have to do some manual tinkering with it later tomorrow or something. All right, pay attention to the blocks. It's so simple, but it's also so boring that your mind just tends to wander into doing something else. All right, a couple more blocks and we're through. You also have to stand in the middle of the one you're like balancing on here so you don't take a hit. All right, now we need wall meat, and I don't think there is any on this this part. I am so low on health, this is bad. 
This is bad. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Not birds! Oh no. Oh no, I've got a hit point left. <laughs> We're not at the checkpoint yet, by the way. We're not there. Oh, that's scary. We do have a hit point left. There's a one-up. I really want to get it. It's down there. We're getting the one-up. The Tetris this tower. <laughs> yes! Except I wish we were doing some Tetris. <laughs> That'd be better. <laughs> better than that part. I think my dad had to help me get through 7-5 as a kid. Of course, he was always a better Castlevania player. That's really cool, crazy. Playing Castlevania with your dad. My dad hated these kind of games. My dad get, didn't get into video games till Mario Kart and Street Fighter came out on the Super Nintendo, but for these kind of games, he thought they were terrible. He was like, look how bad it looks. I'm like, Dad, it's a, it, it looks better than Atari. I think you have to hurry through this part or there's like no room. All right, we're fine. Now we're not fine. Oh, I didn't know these collapse. See, I played this as Alucard before. I... <laughs> no! No! I think we're at a checkpoint, though. We are. Okay. We're at a checkpoint. Everything's good. The bat ruined it. <laughs> the bat was there. Like a werewolf meat in this game. There's very little meat in this game. It's very, very rare. What would suck is Trevor goes through this all through all of this, and then he tells the story. No one believes him. Yeah, that's true. No companion. <laughs> no companion. I didn't think about it like that because I th th that probably changes the ending too if you get there without a companion. Did not think about that. Bats are still going to spawn, aren't they? They're going to spawn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're going to make it. All right, this part we need to... Okay, the ledges don't collapse if you're jumping. Go! Oh, we might not make it, make it! Yes! Okay, we're fine. More bats. Alright, more bats. Go, 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 go. Alright, now we gotta upgrade the whip. That's the next thing we have to do here is upgrade the... Okay, we got the whip upgraded. I can't jump here. Those ledges flip over and you will die. All right, pay attention to the Medusa heads. You know, we could make this challenge harder. We could play Loop 2. Loop 2 is even worse. Well, I've done a Loop 2 of this, but that was with Sypha. We did the standard old Trevor and Sypha route for Loop 2. All right, that's going to die. That's going to die. I think there's wall meet up. Oh, no, 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 no. There's another stage to do. There's that part that goes up or something. Ah. Uh. The B and B of Castlevania just yeah, <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. Kane, welcome. How you doing today, Kane? Hope you're having a nice day. You played this fairly recently. You played the Japanese version. You told me it was a lot easier. I haven't tried that version yet, but I'm curious what the differences are. I think I was told that uh, Grant actually has a throwing dagger weapon as his standard equipment. They made it a lot harder, though, because in the U.S. they didn't want you to rent this game. They wanted you to buy it. That's how that was going to work. All right, we got to keep moving. That's more than likely going to hit me. No, it didn't. Okay, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. If I'm on the stairs, they can't knock me off. This is scary, but we're fine. This is scary, but we're fine. This is very frightening. Okay. <laughs> that was frightening. I think the wall meat is here. I needed it last time we did this. Okay. You tried not doing loop two. It really is. Loop two we've done he uh, here on this version, and it's significantly harder. Okay, we got what we wanted. Let me uh, <laughs> let me pause real quick and catch up with you guys because now the boss fight's about to start. We have three bosses to kill here, but we also have two lives and checkpoint. So we're in good shape. Like on The Simpsons, Lunch Lady Doris is grinding gym mats. There's very little meat in these gym mats. You know, I'm honestly tempted to think that that's what really like my lunchroom was serving back when I was in junior high school. I wouldn't be surprised, Ryan. 
That's the kind of shit they feed you in junior high school. In the public school in Alabama, it was like the worst thing ever. Glove, welcome. Perfect emote. <laughs> Perfect emote cookie monster Dracula. Love it. Here, Jim, Matt burgers go great with a small carton of mock. <laughs> you try it crazy and let us know how it goes. Let us know if that's good or not. <laughs> let us know. Visiting every stage in this game requires three loops. Yeah, I'm going to have to... Oh my god, that would be a challenge, wouldn't it? Doing three loops of everything. I did not do loop two of, the, of these levels. So that's something new we can work on, Vance. That's something, another project. It's always interesting to find Japanese versions of the games that are easier. Instead of much harder, which is the standard. Yeah, Shadow Mario, they had to, uh, they, they gave the uh, U.S. market the middle finger by making these games harder. So you couldn't just go to Blockbuster and go, hey, look, I beat this game. I don't have to play it. I don't have to buy it now. But that's okay, because I got my Blockbuster membership card, so we can keep renting it forever. My, my, this is actually the one I had when I was a teenager. Believe it or not, I still have it just in case I need to rent another game. Grant Standard Weapons, a thrown dagger. I really want to try that at some point just for the novelty of it, Kane. That's awesome. You take less damage, too. Yeah, it's the rental market. The more I look into it, the more the U.S. being harder has always been the standard. Yeah, it wasn't always that way, though. The very first games that came out in the U.S. were harder in the Japanese versions, and then they reversed it because of all the crazy renting going on. And I think most of us that grew up doing that totally understand why. But yeah, it was kind of, uh, kind of interesting why that happened. Grant Standard Weapon is throwing daggers. Flea Man look reptilian in a Black Lagoon sort of way, and the music is of better quality. Interesting they changed all that. That's very, very interesting. Mad City to Bayou Billy. Billy, that's another good example there, Kane. That's a good one. That's cool. The Flea Man look different crazy. I'm going to have to look that up. I kind of want to see it now. I'm very curious. Still have to play through Hardcore, one of the few games I never played of all. Didn't care for the PS1 games. Didn't bother with PS2 Contra. Never played any PS Contra games myself. But Shadow, you need to play uh, uh, Heart Contra Hardcore. It's a great game. I think you would really enjoy it. It's difficult, but really high quality game. Rather eat dirt than the high school cafeteria pizza. That's one of the reasons I honestly didn't like pizza growing up. I never got served good pizza as a kid. I know that's like sacrilegious, but it is what it is. Double Dragon 3, Ninja Gaiden 3, Japan region is easier. Yeah, those were part of the... Uh, that was part of the rental market stuff right there. Those were victims of that. Text you from the ICU mixer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let us know how terrifying that tasted. And if you survive, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Love that Joker emote. That's another Mike emote. Totally recognizable. <laughs> His emotes are good. Mike Matei's emotes. He's got some of the best emote sets I've seen on all of Twitch. I think that... What, what's the guy that does his emotes name? Duo or something? His emote set is amazing. The last blockbuster is here in Oregon. I want to visit that. I want to visit that at some point just for fun. Road trip to Alaska. Let's go, Kane. Let's do it. Still got mine too, Mix. Well, Mom does another example of a hard game. Streets of Rage 3. I was already told to play the Japanese version of Streets of Rage 3. But we're not doing it. We're not doing it. We're playing the U.S. version. We're, we're making it more difficult. and play Go back and play the Japanese version too. But I want to play the hard version also. You guys know I like the hard games. Is this stalling? No, we're catching up on the chat, Coffee. Can't fall behind in the chat. Can't do that ever. Not doing it. Favorite Contra game is a tie between Super C and 4. Is 4 is one of the PlayStation ones? Or is it not? What's 4 on? I, I've only played the 16-bit Contras and stuff. And the NES ones. I haven't done anything beyond that. Maybe the Game Boy one. DS is 4. Okay, I got you. No wonder I haven't played it. Uh, Mixer, I did streams, runs of Mad City and TMNT Arcade and Manhattan Project. Those were all easier for the Japanese version, right? I'm going to have to look into that. Duo Decimus, yeah, that's it, crazy. That's who does his emotes. He does a nice job, too. Those are outstanding. 
Just played through Contra 3 again earlier, the MSU hack of it, though for some reason they didn't have the boss music in that hack, which was lame. That's crappy because the boss music in Contra 3 was awesome. See, I didn't even know much about Contra 3. We just recently played it on stream a couple of weeks ago on hard. Seven lives start hard mode, and it took a bunch of grinding, but we got through it. I loved it. That was one of my favorite games of recent times. I loved it. Doing Bruce Lee Hacks of Japan and North American Streets of Rage 3 soon. Nice. I'd like to see that. I, I love hacks and ROM hacks and different like fan-made games. Those are always good. Plays between levels jingle constantly. That seems like a screw-up. Seems like an oversight for that. I'll tag you for the videos. Okay, thank you. I'd like to see them. Ooh. I remember that from the first time. I, I Yeah, this is going to be kind of painful. This is going to be a little bit painful. Alright. The Cyclops is next. Yes. I know how this fight works. You have to fight, it, fight him on the Cypher path like twice. I'm just going to fight him safely. I'm not going to tempt fate here by attempting to get multiple hits in. We have plenty of time on the clock. You hear that coffee? Plenty of time on the clock. I know you like timers. I don't. But we have time to do this. <laughs> I hate timers in all games. That's why I'm not a speedrunner. I hate worrying about the clock. And that's been a problem in some games, believe it or not. I could have just hit him again right there. He's dead. He's dead. Okay, now we have to fight the big red demon guy. I don't think you have to hit this guy in the head. That was bad. He's got some kind of range attack. Yeah. It's like the Cookie Monster original fight. I think we're going to beat him. All right, that level from absolute hell is over. That was a big, giant, fat, red armor. <laughs> right, Dak? <laughs> really slow and fat right there. I think they were better when they were smaller and more agile. Oh, my God, we got through that godforsaken level. I'm very happy about that. We have a lot, long way to go, though. <sighs> I'm not worried about this level. I'm not worried about this level. I'm worried about the next level. <laughs> Oh, the death fight. Oh, my God. We have to fight death in this level with the whip only. Oh, no. Oh, no. This might be a problem. I'm worried. That fight's kind of RNG-based coming up. Because you don't know where all the blades are going to spawn. It's random every single time. Thanks for the GGs. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Didn't know there were any Streets of Rage Team NT hacks. Didn't see any on ROM hacking. There's... I've seen so many different Streets of Rage 2 hacks, like, from just, like, random videos being recommended to me on YouTube. There's, like, everything. Like, wrestlers, Street Fighter characters. It's amazing. We actually ex have extra lives here, too. It would be great to do this stage, like, on the first try, because we, we get more shots of death here. Alright, kill these guys. Didn't even need wall meat. That's what I was looking for there. Yeah, this death fight also has phase two. If we finish this quickly, maybe we'll do loop two. <laughs> That's not more than likely not going to happen. We can start on it and start making some progress. I mean, this does have passwords. Anybody, everybody enjoying the music? This is the original Castlevania of level one music. First time I got to this, I was like, oh my god, it's Castlevania 1 all over again. Alright, dead. And got another knight here. Alright, good enough. I think this is the checkpoint coming up right up here. Or there's a wall meter. No, we're not there yet. 
Actually, we need nothing. I think death is just right ahead here. After that collapsing bridge. Can't use holy water. Yep. Can't use anything. Gonna have to just whip him here. Uh, unfortunately, the number of people petitioning to put Castlevania 3 need to be large enough for the request is prioritized. And right now, there are only 10 signatures on it. 10 signatures for a, a wonderful game like this. How is that not available for its own Twitch category? This is like one of the premier games on the entire system right here. I think just running is going to be fine here. I don't have to pick up any stuff. That'll actually make this part a little bit easier. And here he is. That's stage nine whip only. I wonder what your strategy is going to be. <laughs> I have no. Uh, get lucky. <laughs> get lucky, Vance. That's the strategy. There's a Bubsy Streets of Rage 2 hack. Yeah, I remember Kane talking about that one. I remember that. Oh, he spawns in the middle here. Okay, let's see if we can beat him. Good start. All right. Outstanding start. All right. How about flying lower? Dang, I thought we were gonna beat him hitless. <laughs> no, not really. He's not even half dead yet. Jesus. It's gonna be a problem. I was actually dodging fairly well there, too, and it wasn't good enough. Wow. Yeah, it's going to be a problem. Permission to post the link in the petition? Yes, go ahead, Vance. Go ahead. Go right ahead with that. Seeing Bubsy get destroyed would be satisfying. Agreed. Agreed. I think we can all agree that Bubsy is in a very good game. <laughs> Bubsy 1 or 2. They're both awful. Don't let Hungry Gorilla hear you say that, though. She likes the first Bubsy game. If you're good at it, I can understand that. And she's, like, really good at it. <laughs> but for us mere mortals, not quite the case. Oh, good grief. Good grief! One freaking hit point. One. Okay, we got to be more aggressive. Here's the problem with this fight. I can be very uh, aggressive and deplete his hit point quickly, or I can fight defensively and dodge stuff. I think we need to be more aggressive here. I was way defensive in the first fight, but we didn't do enough damage quickly enough. We, I got to make a change. Thank you, Vance. Appreciate it. Bubsy is awesome. I like Bubsy 1. Fair, Nate. Bubsy is brilliant like a week of Garfield. Yeah, really brilliant there, Kane. Really brilliant. Bubsy 3D. And before someone asks, no, we're not putting Bubsy 3D up for redemption. Don't even think about it. No, that's not what I wanted. This is a bad attempt here. When he's down low, I gotta do some damage. Maybe like two or three hits. That's gonna hit me, of course it is. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead! I'm dead. I love being dead. Awesome. Roman numerals aren't going to help here. That, those only affect special weapons. That's not going to help. Whip only. Nothing but the good old whip. This is my last life, by the way, and then we have to play this stage again. That's not going to be a problem. This is not a hard stage. The boss is where the problem is on this stage, as we all know. Arctic, welcome in. Hope you're having a nice day, dude. Good to see you. 
welcome on in. Same for you, Jax. What's going on? Jax, hope you're having a nice day as well. Yeah, <laughs> no no double or triple shot or help, will help. I appreciate it, though, Celestial. Yeah, whip only. Whip only. Desert bus is fine. I hear lots of time to tend to chat. Stress-free and peaceful. So, yeah, but boring. That's even worse, Coffee. Now we're treading into the boring territory. Arctic, hope you're having a nice day, man. Welcome in. And Jax, hope you're having a nice day as well. Good to see you guys. We're taking on a little Castlevania 3 challenge here. It's tough. I'm not making a good starting decision with this fight whatsoever. We, we got to get off to a good start. I got off to a good start the first time. That was beginner's luck. Beginner's luck is a big deal for me. Not knowing anything is usually better than knowing something. <laughs> At least on early attempts for me in boss fights. All right, now I can just hide in the corner. That's gonna get it, get it, get him killed, right? Dead. It's gonna take work. It's going to take some work. At least it's a short stage. We can be back there fairly quickly. It's just an annoying fight. Haven't even gotten to the phase two part yet. We're going to beat him, though. Yeah, I got him at one hit point. Day's going awesome. Glad to hear it, man. Glad to hear it. Mixer would rather play Bubsy or Athena. Athena, for sure. Why? Because I know Athena now. I don't know anything about Bubsy other than the time I rented it when I was a kid, and I was like, this sucks. This, I'm taking it back. But, yeah, I like Athena more than Bubsy, believe it or not. <laughs> I, I, I do. You knew this would be the wall. I'm not surprised by that at all, Celestial. I'm, I honestly thought the wall would be the previous level, and we beat that faster than I was expecting to, so maybe th this deserves to be the wall. All right, taking a couple of hits here is not going to be a big deal. I think there's a wall meet like on the next section. Bubsy is better than Athena. Disagree. Disagree, Neff. In the beginning of the stream, all I remember was it was whip only. <laughs> It's been, honestly, it's not been as hard as I thought it would. But, of course, that's all about to, actually, no, I'm going to not say anything else about the difficulty because it's about to get way harder. It's about to get harder. You know, we could honestly work on loop two as well if we finish this in a reasonable time frame, which is not looking so good at the moment. Chaos Warrior, welcome in, dude. Hope you're having a nice day also, man. Happy Sunday. Don't get hit again. Do not get hit again here. Where's wall meat? I think it's in the next section. Do not get hit! It's not that hard. Just don't get hit. That was totally my fault right there for not being patient with this guy. Wait for him to attack, then counter. All right, wall meat's like right here, right? No. Where's wall meat? None in this entire level? Or did I miss it? I probably missed it. All right, we'll surely beat death with four hit points. That's basically one. He, he's going to one-shot me. All right, stranger things have happened, so let's try it. In fact, I'll use this run as like a practice run to see if I can get the opening of this fight down a little bit cleaner. No wall meat. Okay, so there's none on this level, Jax. That sucks. So basically, this first life is going to be for nothing. That's disappointing. I remember why I, I remember both why I wanted to play through Athena and why I never wanted to play it again after watching you do it. I was scared to turn the system off during the ending because I wasn't sure if I would <laughs> if I beat it. I was slowly conceded victory, but the game is a weird, alluring charm. It kind of does, Rob. It kind of does. I kind of want to play it again and try and get a deathless run on it. It's not the it's not as bad as I initially thought it was gonna be. I gotta drop down. I gotta take one strike on him with the whip and then drop down. And then he's gonna move to the right and we're gonna try and play it from there. But yeah, Rob, I, I definitely kinda wanna try Athena again. <laughs> and and do Deathless. I think it's a game that's kinda set up to be done deathless. You wanna keep all your stuff. It's, it's totally doable. We just need a miraculously good run, and I have to, like, reorganize my notes to be a little bit better for that kind of run. I think we could do it. 
Where's the wall meat on this stage? I probably missed it somewhere. You can do Deathless Athena. It's within your range. I think we could. I, we died twice when we did it last time, so it's totally doable. Totally doable. What's up, Studio Scott? Welcome in, man. Hope you're having a nice day. Trying a little Castlevania challenge here. And another bad start. He's going to move to the right. That was close, man. That was close. One hit away. Okay, now what's our reward for winning that fight? The worst level in the game. The absolute worst level in the game is now here. So we're staring it in the face right now. This is the worst. You want a bad level in a Castlevania game? This is it. Hypno, welcome. Hope you're having a nice day, dude. I'm dying on purpose here, by the way. I'm dying on purpose here, by the way, so we can go at this level with all our lives because it's going to take a Herculean effort here to finish it. And then I, th what's going to be the problem with the Dracula fight? Phase three. <laughs> all right, let's start it. Let the doppelganger is going to be terrible, too. That's going to be a, a major threat. <laughs> it's easy to kill a doppelganger with Sypha. But with Trevor and the whip only, that's going to be an entirely different animal. But uh, welcome in Hypno, welcome in 8-Bit. Good to see you guys. I did see 8-Bit here, didn't I? Or, did, or am I seeing things? I'm probably seeing things. Studio Scott uh, says, I still need to beat Castlevania 3. You do need to beat this. You do need to beat this. This is a wonderful game. One deathless run I have of this game, but it's a Cypher route. The Cypher route's not easy, Celestial, because of the, the ship level and all that stuff. Still difficult. Still really tough. There's 8-Bit. See, I knew you were here. Welcome in. Welcome in Magneto as well. What's going on, dude? Thanks so much again for the raid last night. For Yeah, that's funny, Magneto. I raided Jax, and he ended up raiding you. <laughs> I, lo I love how here in the retro community and like just from everybody that knows each other here, all the raids just bounce around constantly. It it's wonderful. I love it. It's such a nice community to be a part of when, when, you, when you see good things happening, which is like every day here. I'm being really cautious here because I think we need to preserve as much health as we can get our hands on. That guy's going to, yeah. <laughs> but Magneto, welcome in as well, dude. Good to see you. Yeah, it's going to be Herculean effort here, I'm, I'm pretty sure, to get through this one. This is going to be the major problem. I'm worried about this level a lot more than Dracula. Jax is a good dude, I know. Jax is an awesome dude. Had to leave my raid there yesterday. Ooh, that was close. That was a little tight on the jump. We're good, though. You know what screen I'm honestly afraid of more than anything else? It might be this next part right here. Lucy Lawless is Xena Warrior Princess. That's old school. That's old school stuff. Holy crap. Xena Warrior Princess. I haven't heard that in a while. Correct, Magneto. That's correct. <laughs> the raid bounced along. <laughs> Lucy Lawless was hot. Agreed. Agreed completely. I forgot about this level, and yes, it's a freaking pain. This screen right here, I think this is going to be worse than almost anything else in the game. How many shots of those fire? Two or three? Two. Okay, so after two shots, we got to move. All right, kill the gargoyle, move up. This is going to be require very careful planning to get through this part.
All right, how many shots? It's two on every time. Okay, so they're, they're not going to change their patterns. I think I have to be ducking here. One mistake and it's all going to end very quickly here. One mistake and it's over. Can I upgrade the whip here? Nope. Start over. Fresh start. Fresh start. I get pissy when things don't go right like that. So yeah, that was totally on me right there. Ah, this level. I hope everybody likes these starting over at these green, this green flooring here because we're going to be seeing it for a long time. I hate this level. I hate this level. I already took a hit too, and there's not wall meat until like the, near the end of the level. There is a one up you can pick up. And we gotta keep moving. The harpies do not stop spawning. They continue to spawn forever. Good start. Excellent start. Just what I wanted to see. More damage. More damage. I remember the first time I got to this level in this game. Absolute hell. Everybody was like, this is gonna be the worst level. I was like, this isn't the last level though. And everybody was like, have fun with this one. I love the green flooring. It is, it's kind of unique looking, Gamma. I'll give it that. But I have like no uh, <laughs> no good memories of this level whatsoever. Make sure if you only have one retro console to play games on for the rest of your life, what would you pick? Hypno, I would pick the Nintendo Entertainment System. The original. NES. That's my choice. Good old classic NES. There's, I can find enough to do with that to keep me occupied. But if I had to choose another one after that, it would probably be a tie between Super Nintendo and Genesis because I have very fond memories of both those as well. But if I had to narrow it down and choose one, it would be NES. We're waiting on the next gargoyle. There we go. Now we make a run for it. I think we need to kill this one. Can that hit me from here? No, but I can't hit it either. Okay, so kill this. All right, I'm going to back off again and approach the next gargoyle. This is going to be crazy. I hate this part. This might be my least favorite part of Castlevania 3 right here. Maybe even worse than that block section we were doing a minute ago. Maybe even worse. But I hope you're having a nice day, Hypno. Well, good to see you, man. Good to see you as well. Uh, who else just jumped in a second ago that I'm missing? Gamma! Welcome in, Gamma. Hope you're having a nice day, dude. One stake and miss it, and it's all it. <laughs> uh, lots of people I know used to help me password. It's more fulfilling to me not to agree, Jax. Agree. Doesn't that give you more lives? I think someone told me the first time I played this, you should put in help me on the password screen to get more lives or something. And I was like, nah, we'll do it the, 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 the good old normal way. I'm making a run for it here. That was probably, oh, that was the right decision. No, do not hit me. All right, now what do we need to be doing? Moving over here. All right, can I hit this thing from here? We gotta be very, very careful. I cannot hit it from here. That's not good, okay. I don't, I think I can block its shots from here. I can. So there's a method to the madness. Okay, that was positive. We have all our lives. We gotta get to the wall meet. No, no! Oh no, that's terrible. Okay, so live and learn. Be more patient. Once you know the timing here, you can walk right through it. Yeah, I, I see that there's more of a pattern to it than I realized. This stage likes to remind you that everything hits for at least four damage. Yeah, but four hits and you're dead. Four measly hits. Dead. It doesn't matter. We had no health there anyway. So the checkpoint, actually that does matter because I didn't get to get the one up. There is a one up in that climby section coming up here. Which sucks, by the way. It's not a fun place. Holy water wrecks the doppel. Yep, you can shred through the doppel with that or Sypha. Or even the cross is also a great choice. How did I take a hit there? I don't have an upgraded whip. Okay, the one-up is not in that section. I'm in trouble here without the upgraded whip. You can't make that move. I gotta relearn this level. It's been a long time since I've done it. 
This is where the one up is, right? Where's the one up? doing better than I thought. <laughs> okay, I think this is the top. I think we're safe now. I don't think you, you can get that if you have uh, Alucard. Alright, that went better than I was hoping it would. Let me catch up with you guys now. Anomi, welcome in. Hope you're having a nice day. Good to see you. What are you up to? Let me see what you last streamed. Friday the 13th. Wonderful. <laughs> I was just bashing that game the other day. What a coincidence. Alucard just flies over both these parts. Sure would be nice to have him right now, wouldn't it, Vance? Nomi, welcome in. And Shrapnel, welcome in. Hope you're having a nice day also. Good to see you guys. I don't have an upgraded whip here. That might be a fatal problem. That bat's going to keep showing up, isn't it? Yep. Oh, my God. Okay, we're going to have to beat this knight... Actually, do we eat? No! Oh my god, that's bad. I'm trying to find the upgraded uh, upgraded whip because we're about to deal with birds in one of the worst parts of the game. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go. How are we going to do this? This is this. Uh, I hate this room right here. I hate this room because of the birds. Can I get this bird activated yet? How about despawning? How about going off the screen or something? Is it gone? No, it's not gone. It's dead. That's what it is. All right. We're not going to make it through this. Who am I kidding? Make it through this. You got to have an upgraded whip here if you want any hope of survival. 21, uh, what am I saying? Oh, this is the infamous level kills me, Sage. This is it. This is it. Yeah, the axe is a really good weapon here, too, if you have it available, which would be nice, which I'm going to, I'm dead. You don't get health back on this part, either. There's no health. There's nothing. There's death and suffering and misery in this section right here, especially without an upgraded whip. Got to get the whip upgraded. You can freeze the water if you have Cypher here, but we don't. Uh, Mixer, would your fourth pick be Game Boy, PS1, N64? Hmm. I think Game Boy. I think I'm going with Game Boy. Got it sitting right here. Yep, we're going with Game Boy. I've not. I've got an N64, and I never had a PS1. I, I might like my gaming career was like changing at that point. I was in high school and didn't have nearly as much free time as I used to, so I missed out kind of on the PS1 and the... No! God, this freaking water guy! No! No, 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 no! How am I still going? <laughs> okay, that was kind of crazy, but we've got no health left for the doppelganger, even if we make it there. This is one of the worst segments in all of Castlevania right here. The bird! God, I hate the bird! You take the bird out of this part, it's fine. God, I hate him so much. I hate him so much. It's not good enough. We have to get there with more health. It's not good enough. I think I hate this segment of the game worse than any other. Right here. We killed him. 
We killed him, but I'm the, the water guys are still in the way, though. There's another water guy moving in. Get the bird! Get the fireball! Good run. Good run. Okay. Alright, there's gonna be water guys. There's gonna be another bird. There's just stuff to deal with. Okay, bird down. I don't think there's any... There is one more. Get him! Run! Alright, I'm gonna get to fight the doppel doppelganger with a lot of health. <laughs> oh, that was really scary. <laughs> that was scary right there. The birds love you. They want to be close to you. I don't want them to be around me. What's a PB for most consecutive rage out? So it was probably something like, uh, well, hmm. Probably Captain Planet, Vance. Definitely Captain Planet. I was losing my mind in that. I was losing my mind. I, they actually put me in some, like, gamer rage video on YouTube. There's a scene from Captain Planet on it. <laughs> I'll have to link that sometime. But I'm, I'm in, like, this gamer rage video about the elephant part in Captain Planet. It was insane. I wish your real life child was an a mythologist. Uh, what is that, Magneto? I, I, that word, I, I, not exactly. Is that something to do with? If it's something to do with birds, I don't want any part of it. That's probably why I don't know. Thank you for clipping that, Rob. <laughs> Somehow I like survived a million things coming at me and didn't and didn't think it was going to happen. But somehow, some way. Oh God, this fight. <laughs> Too much torque. Welcome in. Welcome in, Torque. Hope you're having a nice day. Rob, again, thank you for the clip, man. I've got links turned on now, so as long as people behave themselves and don't post any like detrimental links in chat, we're going to be okay here. <laughs> but yeah, I, I trust you guys, though. You guys are cool. When I was streaming Team Fortress 2, I didn't trust like maybe like two people out of like a million people that play that. A person who studies birds. I'll pass on that. Hard pass. Hard, hard pass. How's this fight gonna go? Not very well. I got no shot, man. I got no shot. If he's just gonna jump up there and get in my face every time, I'm just gonna die like a... Die like a little nobody every single time. How are we gonna do that? How are we going to do it? How? Just need more runs at it, more practice. That would help a lot, but unfortunately, you don't get more practice. Practice is not really going to be a thing with that, because I'm going to get there almost dead and with no lives every single time. It was a terrible run right there. That was just not a good run. That's not good either. Nothing good happening right now. Nothing good. Nothing good. Honestly, tempted to start over again. <laughs> we gotta get whip upgrade. Don't even know why I'm bothering now. Unbridled determination. That's what it's gonna take, man. That's what it's gonna take. You gotta get him with full health and take no more than three hits. Yeah, I know. It's gonna be nearly impossible to pull off because that bird section right there is insane. I hate that bird section. And we're not going to get p past this part without taking a hit. No chance here. We're going to take hits here. Because I don't know this section well at all. I know you could just go right through it, but... Not me. Not me. That's not going to happen. There's another hit. Yeah, I can't, I can't go fast here. i got to take my time. All right, take my time. It'd be nice just to reach a checkpoint. That'd be great. All right, I'm better at it than I used to be. I'll get. I'll say that. All right, don't you accidentally get on the stairs. All right, make a run for it now. I'm. I'm. I'm dead. 
I'm dead. Right there at the top, I'm dead. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Dead. Gotta get there with more health. Get there with more health. Need the music from Punch Out Training Sequence. Duh! Dun 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 dun. I, I can't even remember how it goes now. <laughs> I can't even remember. Because now I'm like really worried about that bird section. This is going to be an insane grind right here. This, this is going to be the problem level though. I, I feel like we can beat the Dracula level with a, a little work on that one. This one's going to require just an insane amount of luck to get through. I don't think I can get good at this level. I really don't. Uh, we're only two hours in. That's not too too bad. I guess I should be happy we're still not stuck on the block stage or something. We beat death fairly easily too. That wasn't as bad as I was expecting. But this level is going to make up for that. We're going to need a lot of luck, Kim Kong. What's up, man? Welcome in. Lots of luck. Feel like Act Razor 2 was made by a company who was good at making RPGs. Act Razor feels too rough around the edges. I like Act Razor 1 more from what I've seen because I like the simulations. You need skill, dude? I don't know about that. I, I think the doppelganger fight is going to be a lot of luck involved. I really do. Like if I can get some favorable patterns or something. He doesn't do the same thing every time. I'm going to take a death there if I'm not more patient. I'm going to be more patient with that. Really need a whip upgrade. Where can I get that? Right there, good. That's it, it's something like that. <laughs> it's something like that. I couldn't remember right away. And I played Punch Out a lot. There's no excuse for not knowing that soundtrack. You got skills, problems you keep hating too much. I'm always going to hate on sections like this. Always. <laughs> I can't help it. All right, let's be patient. Let's wait for one more pass. Now. All right, I'm getting a little quicker with it. Nope, not ready yet. All right, getting better. Showing some improvement. That's what I want to do is get better. We're doing fine, though. Should have just gone, shouldn't I? Should have just kept going. All right, if it hits me there, I'm fine with it. All right, all right that went good. That went good. That's why I love you, dude. Hate the love. <laughs> yeah. I could probably do a little bit better if I wasn't constantly hating on the hard sections, but that's fine. That's fine. We'll work it. We always work our way through them. I don't think there's a challenge we've started that we haven't actually got, gotten back and finished yet. And I'm not counting stuff like Life Force, because that we're going to get back to that. We're going to get back to it, even though I cannot stand those kind of games. We will work on them and somehow succeed. All right, got to be careful here. Got to be really stupidly careful here. Schmups, I hate them. I hate them so much. I'm surprised we got through Gradius 3. I really am. <laughs> That's even one I owned as a kid, and I, I, it, it, it didn't really even help me. All right, we got to get moving here because if I want to get that one up, we got to get moving. Keep moving, keep moving, we're fine. Plenty of time. That bird section though, it's so bad. I think we need to let this, yeah. Solar Jetman, that drove me insane. Not a fun playthrough, Solar Jetman. The problem with that wasn't the game itself, it was the controls. I never liked the controls of Solar Jetman. They just drove me nuts. Alright, I don't even need to pick anything up here, just go. 
Well, okay, we're back here again at the happy bird spot. This is the happy bird water spot. That's what we're looking at here. All right, fish men are going to show up as well. Let's get the bird activated. Where's the bird? The bird is active. Drop down. Drop down lower. Thank you. Okay, bird number one is cooked. Bird number two is about to show itself. I'm also worried about another fish man. Alright, bird number two is down. Their pattern's random. They don't do the same stuff every time. They don't. Can't wait to play Solar Jetman Jax. You've been warned, man. You've been warned if you play it. <laughs> Enjoy the controls. Bird down. Bird down. No! Mm, I'm not happy. Wanted to do that without taking a hit. It's really hard to do, though. All right, we have another bird moving in. Water guy got me. I wasn't ready for it bird. It's over. Kaput. Better luck next time. Better luck next time. Birds win that round. Doppelganger doesn't get a win. He's going to hit me one time and I'm going to die. I'm not giving him credit for the win. Unless we can beat Doppelganger without getting hit. <laughs> what are the odds of that? I love the Jetman. I don't. Hard pass on the ever playing the Jetman again. That was a that took a long time too. All right, so here we are, screwed up again. People keep hating it. I keep loving. There's the stupid bird right there. I see it. That's it, Retro Mike. I hate that bird worse than the Ninja Gaiden ones, even more so. Grick, welcome in, man. How you doing today? You're about to see a death right here, but Grick, happy Sunday, man. Hope you're having a nice day. Back up. I gotta back up, man. I gotta. Birds. Birds! Stop! Oh my god! I don't have the upgraded. They don't even give you the upgraded whip here. And you guys wonder why I hate birds so very much with every ounce of my being. And they're RNG in this spot. At least the ones in Ninja Gaiden have a consistent flight pattern. These just go all over the place. All over the place. Total random garbage. I hate it. <laughs> What's better, Solar Jetman or Yo Noid? I like to, uh, and you put it that way, I'll take Yo Noid. At least that's a fairly, a game you can beat fairly quickly. Solar Jetman was long. Why are you under me? Why are you under me? Oh my god! <laughs> what did I say about RNG? The bird was underneath me that time. What can I do? It despawned. Good. 
a moment of re a, a, a moment of relief. It despawned. If I don't jump here, will it not see me? If you don't jump there, it doesn't see you. Oh, it saw me. Never mind. It saw me. I thought I disco discovered something. I did not. Pros the chat should collect, uh, to buy Mixer a pet parakeet, so Mick, no, 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 no parakeet. A friend of mine wanted to get one of those talking birds, a minor bird back in high school days. I'm, I'm glad that didn't happen. Okay, another bird down. It's somewhat of a decent run now. Yes! No! Yes, okay. We're not getting any stuff right there. Do not fall. Bats, uh, birds, bats, and frogs are hand down the worst Castlevania enemies. Eighth loop in Chronicles, the bats move at warp speed. Kind of like the birds in uh, Ghost and Goblins moving at warp speed. Kind of like that. On loop 12. I was... I couldn't do anything about it. I'll have to accept it. One hit. Just accept it. It's not like that you can do anything about it at this point. Oh, I've screwed that up. I'm screwed up. Oh, we made it through that. That's a miracle. I started jumping when I didn't need to. We made it. We made it! You're still too close when you jump for the candle. Oh. Okay. But I kind of needed the uh, upgraded whip, so it's kind of like a, a rock in a, between a rock and a hard place at that point. You need it badly. I'll try that next time. Steamy, what's up, man? What's going on? Hope you're having a nice day. Hope you're getting ready for your test. Let's go. Can you jump? You can jump over him. The timing is, like, impossible. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm just so dead. It's going to take some work. It's going to take some work. I gotta just mentally prepare myself that it, we could be here for a long time and that's gonna take work. I can do that. I can do that. I just have to get a little bit luckier with some of those patterns. He's getting right in my face every time. That doesn't always happen like that. There's some RNG involved with the doppelganger fight and I'm getting the worst possible. He's getting my face every single time. He doesn't always do that. Sometimes he'll like jump and not even go up to the high platform. But this time he's doing it every single time and giving me no opportunity. How's it impossible when I just did it? I don't know. Don't listen to me. I'm just gri griping and complaining. <laughs> I'm just griping and complaining. Don't listen. I don't even know what I say half the time. <laughs> Insomnios is welcome, buddy. Hope you're having a nice day also. We're trying a little Castlevania 3 challenge here, and it's really painful, and it's not going so great, but I mean, that there's, we're going to get it, I feel. Maybe at some point today. <laughs> Maybe at some point. This boss is a workout. I, I know. I'm already exhausted. <laughs> I'm like, I'm done. Okay, we made it past that quicker. I'm not going to make it past that quicker, though. I'm getting a little faster, a little more confidence with this part. Okay, being on the edge here might help me. Yeah, it's going to help me. All right, we're going to wait for an opportunity here. It's got to be a good one. That's not good enough. Next pass might be it. That's it. Oh! A little not quick enough. Not quick enough there. Might be better to just run past this. I'm going to try. Not a good idea. S -s got to stick with what I know. I got to stick with what I know. Not experiment. When I start experimenting, things go off the rails a little bit. Can't stay, but good luck, Mixer. You got this. Thank you, Raku. I appreciate it. I appreciate it very much. Hope you have a nice day. It means I'm impossibly good. I wish, Kim Kong. I wish, dude. What a le what a level. What a level. 
Definitely the worst. Just got here from Ellie's Parasite Eve movie watch party. How you doing, Mixer? Doing good, man. Oh, there was a Parasite Eve watch party. That sounds fun. If I hadn't been streaming, I would have liked to have gone to see that. That would have been good stuff. That would have been the first movie I'd attended with other people in quite a, quite a long time. <laughs> I haven't been to the movie theater since... Uh, yeah, I know you guys were just watching it on Discord and stuff, but I haven't been to an actual like movie theater since uh, Star Wars... Uh, what it, whatever is it called? The one with Jar Jar. You guys know what I'm talking about. That's the last time I actually went to a movie. Alright, this is not going to end well if I don't keep moving. I keep moving. Gotta keep moving here. Phantom Menace. That's what I was trying to remember. Alright, Axe. Don't care about that. Skeleton we need to kill. Keep moving. All right, here we have to delay a little bit because I, I got got caught by that thing more times than I care to count doing it the first playthrough. So with my vacation gone now, I have to sleep to be someone to work for way. Okay, coffee. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you very much. You uh, you sleep good, and I'm sure I will see you again on Thursday. Back to whatever we're doing on Thursday. I don't know what that's gonna be, but yeah, I'll see you then, coffee. Have a good night, man. Always a pleasure. It's like 1999. I know I hadn't been in the movie theater since 1999. Maybe that was just like the Jar Jar experience was so bad that I just didn't want to go to another movie. I don't know. See, that time the bird was favorable. I can't control what the bird does. I can't control it. It's not up to me. It's up to the bird. And it's never going to choose favorably for me. Ever. Alright, so I'm just going to keep walking here and just hopefully it won't see me. <laughs> That's the new plan. Keep walking and hope it doesn't see me. It didn't. But that means I'll have to fight it up there, though, right? I mean, it, it's going to respawn. What? How did that happen? How did that garbage happen? At least we can get to this section with somewhat frequency. I mean, but still going to have to put up with the bird every single time. I missed him. Now there's two of them. Now there's none of them. <laughs> Don't you just love how that worked out right there? The other bird despawned and I killed the uh, in the second one. That was amazing. That was unbelievable. All right, doppelganger fight again. Time to die in two seconds. It was a lot of fun. I bet Insomniosis. I bet. I'm glad you found Ellie's channel. Ellie's awesome. Nice to see you hanging out there, man. I haven't been to the movies in like 12 years. There, to me, there just hasn't been any reason to go. <laughs> That's what it is for me. The price of admission is not bad. It's the price of snacks and drinks. You sneak your own drink in in your pocket or something. That's what you need to do. Bird is not the word. Bird is not the word, no. Odds of reacting to that off-screen kamikaze bird, 0%. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, see, he's doing different stuff this time. It's RNG. I can't control where he goes. I can't control it. I need upgraded whip. I can't win this without an upgraded whip. 
I have to get it somehow. I have to get it. If that means activating another bird, so be it. But I have to get the upgraded whip to win the doppelganger fight. Why am I not hitting it? Where's the upgraded whip? Eldurian, welcome in, man. <laughs> welcome in. <laughs> oh, my whole world just collapsed right there. <laughs> Thank you, Crudders. I appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ale, hope everything's going well, man. Hope it's going well, dude. This is craziness. This is insanity. We get to do the swearing for you. Please do. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> There's the upgraded whip. Make sure you need to invest in a heavy bag. Keep it on the right side of you. I, I do kind of need one, don't I? I do kind of need one. So I can hit something when things go wrong. That would be great. Now I'm going to take a hit. I can't do this without taking at least one hit. I have to take one. Always fun checking on Mixer's crazy challenges. Oh, this one's a doozy, especially this level. Honestly, this wasn't very hard until we got to this level. Now everything's come apart. And it's because of that one bird section in this doppelganger fight. I think I see something I can work with here. I think I've got something, guys. I think I've got this. Got the pattern down. Got the pattern. We're good. Got the pattern. Holy crap. Oh, good start. Bird hits me in the face while I, before I can even move. Alright, you know what? I'm going to die here so we can go and start working on this level with all our lives. Thanks for the GG's, guys. Appreciate it very much. I feel good we got through that level. Now we got to figure out... Excuse me. Figure out the Dracula fight here. Mixer and pain makes me want to offer all the hugs. I appreciate it, man. I do. I appreciate it very much. I like how you're still dodging the dagger, even though this is a whip only run. I know. I know. It, it's like a, it's like a subconscious thing now. I see another weapon. I can't get it. Even if I don't use it, it doesn't matter. I'm still trying to avoid them. I'm an idiot all drunk elbowed and punched a huge hole in my wall and smashed two doors. I need to flip an heavy bag as well. It sounds like you do, man. That would be a good investment, Grick. Don't damage the house. Find something else to beat up on. Like a bird or something. Thank you for the hug, dude. I appreciate it, Insomniosis. We're, we're getting through this. We're getting through this. The rest of the game is gravy. I don't know about the Dracula fight, though. I don't know about the... Uh, how that second Dra that Dracula phase is going to work. Not the second one, the third one. That's what I'm... Uh-oh. I'm dead. I'm dead. I made the wrong decision there. You gotta go right. You gotta go right. I did not do it fast enough. I love how they just swarm you with birds right there. Alright, I'm going to start over. we got to get there with lives. No reason to continue onward from the very beginning here unless you get some lives. Honestly, think you have enough intel to 1cc this challenge in the future? That's possible. We've learned an awful lot here. An awful, awful, awful lot. That This would be an amazing one credit clear. I wouldn't be against trying it, that's for sure. Honestly, maybe start a little bit easier. Maybe start with an a la carte uh, one credit clear run for this, maybe. And then work into the Trevor, Trevor only. I don't know. A lot to think about with this. 
I'd love to do it, though. It would be great and see the hate spewing through. <laughs> it's always birds that ruin everything. They're even, somehow they're more obnoxious here than they were in Ninja Gaiden. I know I've said that before, but it, it's true. It's totally true. All right, this is the right path now. I screwed that up. This jump has to be pretty specific as well. Okay, there we go. Okay, this part, I think the floor... They fire three shots here. Okay, three. That's changing the rules. That would be three, not two anymore. And now the shots are coming from the bottom. That's different. That's completely different as well. Okay, so a little bit more learning. A little bit more of learning about what to expect. Three shots, and this time they come from the bottom on the second one. All right, I'm going to get my lives back. Because you don't start at Dracula in this one. You do not start at Dracula if you make it there. You have to... I just love all this RNG on the birds. Just total RNG. Whenever you look at those Final Fantasy VII pages I sent, you'd love to hear your thoughts on a mixer. Yes, I will be looking at those tomorrow when working. Well, don't don't tell my employer or anything though. But that but yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> but so yeah, and expect to hear me uh, tomorrow on that insomniosis for sure. Birds or mixers crypt tonight? Agreed. 100% Neff. Agreed. Could not agree more. part's not that hard. This part's not that hard. It's just memorization about where you're supposed to go, when to drop down, all that good stuff. And there's a one-up on this stage, but I don't think we can get it because I think you need the axe to be able to reach it. Alright, much better now that I've got the pattern down AVGN part there. <laughs> there's always going to be a lot of AVGN style reactions here, and I can't help it. I, I just can't. It is what it is. Yeah, it's, it's RNG just screws you over so badly sometimes. Well, you've done Castlevania Loop 2 Sypho. Maybe Castlevania Loop 2 Alucard would be a more natural way to grow. I think so. I think that would be a really nice uh, challenge for that. That's much safer. Just skip the stupid thing. Just skip it. I will from now on. I'm not going to try and kill that anymore. All right, there's meat over here, and we should probably get it. All right. You know what? I should have killed... Oh, I should have waited. This this skeleton, we should have killed that first. And then gone back. No, this skeleton would have just respawned. That's right. That's right, and it's not that big of a threat anyway. Are you a gamer if you don't yell at a game? Probably not. Probably not. If you're yelling at a game, you're doing everything correct, right? worried about a bat spawn from the right side. Almost overjumped that one. Alright, well we made it to Dracula. Not that weapons or anything are going to help here. Yeah, we beat Doppel. We got him, Jax. We got him. There's a pattern that you can memorize that worked. I finally picked up on the pattern enough. Alright, picking up weapons. This is way past ABG, though, more likely. Less staged events. Loving it. Yeah, that's true. I think a lot of his stuff is staged. It's not genuine rage based on what game it is. Alright, I know this fight because I've done it a lot.
Didn't know which way it was gonna go. I'm trying to be on the, the, the side where he's moving away from. There's an opportunity to go under him. You kind of need to take it. Uh-oh. Do we need to go on this side? Oh, crap. It... Ah! <laughs> it was a good run. That was a good run. That was a nice run. And that was close. That fight's winnable. That fight's winnable. That's not a hit we can afford to take right there. That is not a hit we can afford to take from that. That's going to make the Dracula fight worse. You don't get health back before Dracula. Oh my god. Got to do that part hitless, basically. You want to get to Dracula with full health. Bats are going to be random. Probably going to get knocked off again. Okay. Yeah, everything's good on connections right now. We're good on all connections. No problems. No problems. The only person I've ever seen say calm and happy after dying a million times is Retro Shimmy. It's like he's on a lifelong anxiety. Yeah, he's really chill, Grick. He's really chill. Some people are just really good at that kind of stuff. Arcus is a speedrunner that stays insanely chill as well. There's some people that are just built for that kind of stuff. Alright, we need a good, clean fight against Dracula. Part's not very difficult, but you just gotta pay attention to what's going on. Do I wanna be over there? Where do I wanna be? Probably gonna get hit here. Not sure where to be. That's kind of a problem, not knowing where to be here. Can't get him now. What? what? Sucks, man. That sucks. Get there with more health. Get there with more health. Can't get there with two hit points. That's a problem. That's a problem. Was Hugh Hefner really Dracula? That robe might have been. <laughs> That's probably him. More than likely. <laughs> oh, this is what it's like if you decide not to use axes there. Have you never tried it, Vance? I'm surprised. I'm surprised you haven't done this challenge deathless already. But yeah, you not having the axe there is a major, major threat. I'm worried about it. <laughs> but we had them very low hit points that other time. It's it's going to be doable. Allie, welcome. How are you doing today, Allie? Hope you're having a nice Sunday. Nice that you got to stream for like the first time in like a year. That's outstanding. I can't wait to catch you sometime. That's going to be great. 
playing Maniac Mansion too. I played that as a kid. Couldn't beat it though without Nintendo Power and all that stuff helping out. All right, that was maybe not the jump we were looking for, but Allie, hope all's going well. Why am I drippings with goo? I wish. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. That sucks. I, that had to happen at some point, right? That had to happen at some point. Me and Wolfmaster do si no do simple no death runs. That's as far as we'd like to stretch. I, no death is great, but it it's just the the practice level required for me and the lack of time to work on it is, prevents me from learning a lot of deathless runs. I'm happy with what we've managed to do so far, though. I'm I'm really happy, and that's going to continue. Just my biggest issue with learning how to do some of these challenges is just lack of time. I wish I had time to practice off stream, but probably not happening anytime soon. No problem, Allie. Always glad to. And my shout out seeing you. I think it has been all along, even though you haven't streamed in a while, but that's good. Looking forward to catching you. Don't fall here. Don't fall here. Okay couple more screens to get through and we're back to where we were. This is a very short stage. That's what we want there. I'm going to just try and jump over this thing. Let's we'll see if we can do that. You can do that. All right. Live and learn. Live and learn. More of a 1cc no death run gamer than a weapon only gamer. The only weapon restriction I've done are in Contra and Galaga 88. Yeah, because I re that's where I got the idea for the the weapon runs. Vance was from you. You su you suggested those, like the machine gun only and the laser only challenges and stuff. I had a good time doing that. We're not even done. We we still got to do the flame weapon. All right, we got to move the skeleton back. That's how you do this part. Move him back, and hopefully he stays back. Dead. Okay. Good stuff. It was really late, no worries. Yeah, it was pretty late last night, but no, I'm just glad to see you on. That's awesome. Somebody say Maniac Mansion, one of my favorite adventure games. Yeah, Allie is streaming Maniac Mansion, so next time she pops on, you might see that. I got a Nintendo Power of Maniac Mansion in it. That helped me get through it, and calling Nintendo Hotline. Good old Nintendo Hotline. Your parents love that, because it costs money to talk to some Nintendo dude. All right, we're back to Dracula with all lives and full health. Let's get them. Let's get them. Let's take them down. We don't need anything else. We just need Dracula to die. That's not the start I was looking for. Neither was that. Okay, dead run here. Didn't... All right, where's my timing? Where is my timing? It's gone. <laughs> no timing. Well, another dead run here. That's fine. All right, now we can have, now we have to beat him without taking a single hit. Somebody said this was like a toilet a minute ago. It kind of does. Am I going to die here? I'm going to die here. Cool. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Can't get hit on the first phase of Dracula. That's unacceptable. That is completely unacceptable. Where's the whip? That's holy water. We don't need that. We need a whip. We get our whip upgrade. All right, this run's dead, too, because the skeleton screwed me over. Come on. Jesus. Respawn. Of, oh, now we have two skeletons. Because it respawned the other one. I'd pay $5 a minute to yell about stupid birds to the Nintendo counselor. I bet they couldn't help me with that, either. They'd be like, oh, looks like you need to dodge the birds. That's what they would say. That's what they would say. Time to add Kid Cool, Batman Forever, and Mortal Kombat Mythologies. Maybe. I'll have to research them a little bit. Yeah, Jax, if you don't know what you're doing with Maniac Mansion like I didn't, uh, <laughs> you're not going to beat it. And that was definitely me. Secret Agent, welcome in, man. I hope you're having a nice day. Good to see you, dude. 
We're trying to finish this up, and it's not going so well, but we are at Dracula, and that's a big positive. So there has been... Oh, I fell off. Can't take a hit here. We, we can still do it with three hit points. I basically have three. Mora! Welcome in, dude. Hope you're having a nice day also. This is a dead run. <laughs> this has become a dead run. That's fine. We'll get to him anyway and see if we can beat him without taking a hit. That'd be funny. That'd be really funny. Alright, here we go. But yeah, we gotta add some more crappy games. That's definitely gonna be a thing. Famicom sticks you at the Dracula part. Oh my goodness, I'm not surprised by that, Neff. I'm not surprised. They, they, they always do crazy stuff like that. That is not surprising. That would have made the game a hundred times easier. That's why they didn't do it. They wanted you to buy this game, not rent it. Just realize like Dracula and the Famicom port is tougher. How so? What does he do different, Maverick? That's interesting. Just keep saying California Mixer and you'll get through it. California! Yeah, who has not seen The Wizard? Probably nobody. <laughs> Probably nobody. Serial Arcade, welcome in, man. Hope you're having a nice day. We're at Dracula and we're trying to beat him. Cool. Awesome. How did that happen? I don't know. But welcome in, Serial. Hope you're having a good day as well, dude. Same for you, Mora. We're so close. Gotta do it without taking a hit. Gotta do it without taking a hit. Okay, when he switches sides, I gotta make a move. I gotta go under him like at this point. I'm just gonna get crushed again. I'm gonna get crushed again. There's no room to do it. Maybe we need to start on the left side. Dead. Cool. Awesome. Wonderful. Fun. Love it. Can't even get back to the Dracula Phase 3. And we had such a good... I was like four hit points away on Phase 3 from dying. It's amazing. Now I can't get back to him. Red 7, what's up, man? The Wizard one of my all-time favorite movies. It, it's one of those movies that's kind of corny, but it's it's good. It's good. Red 7, welcome in, man. Hope you're having a nice day. Also, can't afford to take a hit from this guy. Okay, now I think I have to. Yep. Screwed it up. Screwed it up. Got to get him on the other side. Did not do that quickly enough. All right, bat spawns, what are we looking at here? Are we looking at RNG or are we looking at a pattern? Probably RNG. First form, the fire columns remain much longer, so spacing is a prime importance. Well, I'm glad they didn't do that here. <laughs> I'm interested to see that. We'll play the Japanese version at some point in time and have a look at it. That's going to swing me into the bat. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought we were in trouble there for a second. We're fine, but we're not at full health. That's a problem. Got to see the I haven't seen the wizard in like a long time. It's been like 20 years. I want to see it again. Only Castlevania does not start you at Drax Door Evil game except the Japanese version. They had to screw over the American rental market like crazy. There we go. That's better. See if I I move around the room a little bit better. All right, good. That second phase has been a problem though. All right, here we go. Let's go. Hey, welcome in, Diva. Hope you're having a nice day. Happy Sunday. We're trying to do this Trevor only whip only, and we're making some kind of progress here, I want to say, but it could be better. <laughs> this part's screwing me up somehow. We got to move under him here. We have to move under him, or I'm going to get. I think the first time I did this, it went so much better. I don't know what's changed. But Diva, happy Sunday. Makes you need to learn where the warp whistle in Super Mario 3 is. He, Jimmy's a freaking cheater, dude. How did he know where that was? I'm calling shenanigans on that whole contest. Jimmy should be forced to forfeit the title and it should go to Lucas or that other geeky girl that was playing. I don't remember her name. <laughs> oh, that didn't count? Really? Mora, that was it. 
That was it. I couldn't remember her name. I just remember she was some geeky looking girl. Alright, let's get him. Let's win this fight. How do you know where this is going to happen? Dang, he is almost down. Trying to bait the lasers. No! Oh my god! God, we can win this. We can win this. Dude, this is so winnable. Two health! Two! It's difficult, but it's so doable, man. So close! Oh my god! I know we can do this. I'm feeling good about it. It's just getting there with enough health and lives to do something with it. Yeah, I got this. I got this. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling good. Just need a couple... Need a good... Getting there with full health. That would make a huge difference. So I'm going to take some hits. The laser's hard to dodge, but a little bit predictable if you can get it into the right spot. Third form also didn't attack from the face. Oh, so that's different too. Okay. So there are a couple of differences with the Japanese version. That's cool. That's cool. And you take less damage in that one and you start at more checkpoints. So definitely easier. Even though the Dra maybe they've changed some of the Dracula fight to make it a little harder in the Japanese one, it's fine though because you get to start there. I don't like this positioning at all. I hate this red skeleton being right there. That missed me by about a centimeter. I haven't even used Grant yet. I need to do a run where we play as Grant. Everyone says he's so cool and everything where he can grab walls. I've never done that before. But we need to do it. That was close. That was really close. Don't be another bat. Don't be another bat. Don't be another bat. Okay, there is another bat, but it's way over there. We're good. Q-Dog, what's up, man? Welcome in. Hope you're having a nice Sunday. We're, we're at the end. We got a chance here. We got a chance. If I don't screw up this part, which is always possible... Just being careful here. I know I could probably take three shots at Dracula right there, but I'm not going to. You can do three shots on him. Okay. Totally doable then. Alright. Nerd Revenge? What's up, man? Oh, that was fortunate. He didn't crush me. Still rather like try and go under him right here. Come on now. In this in this one, third form isn't that hard when you figure out the beams fire on an interval and only track your location at the moment it fires. So there's there, yeah, there's less RNG. I, I'm feeling up uh, there's I'm gonna get hit here. That sucks. got to drop down lower. Boy, having the axe here is really nice, by the way. If 
Ah! Well, that sucked. <laughs> oh, one can only laugh at that one. One can only laugh at that one. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. Now I am, because there's multiple skeletons spawned that shouldn't have been. Is there going to be a third one now? Cool. I'm just I can't even get my whip. I can't even get my whip powered up. This is a dead run. They didn't give me a whip power up this time. No whip power up. Kill me again. Kill me again. I didn't get my whip. That's stupid right there. Thank you for the hug, Jax. That was unbelievable. That was unfreaking believable. Oh well. <laughs> he was dead. I mean, story-wise, that would make sense. Trevor sacrificed himself to take Dracula down. That That's good, right? That's what we how we can say it worked out. Okay, that time they did give me the whip. See, it's RNG. That's crappy. We lost a life there because of RNG. Dude, Dracula's freaking dead. That was the, the mission. He's dead. If Trevor dies, too, big deal. Actually, Trevor cannot die because he has to keep the lineage going. So yeah, w that does not count. Never mind. I wasn't thinking about the story. <laughs> I threw holy water. I did. That's fine. But as long as it doesn't hit anything. If it doesn't hit anything and do any damage or change the game, it's fine. I I'm totally okay with that. I'm not okay with that. But yeah, as long as I don't hurt anything with the uh, with the special weapons, I'm fine with it. And there was nothing to injure right there, besides my soul. <laughs> Alright, let's get him again. Just don't grab holy water. Yeah, I d d just don't want to risk it. You die in the story, but yes, you need to die now. How we, how we wrote you to die. Yeah, unfortunate. Unfortunate there, man. Wow, man, I'm so sorry I felt the pain from that. And you know what? I'm not even mad about that. I'm not even mad about it. That's terrible. That's god-awful stuff right there. This fight, this part's easy. I can't get hit here. This part's easy. Yeah, great time to pop in, right, Plabu? Great time. That's exactly what I wanted to see happen right there. <laughs> Oh, goodness. It was such a good fight, too. It was clean that time. Really clean. You need to kind of stay in the middle with this part. Being in the middle here is good. You can kind of manipulate which way he goes. That sucks. He's too high up. Come on. Three hit points. I, I got greedy there. I tried to take an extra shot at him. That was a, a fatal mistake. Alright, let's start over here. Let's try it again. We got this. Come on, I don't have as many hit points to work with this time. That's a problem. That's a problem. That's a big problem. No! I gotta get out of there quicker. Jesus Christ! 
I gotta get out of that spot quicker. That's ridiculous. Unless he pulls out the sword, the salt is minimal. Yeah, I've got... Thankfully, I don't have this sword sitting near me, Serial. It's not close to me right now. <laughs> I don't want to smash the monitor apart. Sometimes I feel like doing that, though. I've come close a couple of times, especially in Captain Planet. All right, next run. We're, we'll get this. Coyote, welcome in. How are you doing today? Sorry you've been so quiet. Last night was long. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope things are going better. Message me off stream if you want to talk about it or anything. Feel free to do that. Because you know I've, I'm all ears. Am I going to die here? No. Okay. But welcome in, Coyote. I, and it's no problem. Being quiet, there's nothing wrong with that. You know I have to lurk all the time as well. For whatever, for insert reason here. Uh, oh, what? The gear was there. I didn't land on it. It was on the screen. Did nobody else see the gear at the bottom of the screen? I saw it, and it didn't count. Wonderful. Great. Okay, well, that's fine. We can start over again for the 94th, 95th time. All good. I got docks last night. What the hell is wrong with people? What the hell is wrong with people? Everything. It's the Internet. People think they can get away with all kinds of crappy stuff on the Internet. It's no surprise. <sighs> but the good, the, honestly, being on Twitch and like getting to know you guys and stuff has taught me that they're like before I started streaming. I, I basically assumed that like 99.9% .9 of people, like everywhere, there, there was like no good people on the internet. My opinion of that has thankfully been changed. I had given up on like everything like online gaming for a while. And I was just like doing everything solo or just like one or two friends or something. But now you guys have honestly shown me there's a lot of cool people out there in the world that I didn't even know existed. That's been a major positive. Alright, down the steps we go. Back into the... Right back into this nonsense. Bat spawned behind me that time. That's, that was different. And good. Good. Thought the same thing. Yeah, and I, I think a lot of people felt that way before they actually discovered a decent gaming community online. I kind of have to pick that up. It's fine. I won't use it. As long as we don't hit anything with it, we're good. The more you know, right, Spirit Buddy? The more you know. Welcome in, man. Hope you're having a nice... Sunday. Well, it is Sunday, right? And I'm losing track of this because this Dracula fight's driving me a bit crazy here. We killed Dracula and I fell down the hole. I can't believe that happened. So that shows it's doable, right? But welcome in, Spirit Buddy. Mixer, thanks for cool. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome, Smart. Never doubt that. Ever. We have a really cool community here. Not just my channel, but like tons of people's channels. And I'm very thankful to have that. That is garbage right there. That's garbage tier. That's garbage. Now we have to do it again. Now we have to wait for the bat. What was I supposed to do there besides just get hit in the face? It's going to happen again. Oh, that was close. I got lucky there. The bat almost hit my foot. No more bat. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Love so many in the old school don't like saying retro world. Old school's a good way to put it as well. It's a good way to put it. Doesn't always have to be retro. Old school is also quite acceptable. Oh, there's the knife. Look, they give you the worst possible weapon for this fight right before you get to it. That's wonderful. They're trying to screw you over there. Kind of like in uh, the Ghosts and Goblins, they always want to give you the torch. Same thing. Wow, the fire was delayed that time for some reason. That was an oddity. Alright, well, whatever. He's dead. Uh, I've tried streaming unless I'm useless at it, at least for now. Even worse with OG hardware. Is, um, crop images correctly. I learned how to use the upscaler. It takes a lot of practice to get, to get familiar with all that stuff. Nerd revenge. It really does. It takes forever. I'm terrible with tech stuff, too, so it was a special challenge for me to learn how to do a lot of this stuff. Agreed, Allie, 100%. 100. 
This is such a cool community of people to know. And I'm just like one person among many. There's a ton of great streamers out there. We're going to finish this challenge. We are totally going to finish it. Don't hit me here. That would be really stupid. Alright, he's almost dead. A couple more hits. That's not going to count, is it? It's not. Great. How did both heads survive with one hit point? That's garbage. I don't like that. He's still alive! What is going on here? This shouldn't be happening. I can't get him. He's not in the right spot. Now he is. All right. All right. What have I been doing? Switching sides here. All right. That laser didn't hit me that time. That was fortunate. I cannot get out of that spot quick enough. I knew to try and move there, but I couldn't do it. Thunder, what's up, man? Welcome in, dude. Hope you're having a nice day. We're trying to finish up this challenge here. And it's done. And it is done. Sif Cube, welcome in, man. I think you were here earlier, but I'm, I'll, I'll <laughs> well, welcome in anyway, man. MLC, what's up, dude? Good to see you also. Pupped in at the perfect time. Thank you, exactly, Thunder. You brought us some extra good luck there. <laughs> Little extra good luck. Thanks for all these GGs, guys. Good. I, thank you so very much. You good things today, Mixer. Big congrats. Yes. Made some good stuff today. Whip only damageless run time. I don't know about that. Zemi, what's up, man? What's up, Zemi? Trevor made many sacrifices. The long fight is over. Dracula is dead and all other spirits are asleep. In the shadows, a person watches the castle fall. Trevor must go for now, but he hopes someday he will get the respect that he deserves. How does he not get respect for doing that? Why? Because no one else saw it? <laughs> After this fight, the Belmont name shall be honored by all people. Yeah, the ending's a little different if you don't have anyone else with you. That's totally different. That is different. You inspired me to try and beat this game. Neil, you can do it. You can absolutely do it, Neil. If I can do any of these challenges, any of you guys can do them as well. It's not a big deal whatsoever. Not a big deal. You guys could totally do anything I've done on stream so far, without a doubt. Good game, been uh, lurking, watching you on the old... Nice! Crazy, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for the GG, appreciate it. Fox, welcome in. Good to see you. Trevor's arm must be tired, dude. It must be just slap worn out. <laughs> Fox, how are you doing today, man? Good to see you. We got our challenge run in. Believe it or not, it is done. And I'm shocked. Wasn't expecting it. It happened faster than I thought it would, believe it or not. Should we do loop two? Do we want to do loop two hard mode with the same challenge? We could. We could start loop two. You take a lot more damage and there's more enemies and like everything's a lot worse. But we could work on loop two as well. Defeated Dracula, legendary Belmont name, no respect. What the hell is that all about? I, that kind of was not the ending I was expecting there. Trevor just saved the world. And starring Trevor, Belmont, and Mixer. Can't forget me. I was in there too. I was I was part of... Nah. Thank you very much for playing. Trevor seemed lonely on that cliff. Sypha is the true person that's supposed to be there, like lore-wise. Lore-wise, Sypha was supposed to be there, too, because that's how the Belmont legacy is carried onward. But again, guys, thank you so much for all the wonderful GGs. I appreciate it very much. That was a lot of fun. But I, yeah, I guess we could work on loop, too. <laughs> Let's go. 
You guys know how I can't resist more loops to make the game harder. Let's see what how this is going to play out. Already harder. Look, there's a sword-wielding skeleton on level 1. I've done loop 2 of this, but it was with Sypha and using all equipment. So I've not tried Trevor only with no equipment besides the whip. So I guess we're, we're going into it. Koala, what's up, man? What's up? We all know you want to do loop 2. You can't resist. I know. I can't resist. Let's go. Let's just do it. I shall never forget that helps me gives you lives. Yeah, the first time I played this jukebox, I was told, you need to put help me in. That'll make the game easier. And I'm like, but I don't want the game to be easier. I want it to be the standard old regular difficulty of Castlevania. That's what I want. And that's what we're going to get. But let's, it's, we're doing loop two now, and it's much harder. If we don't finish it today, no problem. I'll get the password. Oh, there's ghost and stuff here. That's different. And we got a one up. Good. All right, yeah, we can do loop two. No big deal. I'll be, I'll be crying in a corner at some point, but that time is not going to happen. Probably till we get a little bit deeper into it. You know what? Let me change this real quick. We're going to add loop 2 to the message here. No, we don't need another one of those. This is not deathless. I'm changing that. This is now a loop 2. I hate this keyboard. This keyboard sucks. Let's make this a little bit smaller and fit that loop 2 thingy in there. There we go. Might as well work on it. Got nothing else to do. What is wrong with this keyboard? Besides everything. Gotta get me a new keyboard, need new controller, update all my stuff. I am way behind here on my stuff. All right, loop two, Trevor only, we're good. We're good, I heard damageless whip only. I didn't hear that, Royal. You, you must be hearing things. <laughs> you must be hearing things. N nobody should attempt that. Mixer use crowd control. Crowd control, that's where you can like control where like the viewers can screw with you and stuff and like mess you up. <laughs> like they can add things to the game. I think that would be fun to oh these things. Yeah. This, this is a loop 2 only enemy, these skulls. So if you've never seen loop 2 of this game, this is an extra added enemy here. They're like the Medusa heads, but a lot more aggressive and more random. And I'm also taking a lot more damage. I'm taking maximum damage. We die in four hits now. You know, we've been even harder. Leather Whip only. I guess we'll do that at some point. I guess we will. It won't be this run, though. But yeah, Koala, Leather Whip would definitely make this absolutely psychotic. I want more birds. That's, that's fine, Neff. You know why? Because those levels are coming up again. Those levels are in the future. <laughs> There'll be plenty more bird levels. Castlevania was made to be rage quitting material, pretty much. But at least it's such a good game though. If you fail at it, you rage, you, you respawn, you, you go again. It's a great game. It's not Captain Planet, to where you play Captain Planet, you rage, you hate everything in the world, and you never want to play a video game again after playing Captain Planet. At least we're not there. At least there's that. Yeah, leather Whip only. I need to do a Leather Whip Castlevania 1 run. We still haven't done that. I guess we need to do that at some point. Leather Whip Castlevania 1. I don't know how we're going to kill death. That would be the, the major problem with that would be killing death. Alright, so what does this... Le this level added those skull, skull things and some bat spawns. So not that big of a deal here. Castlevania 3 is arguably my favorite Castlevania among the classic games. Totally see why. It is just an incredibly good game. It is just so good, Thunder. This is a, like a top 5 NES game. Alright, see? We're doing a Deathless Loop 2 run. I didn't die on level 1. I did not die. Solar Jetman Deathless. That would be something to see. I bet somebody's... You know what? what's funny about that, Spirit Buddy? Is that I was kind of deathless in Solar Jetman for a long time, but it reaches a point where it, I was like, 
you know what, I'm just going to not care anymore and just start losing lives. I was doing my best to preserve them, but unfortunately could not do it. Could not do it. Especially that last part. That last part in Solar Jetman is just evil. If you die, you have to do the entire last level again. I couldn't believe that. They're putting skulls here? Well, this is not a good place for skulls to be. Okay. And there's a ghost in an awkward spot, too. Okay. That's probably going to respawn, by the way, that ghost. Since I backed up off the screen, or maybe it won't. Still would argue that if you fall into a hole in this game, you haven't taken any damage since the life meter... Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, you don't take damage when you fall in a hole. It doesn't change the meter at all. It stays exactly... The life meter stays exactly the same. That's kind of cool. These skulls are going to create... Uh, you know, where are they going to stick these skulls? Oh my god, I just realized if we go the Alucard way again, they're going to put skulls on that block falling stage. I bet they are. I, that is going to be nuts if they do that. Tell me they don't. Tell me that's not going to be a thing. Alright, we got owls. Owls are okay. I'm not worried about owls. I know they're a kind of bird, but at least they're a, a better kind. The kind of birds I don't like are like ravens and that type of stuff. They're, they're the problem. Owls? Nah, we're not worried about owls. See? No problem. No problem. Yeah, I, I was worried about that block stage, the first loop, Thunder, and thankfully we got through it fairly quickly, but now with loop 2 looming, uh-oh, might be a bit of a problem. Hey, Yurushi, what's up, man? You love this game? Welcome in, man. I'm glad you do. I love it, too. It is one of the best games I have ever played in my life. I don't, counting everything, it's still one of my favorites. The skull heads are probably the most trolly enemy in the entire game. 8-bit, I'm dreading where they're going to put them. Because I've never done Loop 2 on the Alucard path. We've done Loop 2 on the Cypher path, but that was with using everything. So we had more tools to work with. Not this time, though. Yeah, the, the, the skulls, they're going to stick them and probably the... What am I doing? Got to be patient. Got to be a little more patient with that. Where's wall meat? I don't know where it even is on this level. Or if it even exists. Alright, no problem here. That Oh, uh, if they put the skulls on the block falling part, that's going to be the worst thing ever. Circular, because if you die later, you have to repeat it and wait for eternity. It's such a boring level. I think that's my problem with it, is how boring it is. There it is. I knew it was around here somewhere. Alright, next part. We're going down again. We're going down to the depths of hell on every single part here. I know the Cypher path is right there. We're not taking it. We're going back down the Alucard path. So that's the way the challenge is going to work. All the bad levels. And we're going to do the water level again, too. The Sunken City or whatever it's called. We're doing it. There's a couple of... Uh, I think there's a couple of wall meets on this level. That'll help us. Of course, they're going to stick the skulls in at some point. Alright, got trolled by the frog there a little bit. Alright, back down here. That water stage, though, the sunken city level, it turned out to be not as hard as I was... Th oh, wow. Wow. Got to get that frog dead. That frog's got to go. Okay, there it goes. That's got to go. There's another wall meat we can pick up in this section, thankfully. It's further down the path, if I remember. All right, next section. We've got three lives. Alucard path is brutal. I think that stage with the bot falling bit is the worst. Four bosses on one... Yeah. I got a bit... I felt the thunder that I got a little bit lucky with that part. We managed, the first time we beat the block part, the, both the block parts, we made it to the boss, and we killed the bosses on the first shot. Now, the bat gave me some problems, because I forgot it even existed, because I was anticipating, oh, we have three bosses on the stage. No. <laughs> we had four. All right, I think the wall meat is down here. There it is, okay. 
barely dodged that bat right there. That was close. Whip only, I bet that bat sucks. It was a problem until I like positioned him correctly on the stairs. And then I kind of got him into like a semi stun lock type position where I would have beat him. There's more bats here, by the way. There's a lot more bats here. Holy crap. This is crazy. There's a bat spawning every second. We're almost at the, the boss, so it's going to be the bat again. Oh, bad. That's bad. That's even worse. Uh-oh. Okay, how are we going to deal with those ghost spawns if I die again? I'm not going to have any like anything to work with. I think, though, there's... There's, feels like there's more monsters this time. Might even start by having a problem with this level. And I'm taking a lot more damage this time, too. That was a lucky shot on the bat right there. <laughs> so much freaking RNG. Alright, here we go. Got one hit point. We're not going to kill him. No chance. I guess we are. I guess we are. The trick is to stun lock it before it can split bats all over the screen. That's how you do that. That's how you do that. See, the first run taught me a thing or two. That was lucky, Thunder. That was very lucky to get there with one hit point and still manage to somehow get through it. That's not going to happen again. This is a deathless loop, too, by the way. <laughs> no, not exactly. The deathless run will end at some point, and we'll have to continue, but no, this is not deathless or 1cc or anything. I just want to beat it again. We might run out of time, too. That ugh, Come on, now. Come on, now. We only need one hit point to win. Yep, and that's all we had, and somehow it worked out. No, that's a different enemy spawn right there. That's normally not there. Yeah, this is different. No chance, and yet, there you go. I know. I'm like the anti-jinx, Vance. I'm like, oh, if, if I say something's going to be easy, we usually die right away. But if I'm like, oh, I'm dead, and then we win. It's crazy. That's been happening, like, ever since I've started streaming. Could you imagine a consecutive Deathless Loop 1 and 2? Somebody needs to do that. That would be awesome. Because Loop 2 is significantly harder. Dead in four hits on any stage. We're getting through this fairly quickly. We're already back to this Alucard stage, and I think there's a there's a, a wall meet coming up fairly soon. Not you're not it, Thunder. Not, dang, I was about to say maybe you could be the one. <laughs> May I pressed A. I, I feel like this controller eats my input sometimes. Well, there went the Deathless run. <laughs> What a way to lose it. That's how I normally lose deathless runs when I do anything. It's stupid stuff like that. It's it's never like a boss fight. B deathless runs are meant to be lost in places like that. I really did hit A there. I don't know what happened. Now I just want to get my whip back so we can beat Alucard with the powered up whip. Mang was working on 1cc of both loops back in the past. What an ambitious project. Of course, Mang does a lot of ambitious projects. He did a first playthrough of Battletoads and didn't use any continues for a first playthrough. And he eventually beat it. It was amazing. Outstanding work. Doesn't surprise me knowing him, though. He likes that kind of masochism. And he, he wins. He gets it done. That's the best part. Yeah, back to Loop 1 now that I died. Unbelievable. Back to the beginning of Loop 1. That's how that challenge would work. Oh, my God. That's for true insanity right there. Pro gamer move playing the controller. Now, I'm not done blaming it yet, Neff. I'm, I, Neff, I'm just getting started. I'm just getting started. Alright, this eyeball thing. That thing's in Zelda 2 as well. It's even worse than Zelda 2, that monster right there. Oh, what's going on here? Chloe! 
Chloe, thank you very much for the resub with Prime. That's the best kind of sub right there. You don't have to pay for it. Thank you so much, Chloe. Appreciate it very, very much. That is awesome. Hope you're having a wonderful day as well. Pleasure to see you, and thank you again so much for that sub. Oh, great. <laughs> Last time we beat Alucard without taking a hit. I guess that's not going to happen here. He's like a really weak version of Dracula. It is his son, after all. Mang is a shmup king. Yeah, he was trying to beat UN Squadron on gamer difficulty the like a couple of weeks ago. I saw a little bit of that before I had to go to bed. It looked nuts. I'm glad to see we have people that are good at shmups, because that's something I'm horrifyingly bad at. Christ, I made it, I lost my muscle memory on Mega Man X. Mega Man X, I've heard so much good about that stuff, too. A lot of people, queue up a lot of people like to run speed runs of Mega Man X. I just hope we can beat it when the, when the day comes for that. You guys can help me through it. UN Squadron, I'm going to play eventually. That looks like a shmup I might actually like because it's got a health bar. <laughs> it's got a health bar and the weapon system's a lot better too. It's definitely not Gradius. I'm doing good today. I'm glad, Chloe. That sounds great. I'm doing good too. Good things are happening here. We beat loop one of w Trevor only, whip only, and now we're working on loop two. So good things are happening here, but the hard levels of loop two are looming very quickly. <laughs> In fact, I think the, the, what are we doing after this part? I think the water, the sunken city levels up next, that's gonna be a problem. This is just one of those games that I just don't get bored of. This, is, this goes in the same category as like Zelda 2 or something. I'm just not going to get bored of it. Never. Not great on Shmup's Thunder, dude. I don't think most people are. <laughs> it's rare to see someone actually good at them. Mang is definitely one of those people. He should do like a Deathless Gradius 3 run on hard or something. I'd like to see that. And of course, Vance, you've already done that as well. UN Squadron, we will play. I've got it on my list. It's going to be a lot of raging in that, though. Be warned. Be warned, expect lots of UN Squadron raging, but yeah, I'll play it. I'll play it. Kim uh, Kim Kong, no problem, dude. Catch you next time, dude. Have a wonderful day. Appreciate you hanging out. Glad we could finish it. And now just getting into loop two with some wonderful music. This is probably the best soundtrack in the game on this level. Or at least maybe my favorite. All right, there is a wall meet at some point in this level, and I think I missed it last time. Uh, have I played Mega Man X? I rented it a long time ago, Thunder, and I never like got anywhere with it. I don't even think I beat all the Robot Masters. And they're like different Robot Masters than that one. It's like the Flame Elephant and stuff like that, and the, the Spark Tiger and all those. Yeah, I need, I need to play that. But yeah, I'm looking forward to Mega Man X. I know it's going to be fun. I love the Mega Man series. It's kind of like Castlevania to me. It's kind of timeless. But yeah, I've never done anything with the X series. We're going to do all of them. Even Mega Man X7, yes. Even that one. Even that one. Can I reach this from here? I can, but you got to be really careful. I'm going to get hit in the face. I can totally see Trevor's face. <laughs> I called that. I called that shot right there, whoa. Well, and what's good about this game is you have multiple paths. There's always more to do with this game. That's why one of the reasons I think it's great. Oh, you finish the path with uh, Sypha? Well, now you get to play the Alucard path. There's always more to do with this game. Great, wonderful, love it. That's right, I can only be hit four times now. Enemies enemies do more damage. And there's bats here that weren't here before. That's a problem. Oh, no. My whip's not powered up. Bats are here. They're still better than birds. I like bats more than birds. Before someone says, hey, aren't bats kind of like birds? No. Bats are, are a lot better, usually, in most games. 
Where's wall meat? I know it exists on this stage somewhere. I'm just gonna have to look around more for it. I've never done it on stream. I can beat Gradius 3 arcade difficulty. Deathless with any weapon combination. That game was my Zelda 2 played at least a hundred times. That's kind of like me doing the one sword, level one sword in Zelda, Vance. Great. I like how we all have stuff that we, we kind of specialize in and like what games. For you, it's shmups. It's just like ridiculous. No, Vance, for you, it's shmups and beat em ups. <laughs> we'll throw in beat em ups for you as well. X is a lot more fast paced, it throws some people off. I'm anticipating some struggles with it, yes. But it should be good. It should be a lot of fun. Anybody know where wall meat is on this level? I swear I found it at some previous playthrough. But I don't remember where it is. It's not there. It's not there. Is it here? How? Really? That's where it is? How am I supposed to get that? I don't think you can get that. I think they just stuck that in. It's kind of like, oh, you want some wall meat? Well, it's, well, you're not getting it. I'd go fish it out of the water if I would survive, but I don't think that would work. In X7, there's a huge damage over, so I don't want weapons for X, and he can stomp the entire game. Good, you can help me out when the time comes. You can help me. Eater of Worlds says, when I was a kid, I got the SNES for Christmas, the only Super Mario World and UN Squadron. Uh-oh. I had to wait six months for my birthday for the next batch of games, so I played the crap out of UN Squadron for half a year, and you loved it. Okay, makes sense. That's one of those games you grow up with, you love it. Super Pitfall was kind of in that category for me. I know it's a bad game, but I kind of grew up with that one as well. Sort of like you did with UN Squadron. Mega Man X is fantastic. You'll have lots of fun with it, Mixer. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait. I cannot wait. We got to get through the other Mega Man games first, though. I kind of want to like play them in the order of like the how things happened in the story. So yeah, expect uh, Mega Man versus Mega Man and base, Mega Man Nine, Mega Man Ten, and Eleven. So we've got a lot more Mega Man to do because I think Mega Man X like takes place in like the distant future from that timeline. If I'm correct me if I'm wrong. This feels like it's got more hit points. All right, is there any other place to get wall meat? I bet there's not. I bet there's not. You have to whip it on a neutral jump, walk to the right and pick up the meat, then turn back left. Okay, so you'd have to like position yourself almost on the edge of the block. And if I did that, I would more than likely fall. And that would suck. You have to do a jump towards the pit from two blocks away so you land with one foot hanging over the edge. Great, I probably can't do that. Probably can't do it. Whip and jump into it. It was really trolly wall meat. That was terrible. Rush, welcome in. How are you doing, Rush? Good to see you, man. Quest for Glory 3, Wages of War. I saw a little... Rush, believe it or not, I saw a little bit of you playing that yesterday while I was not home. I always check in on Twitch with my phone. I saw a little bit about that. Looked like a cool point and click. I haven't played a point and click in, like, forever. I'm not very good at them, but they are fun games. They take a lot of experimentation. My M M Maniac Mansion adventures as a kid were not too good. Mega Man and base is pretty brutal, but Mega Man 9 is excellent. Rumor is zero is who kills Mega Man if you believe such things. I wouldn't doubt it. Would not doubt it. They deconfirmed that a few years ago. Okay, they did. I wouldn't have been surprised. I want you to do Mega Man 3 Game Boy on Deathless. I, th do you know how much learning that would take? Celestial, do you know how much insane amount of learning that would take? I don't I don't think I have enough time to learn how to do that. <laughs> Cuz that was brutally difficult. I'm going to die here. Or maybe not. Maybe I can find a way to get away from him. I would really like to kill him here. Can I make this jump? I can. Okay. I can make it again. He can't get me if I do this, right? Oh, we made it to the water part. Okay, here we go. Now we gotta go get that one up. Doing good, had a blast. Yeah, it looked fun, man. I like point and clicks. I'm just terrible at them. That's something I would play off stream. I'm glad you guys 
that do play them are able to do well on them on stream because I'd, I'd just be so lost. This is going to be a problem. What if they put those skull things on this level? There's more bats. I can, there's a lot more bats. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is going to suck. This is going to be a major problem here. We got to be ready for bats and very quickly because they're spawning. And I can't just delay anything either. I'm going to die here. This is going to be absolute hell. I have to play this whole stage again. Oh my god. Well, we found our first true wall of this. And that's going to be this level. See if we can grab that wall meat, though. We get another opportunity to figure that part out. There's three bat spawns on that part. What do they expect you to do? Three, and you're on a time limit. You can't just keep going. Presumably Mega Man was either converted or decommissioned at Light's death. Is that how Mega Man X started? I don't know the story well enough. I need to learn it more. There's more fish guys too. That's a problem. Those dra skull dragon heads are the only hard part of this early part. So if we can get past those without taking too many hits, we're going to be okay. Batropolis, I know. <laughs> right, Jax? It's crazy. I don't know how we're going to do that part. I have no clue. Can I reach this from here? I don't think I can. I can't. we got to be on the stairs. And if this thing fires at the wrong angle, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a hit regardless. I'm going to take some hits. Wow, man! That's garbage. I am deathly afraid of this level now. That's where Alucard shines. That's, that's who you need to get here with, is Alucard. This level was not really built for Trevor. The developers built this level kind of with, with Alucard in mind. Definitely not Trevor. If a de developer ever drops in the chat, they'll be like, Oh, I see you're doing a challenge here. But this is not how we intended it. <laughs> that's how that would go. Where's that wall meat that I can't get? I'm going to try and get it. Was it like right there? It's not right there. I'm not going to be able to get that. There's no way. <laughs> there is no way I'm getting that. It starts with a spec display and a short mission statement, then you go straight to the intro stage which teaches you all the mechanics except dashing. Alright, that's interesting how they did Mega Man X. I think I'm gonna die here. Pretty sure this is gonna where it's gonna end. Alright, maybe not. Here's where the wall meat is, by the way. Let's see if we can get it. Okay, maybe it's not that... Either it's not that hard to get it, or I'm stupidly lucky. <laughs> I, I'm kind of saying... I'm kind of anticipating the stupidly lucky part is true. Or, like I said, maybe it's just not that hard. <laughs> I bet it's some of that beginner's luck I have a lot. I always have beginner's luck with stuff like that. If I try it next time I try it, I won't get it. Alright, so I don't really have a plan for this bat part coming up at the second part of this stage at all, simply because it they're RNG. They, they spawn at different uh, sides. You can't predict that. Alright, so this part, I had success staying in the upper right corner. Okay, the next shot on this guy is going to be low, right? Yeah. Alright, that's not that bad. They're a little bit predictable, maybe. Beginner's Luck has run 29 loops of Ghosts and Goblins, and it took a lot of luck to get through that as well, Arctic. It's insane. <laughs> Half the times I think I beat a level, and that was just due to random luck. You know what? I'm taking a hit there on purpose.
All right, he's gone. Now we get to do this terrible place again. This is going to be an absolute disaster right here. This is going to be an absolute disaster level. There's a one-up if we can survive long enough to get there. Arctic, believe it or not, I got... Like yesterday, we did a one-credit clear of Ghosts and Goblins on the NES version. I can't believe that happened. In a way, that felt harder than doing some of the loops. Either that or, once again, got really lucky. Can't explain how that went. If I'm patient here, is it going to help me? Do we need to be a little more patient? Or do I need to go fast? What can I do here? Get all three bats on this. The water's rising faster. Uh-oh. Oh, you can't get the one up this time. You can't get it. The water rises too fast. Oh my god, I'm in trouble. Okay, so the the one up is no longer accessible. Blaze, what's up, man? Hope you're having a nice day. We've reached a level that's absolutely going to destroy me. That's what we're doing here. But Blaze, welcome in, buddy. Hope all is well with you today. Oh, my God. Oh, my God! I can't delay. I can't delay anything. The water... There's no way. There is no way. You can't, they can't, they don't even let you get the one up anymore. Don't take a hit here! My goodness! No. Not taking a hit that early in the stage. Not doing it. We have to have, we only have four hit points. I assume you didn't see the video. I have not seen it yet because I haven't gotten any uh, break from work lately. I mean, that's okay because you know what? My month tomorrow on Monday, I don't have much to do at work, so you will, I will definitely see it then. I've got other videos people have gotten for me as well. So yeah, tomorrow is when it's going to happen. Free me and free time don't get along too well. I have very little free time these days. What the heck is that? Oh, it's thundering outside. Okay. It's thundering. Okay, so maybe we have a storm moving in. I haven't. I, that's news to me. Yeah, this is going to be something right here, guys. This is going to be something. At least I'm somewhat proficient with this early part of the stage, and that's the easy part. All is well, Blaze. I'm glad to hear it, man. I am glad to hear that. Nice cheap shot right there by the skeleton. Nice little cheap shot. That's great. That's good stuff. All right, this fight here, I've got to find a way to get better at. Okay, you can reach him from here. I wonder. Let's get a little bit closer. Is this a safe place? That's my new question. Is this going to be a safe place right here? That's not a safe place. Okay. I have no idea how to beat this one without taking a bunch of hits. Take some hits and run, maybe? Take two hits, run, rinse, and repeat? Be greedy and hit them a million times? No, I don't know how that happened. Okay, dead. We gotta try and get that stupid wall meat that's in the bad spot again. Ah, oh, what a terrible level. What a terrible level. Is it somehow they made this level a hundred times worse than the regular version, which isn't easy. But this one's just a bit psychotic. And they put the wall meat in a stupid spot. This is a hard enough level. Why does the wall meat need to be right where it is? Andy, what's up, man? Stupid, sexy wall meat, exactly. <laughs> Do you know where it is on this level, Andy? It's in the, like the worst, most stupid spot imaginable for a Castlevania game. It's almost like an insult. 
Come on, do not die to this thing. Jesus. Andy, hope you're having a great day, buddy. We're on loop two now. We beat loop one of this challenge, so we're we're getting deeper into it. Here's where the wall meat is, by the way. But I, I think I have to beat this thing first, yeah. Alright, it's gonna fire low. We know the pattern's a little bit better now. Alright, here we go. Let's see if I can do it again. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. I thought it was worse than it actually is. I've le never legit tried to do the a la carte path, man. This looks tough. It's brutal. And this is loop two. This is loop two, so it's even worse. <laughs> we beat loop one in about three hours with the a la carte path, Trevor and Whip only. Andy, that would be a good challenge for you to work on, for sure. Do the a la carte path. Definitely, since you've never done it before, it'd be a great new experience. The block level is insane. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard of the level with the blocks and stuff. That is, That shouldn't even exist in this world. And that's the next stage after this one. Boot, welcome back, man. What's going on? Hope you're having a nice day. Stop, what should I stop doing? And stop means stop playing Castlevania. That ain't happening. This is like my favorite, one of my favorite game series of all time. That's going good. All right, now we got to beat this bonehead again. You, Andy has seen the block stage. Oh boy. <laughs> and when you first saw it, I bet you were thinking, I can't wait to do this myself one day, right? <laughs> I, how did I miss that right there? That should not have happened. He's going to loop back and he's going to get me. He's gonna get me. Where should I be? Where's a good safe place to be? I know I'm always searching for safe places in games and usually there's not one to be found. What about right here? All right, he's gonna loop around again. And thankfully I made the right choice by not moving right there. All right, we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna hit him again. All right, he's done. Now! Now we get to try this god awful mess again. This is a, this is our uh, as far as we've made it is right here. This is the checkpoint we're stuck at. I'm having a great day. I have to stop crushing all these challenges. We're getting crushed right now, boot. We're getting crushed. We're, loop one's done. Yeah, true. We we got that. But th this is loop two. The stakes are off the chart now on difficulty. The stakes are much higher. And by the way, I don't have any health, so we're probably not going to make it on this run either. I've got two hit points. You can't. You can't physically hit the bat there. You can't hit the bat. And the water's rising so fast, we can't get the one up this time. So yeah, it's just one disaster after another. Where's the whip? There it is. Okay. I can't screw around here. They're, they're gonna get me. They're gonna get me! That's enough with the bat! Good freaking God! Thank you for hanging out, Crudus. I'm glad we had some success on loop one, at least. <laughs> this isn't going to go too well. No. My, my goodness. My goodness. What do they expect here? What are they looking for here? What are they looking for here? I know what they're looking for. Never mind. I know the answer. They're looking for you to switch to Alucard. And we don't have Alucard. He's not here. Dude, that's not the only part of that water stage. There's more to it than that. That's just the very beginning of it. Well, I'm going to keep working on it. <laughs> I'm going to keep working on it because I want to beat this level. And sitting here, me being ragey and pouty and all that crap ain't going to help. We just got to do it. Because at least I love this game. So, I mean, if we die, I, I'm going to rage for a second. And then we're going to be right back into the grind. Salesman tries to sell Mixer bats. Mixer, that's enough with the bats. Yeah, that's probably going to be a new quote, right? That's enough with the bats. Yeah. That probably got clipped like three times or something. And should have been. Should have been. Anytime you guys want to clip anything, go for it. Go right for it. That was close. 
All right, he's going to fire a shot. Three, let's take three shots, and then let's dodge something. All right, let's take a couple of shots again. I'm trying to be cautious, something I'm not very good at. Let's see? All right, take a shot, now fire. Or whip, whatever the hell I'm doing, I don't even know. Finkirk, what's up, man? Bats or Medusa heads, which is worse? Finkirk, birds. Birds are worse than both those combined. The later stages that have the raven and stuff, those are a lot worse than this. It's bad, as hard as this is, that's even worse. Or at least it, at least as far as I know. That level might be worse on loop two without with just using the whip. But Finkert, welcome in, man. Hope you're having a nice day. We're making some progress here. Well, not really, because I we've hit a brick wall here. These game testers need a paddling, I know. If any of the de game developers were here, Andy, they'd be looking at me like I'm an idiot, and they'd be going, why are you not using Alucard here? We did not design this game for Trevor Whip only. And I'm like, yeah, but we're still playing this game all these years later, and we need to add new challenges to it. And they'd probably be like, yeah, that's not a terrible idea, is it? <laughs> but this is cruel, putting three bats in a spot with water rising and platforming, and fishmen on top of that. This is a psychotic section. This is psychotic stuff right here. But I can't say I'm intrigued by the challenge, because I, I really am. I'm not intrigued by like a challenge of like stupid game by like Captain Planet, but th this is intriguing. I like this. Alright, here we can kill this thing from below without r risking life and limb here. There's a voice saying, Holy Jesus, what are these guys? What are these goddamn animals? I know, right? Hey, Dr. Chaos, welcome in, man. Hope you're having a nice day. Hope all is well with you. We're on loop two here. We're making some progress. Loop one wasn't that bad besides level five, and the Dracula fight was a bit trolly, but I kind of got a pattern down on the Dracula fight. If we get back to it and it's the same thing, I think we can beat it fairly easily. Same with the doppelganger fight, as long as they don't change that one up too much. Didn't they end up making the Western releases more difficult? Finkirk, they did. This one's much more difficult, from what I understand, than the Japanese version. Japanese version, you take less damage, there's more checkpoints. There's a lot of good stuff to be said for that one that this one did not get. But they wanted to screw over the American rental industry by doing this. And I kind of get that. They wanted you to buy the game, not rent it. They wanted to make a profit. That's the way they operate. Finally done working. How's it going here? Shrapnel, it's going great. We're in loop two. We beat it, and now we're working our way through loop two. So much progress has been had. But loop two is proving to be quite evil. I should have stayed put. What am I doing? I should have just stayed put. We would have been fine there. So this fight, basically, you just don't want to get pushed off. There are ways to work around this fight. I got pushed. I got pushed. If I say something, the opposite's going to happen. If I say it, the opposite is going to happen. The run's kind of dead now. It's kind of dead now. That's disappointing, but I can't disappoint. I'm disappointed, but not surprised. Let's put it that way. But shrapnel. Hope your work day was outstanding. Hope it, well, I'm, I'm work day being outstanding. Sounds like an oxymoron, but at least you're done working. Let's look at it that way. Bats are everywhere. This stage is psychotic with the bats. And now I don't have any health to work with. I'm down a life already. The boss isn't that hard of this level. If we can get to the end of that water part, I think we can kill it, but it's just going to be getting there. going to be a problem. Breeze and Sky, welcome in, dude. Hope you're having a nice Sunday. Pleasure to see you as always, dude. We're kind of stuck here. <laughs> we're, we're a bit stuck. And hoping to get better, but yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh, are there bats in Alabama? Yes, there are. I've actually, like when I was young, my parents had a fern plant, and they brought it inside the house and didn't know a bat had gotten, on t gotten in it somehow. So yeah, we had a bat loose in the house. That was a bit crazy. I don't even know how we got the bat out of the house. I was like nine, eight years old or something, but I just remember the bat being inside the house. What? 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 RNG? What? RNG? 
Are we looking at a little RNG there? What did what happened differently? Something happened completely differently there. Was I like one pixel in a different spot and that caused the dragon to do something different? I don't know there. Just one loop is enough calorie, not evil enough. That's right. Loop one is just not enough. Not anywhere close to evil enough. This It's like playing a different game at this point, Andy. The difficulty is so much different. The difficulty is different. I didn't think it was going to be that much of a change. It is. Well, I've never seen these levels on Loop 2. We've done Loop 2 of the Cypher Path, which is much, much, much different. But this freaking water level, this is an optional level, too. You don't even have to go this way. That's, that's enough with the bats. Batman shows up. Mixer. No, Batman's awesome, Shinobi. I can tolerate Batman. He's a good dude. He's good. I did Jinx at Shrapnel. I Jinx everything. Oh, look, I think I'm safe over here. This thing won't hit me, and then it knocks me off the ledge immediately. Story of my life with these kind of games. No! Oh, my God, it's over. <laughs> Good night. Well, I don't have any lives left anyway. Let's, let's make a little magic happen here, see if we can beat them. This is evil, Celestial. It is very evil. What can I do differently to make this fight go along more smoothly? Make better choices. Make better choices. Make better choices would, would be a safe assumption. That run was dead anyway. We had no extra lives. At least it doesn't take that long to get back to it, because I know this level fairly well now, up to that point. Game is wrong, agreed. It's changing the rules. The rules are changing in, fr in front of our very eyes here, and I took a hit. Cool. Love that. Branka, welcome in. Hope you're having a nice day. You stream so early in the day for me. I, Branka, I'm, I never get to see you stream. It's like sometimes you're just starting when I'm going to bed. I've seen that on Twitter before. It'll be like 2 or 3 in the morning here if I'm up very late to do something or I have to get up. And I like randomly, I'm like, I'm not sleepy. Let's see what's going on online for a second. I'm like, oh, Branka's starting her stream and it's the middle of the night for me. <laughs> oh, I, I hate how I miss people. I really do. It, it, I, we need more hours in the day. Maybe that's what we need. Maybe that's the whole problem with life is that we don't have enough hours in the day. Of course, if you got that, then you'd be... <laughs> Then they'd have you work in 16-hour days, so maybe that's not a road we need to travel down. All right, let's make sure we don't get hit by this guy. We can still get the, the meat back, at least. All my 80s gaming memories came on cassette tapes, so they were dirt cheap. Got a lot of cassette tapes here as well, Finn Kirk. I'm glad you, uh, I'm glad you got to experience that era, though. I think most of us here are around the same age, and we can definitely re relate with that kind of good stuff. 80s cassette tapes. I've got like a whole box of them somewhere, and I think a lot of them is just me like making recordings of me having wrestling matches with like s s plush toys and stuff. That's how I was entertaining myself as a kid back in the day. But cassette tapes bring back just all kinds of good memories to me. Uh, I'm, I'm, but uh, Brank, I'm having a wonderful day, and I hope you are too. Glad I can at least get, catch yours. I do get to catch yours when you're streaming like really late on a day. I have gotten to do that a few times. I've seen you playing some good first-person shooters. Those are games I, for some reason, can't get into besides the original Doom. I love that so much, but then you try and offer me another first-person shooter. Like the best one ever made or something. I'm like, nah, just give me Doom. Great! 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 I love it. I love getting hit by stuff I shouldn't. Bioshock Infinite. See, there's one right there. There's one right there. It was boring. I had to wait for the evening to snap some pics of an astronomy app I had to write a mini tutorial for. That sounds kind of interesting, though, Shrapnel. That sounds like something I would like to be doing. Instead of doing spreadsheets and junk like I'm always doing. Spreadsheets are just... That's the pit of being boredom, staring at spreadsheets. All right, let's get this again. That's easy to get. We got that down. We got that down. Don't need to pick anything else up. Now we have to fight our bone dragon friend again up at the top and hopefully not screw it up. 
Still have some VHS tapes myself. I bought a VHS of Bloodsport recently. No regrets. Jean-Claude Van Damme in his first role in Bloodsport. Nice choice. Nice, nice choice. I think he was better as Colonel Guile in Street Fighter, though, I want to say. Brass! What's up, Brass League? Welcome in, man. You should play Bioshock Mixer. That's a new game, though. That might cause problems. <laughs> That's a new game. And a first-person shooter somewhat new game on top of that. I'm not sure if I could do it. <laughs> I get so bored playing like modern games and stuff. I'm glad there's people out there that love them, though. What's the best Castlevania for you? Branka, I think I'm going to go with the first one. But I love this one a lot. It's a really hard choice for me. I think I'm going to go with Castlevania 1 simply because I played it a lot more. But this is a masterpiece of a game, too. It's, it's very close. And I love Castlevania Bloodlines on Genesis. I love Super Castlevania 4 on Super Nintendo. But I think the NES original is my favorite. And this one I'd maybe put in second. And then it's maybe a tie between the 16-bit ones. I think something like that. But yeah, I think I'll go with the original. Oh man, I've been getting into modern Doom mods and there's some wonderful work out there. Now, Finn Kirk, now you're speaking my language. That's the kind of stuff I would do with the original Doom is find more mods for it and stuff like that so I can keep playing that kind of stuff and not have to play a new one. Don't give me a new one. Just don't. I'm, my mind's still in the 90s. System Shock. Should, oh yeah, I should, I'd get a System Shock for sure for playing a modern game. You have to play it? I don't know about that. New game, 15 years old. To me, that's a new game, Neff. New game is like 2003, like that Star Fox for GameCube or whatever. That's a new game to me. I've never played it. And it's and it's like modern style. <laughs> so to me, it's new. That's close enough. This stupid Bone Dragon. What, what am I doing wrong with this fight? I'm going to let him hit me there. I just want to get through this part. All right, he's gone. See, it's not that bad. We gotta stay on the right side and not get pushed off the ledge. System Shock came out in 94. I've never heard of that. Now, see, I might consider that. I might consider playing that, maybe. But I'm just really weird when it comes to modern games. I could only play the second. The first one was a bit too confusing. It, it takes getting used to it for sure, Branka. See, to me, the second one is the most confusing. It's, it's a, like, a lot about like what we grow up with and stuff, too. <laughs> this is psychotic. <laughs> what kind of person thought this was a good idea to design this part like this? Yeah, if we had Alucard, I realize we could just fly over it, but th this is nuts. This is nuts. I'm going to die here. I'm going to die here. I'm going to die here. I can't get anywhere. This might actually be impossible. <laughs> so let's make it not impossible and just beat it. Okay, where's that first fish man going to be? If Will the bat spawn if I'm facing a certain direction or is it just random? It looks like it's random. Well, I can't stay... I, I, can't, I can't figure this part out. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I think it's all RNG. I think it's RNG, which means we're going to have to get stupidly lucky if we ever want to see the end of this level. The Dracolich is a problem, yes. It's a problem. Modern games are great. That's Now, Magneto coming from you, I understand where you're coming from. But from my own point of view, not so much. Modern game or uh, home improvement. Now you're really putting me on the spot with that one. I guess I'll choose a modern game, believe it or not. <laughs> if you're going to say that, yeah, I think I have to choose a modern game. System Shock 2, never played that. You know what, let me make a note of the System Shock that I've never heard of. Let me move things on my desk before everything falls off on the floor. System Shock, what is that on? How did I miss that? Is that on like Genesis or Super Nintendo? Is it one of those systems? If it's not, that's why I didn't see it. Make sure I'm not missing anything. And since you play this game, it's Forefather of Modern First Person Shooter Action Games. And from 1994? Really? Only recently played through the classics, still need to play Castlevania 4. And Rondo, you do rush. You do. You absolutely do. I haven't even played Rondo yet. That's something else to work on.
But yeah, Farley, if I have to choose between Home Improvement or a modern game, I think I might just choose modern and like cast my principles to the winds and just go with that. I'm not getting Home Improvement. And that is, that's a video game that just shouldn't exist. It just shouldn't. I mean, it's bad enough that it's based on a freaking sitcom, but... Why is this guy not dead yet? I've hit him a million times. Now he's dead. Okay. The shot games were MS-DOS Windows exclusives. Okay, maybe that's why I missed out. I do have a lot of DOS games. And like Windows 95 in that era and stuff like that. I've got a lot of that. But I never had System Shock. So you're telling me that that, like, that game is why like Wolfenstein and things like that were developed? If it's like the father of all like first-person shooters, I thought like Wolfenstein was the grandfather of all those games. You telling me that I was wrong for all these years? Is that possible? <laughs> you have good choice, right, Magneto? Good choice. Good choice. Home improvement just shouldn't even be a thing. I'll take any modern game besides that. I have my limits. But if you had to offer me like a super modern game that just came out or play Captain Planet again, I'd probably choose Captain Planet, believe it or not. At least I wouldn't be bored. I get very bored with modern games very quickly. Unless they're like a JRPG, but that's a, that's a horse of a different color. That's something complete... Oh, God. Really? Alright, we gotta do this again. That's easy. Just do it without thinking. Farley, thank you for the 500 bits, man. Very kind. Very, very kind, man. You don't have to do that. I appreciate it very, very much, though. So, so kind. But, but since you've since you've asked that question, yes, I, I will choose a modern game over home improvement. System Shock 2 was being converted to Dreamcast, but was canceled. Dreamcast deserved more than it got. It really did. Dreamcast should have been a hit. But I think a lot of people were like scared that Sega wasn't going to support it long enough or something like that. So, kind of the same reasons as Saturn get didn't maybe didn't get all it deserved either. Sega went off the track when they started focusing on things like the 32X and the Sega CD and they never really recovered from it. And that's a shame because I really, really like Sega. These things do the same pattern every time. You just got to be, just got to be consistent with it. There we go. Bioshock is 15 years old. To me, that's still a modern game, Knight. Anything made after the year 2000 to me is like a modern game. <laughs> it's still that way. Am I gonna... Oh my god, he did not hit me right there. What if I just stay ducked here? Will he just do this forever? Ah, look at that. If you hide on that little ledge, he can't get you. We outsmarted him, guys. We outsmarted the, the dead dragon. That makes me really happy. I appreciate it very much, Farley. Very, very much, man. We discovered something. Okay, now we need to discover this next level. This is where the problem lies right here. This is where it is. Dreamcast is literally Xbox beta. Yeah I, yeah, I guess you could kind of look at it that way. Deuce X, never played that. I know, I've heard of that before. Bioshock, Thief, yeah, I heard of all those. Just never played them. IT was a niche uh, developer who did... Niche, sorry. Niche developer who did amazing games with terrible sales figures. That's unfortunate. Uh, Dreamcast is a lovely little console. Extremely easy to pirate games for. That's, that's just so unfortunate. How that all system all worked out like that. It deserves so much better. What am I supposed to do here? What am I supposed to do? Somebody clue me in on how this works. Somebody clue me in. Having a clue. Having a clue how to do this part. Get lucky? Yeah, I guess so. That's what we're going to do. Get lucky. Modern shmups with pixel graphics are often great. They have several on PS4, and most are ace. Now, let me ask you this. Do they have unlimited continues, Shrapnel? If they don't, you won't see me touching them. There's nothing worse than having to replay hard levels in a shmup to me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hit me. Okay, fine. I'm fine with that. Go. Keep going. 
This is a PB, guys. This is the far farthest we've made it here. I can't go get the one up. The water rises too quickly. Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yes. It's doable. It's psychotic, but it's doable. Maybe this part will be easier. I'm pausing. <laughs> Holy water the fish, man, before you drop down. We can't do that. We're, this is a... Uh, this is a whip-only run. We can't do holy water. I, I, that's a great idea, Boot, but unfortunately not on this run. Mixer thinks Oregon Trail is modern. N no, not... W <laughs> I get what you're saying, Farley, but no, I can't go with that. I can't go with that. <laughs> that's definitely a retro game. But... I <laughs> Time clock would be nice. Oh, that's how you do it, Jax. You get the time clock. Then Trevor could do it no problem. We wouldn't have to be worried about the dang playing as a la carte. Classics, welcome in, man. Hope you're having a nice day. My favorite part, not. Okay. <laughs> My favorite part, too, as well. Said no one ever. Hey, look, there's less bats here. They made this doable now. Don't be a bat right there. No. There's still a lot of them. Oh, come on. Dude, the water's gonna get me. Boy, that was nice. Cool. <laughs> no way, I'll never make it back there again. Never happen that way again. Never make it there again. That was unbelievable. I think that's my lowest Castlevania moment I think I've ever had. That was unthinkable. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Oh, it was something else. Boy, and we thought beating the Dracula on loop three, on loop one, and then falling down the hole was bad. That was a hundred times worse right there. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Thank you for the clip, Classics. <laughs> That's going to be one for the books right there, that clip right there. Oh, my God. Oh, I am in awe. I am truly in awe of that moment. It could have at least let me the water not be deadly anymore once the dragon was dead. They could have at least done that for us. The water is moving so fast on that part, you have no time to react. There's just enough time to kill the boss. Just enough time. And I'm surprised I lasted as long as I did with him. I thought he was going to hit me again and I was going to die. But no, we actually killed him. Well, this is the worst Castlevania stage I think I've ever seen. As far as like the actual real games and not the, the ROM hacks and stuff. This is definitely the hardest. Man, we had him beat too. It's unbelievable. We can beat him again, but the odds of doing it are just... 
astronomically low. I think it was my crowning achievement, I think so, Nev. How can we top that? Orb spawns in deadly water, news at 11. Oh, sorry for the outburst rush. I can't, the, my whole world just got absolutely blown apart right there, and it's unthinkable that that could even happen. So you can't even get to the orb. You can't even get to it. You can't even get it. It's unreal. But the good news is maybe we can get to that other dragon fight and, like, stun him in that spot again. Maybe we can do that. My mouth just dropped when that happened. I know, man. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I will never forget that, I think, for the rest of my life right there. Anytime I think of Castlevania, I'm going to imagine that right there. If you're not playing hard games, I don't think you're doing it right, Classics. Hard games is where the fun lies. Hard games is what it's all about. Retro fan, welcome in, man. Hope you're having a nice day. Hope all is well with you today. We're working on Castlevania 3 here, and boy, it's something. <laughs> loop 2 is a hundred times worse than Loop 1. It's not even comparable. We beat this level very quickly last time. It's not happening here. All right, let's see if we can lock this guy into position again. That seemed to work good last time, so we're going to try it again here. This is where I was last time. He's doing something different? No. Yeah, he is doing something different. Alright, so maybe we can't do that every time. Which is fine. Is he lit? He's done. Okay. Alright, well that's nice. Retro fan, I hope you're having a nice day, man. Pleasure to see you as always. We're trying to do something crazy here. It's not exactly going well. <laughs> it's not exactly going well. But it's a grind. I was playing Dark Souls 3 and couldn't figure out how to play because I haven't played in a long time. Never played a Dark Souls game. I don't think I need to. I think this is enough Dark Souls style game for me. But I'm glad people enjoy those kind of games. Nope. I had no choice there. The block was going to collapse and there's a million bats. Basically you need to get lucky and get three bat spawns on one side of the screen and then just kind of roll with it. And that's how, you, how I did it last time. Because you can't delay. Dead. Dead. Okay. Need to work that. Every spot has to be worked out here. They're looking for perfect. No, they're looking for you to use the watch or to play as Alucard. They're not looking for this as Trevor. This was not in the original design plans here. Dead. Dude. 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 Is, I don't even get to practice. I, I don't even get some practice in. I get two seconds of practice and it's back to this again. Two seconds of practice. Practice wouldn't even help anyway. The bat spawns cannot be timed or anything. They, they're just random. This is just madness. But we have a challenge to work through. We have that. So I'm, I'm kind of pleased that, 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 that at least we have something hard to work on. We needed something like this. Wasn't that bad at all, Mix. I remember Chulk somersaulting into a pit after finally beating Dracula in Castlevania XX on Super NES. Yes, I do. Rem I've seen that clip before. I wasn't there live for it, Shrapnel, but I've seen that clip before. Chulk always ends up getting into positions like that. I mean, he loves like really hard games and stuff too, so th that is incredible to when that type of thing happens. I can to I totally feel it though. And he played Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection and like insanity like that, so yeah. Totally, totally, totally understandable. Doing good, bro. One more night of work than off for tomorrow. Nice. That's what you want. That's what you want. If you have to work a weekend, at least get some other days off during the week to help make up for it. I've had to do that before in my life. And I'm probably have to do it again. 
But honestly, there should be three days off for the week. If you want to have a 40-hour work week, have it have four days of 10 hours and then three days off. I think that would be really good for most jobs. I think that would increase productivity. I really do. Okay, you can almost stun lock this thing right at the right at the start here. There we go. We're good here. This is madness, Celestial. It's nuts. I'm amazed I never broke a controller as a kid as an adult. I've broken several mice and keyboards. <laughs> yeah, the ra if you rage at games as a kid, it seems, Finkirk, it, it, it never goes away even as you get older. I don't think I ever broke a controller either. I, my Sega controllers took a bit of a beating, but that's not because I was hitting them. They just wore out. But, yeah, I don't think I ever really broke a controller. I, I, came, I threw them down a couple of times. I don't think they ever like, took any damage. This trolley dragon right here. Pats, welcome in, man. Welcome in, Pats. Yeah, if you can find that clip of Chulk in Castlevania going down the hole after beating it, uh, definitely show that. Feel free to do so. If somebody saved it as a clip, it might still be up there, but I did see it. It was saved somewhere. My tolerance will rise, ideally, you, so you rarely do it. I don't know. I don't know. Pats, I hope you're having a nice day, man. Welcome in. We're stuck. We're stuck on this level. This is a brutally difficult level, but that's okay. That's okay. Hopefully, we'll figure it out. We managed... We killed the boss. The orb was on the freaking screen. It's unreal. No, RNG. Cool. All right, great. Now what? Now what? If I jump here, will he go up? All right, he's gone. So we, now we get to... No, he's not gone. Why is he not gone? Oh, he had to take one more pot shot at me. I got it. Cool. Awesome. One more cheap shot on me before he left the screen. Love it. At least I'm not playing Captain Planet. That's true. Could always be worse. Could be a lot worse. <laughs> as grind, as trolly and nasty as this part is, it's still a lot better than Captain Planet. I'll, I'll give it that much. But I don't know what to do here. I really don't. There's not enough time. You can't fight the bats on those platforms. It's not going to happen. You barely have enough time to fight them on the regular platforms because the water's rising. Is there enough time to make this run? Is there enough time? Is there enough time? There's not enough time for anything. I don't get to practice. I don't get to practice. I'm trying to like discover some type of strategy here, but that's not happening. You gotta just keep moving. You just gotta keep moving. You you slack up, you die. No slacking up. Keep moving. Keep moving. That's what we've learned. Move. Do not slow down. Do not do that. I hate this part, man. This sucks. Dead in two seconds every time. Take any hit there. That's just gonna make it harder. Hell of a grind here. It's an absolute hell of a grind. You gotta just speed through this area. Every time I slow down, it goes just goes off a cliff right there. Gotta keep moving. Keep momentum. Make good jumps. Don't stop and whip anything. If I stop and whip something, I die every time because there's too many bats. It almost feels like you gotta get lucky here with a good bat time. It's all about the bats. Alright, that's dead. Hey, Big Dave, welcome in, man. Hope you're having a nice day. Welcome on in. No bats in this part. The bats only start showing up once you reach that second part of the stage, thankfully. Hope you had a nice nap, Big Dave. Hope that went well for you. Some people can do good... Uh, taking hits. Taking hits. 
Can't take this many hits. Can't slack up. Gotta stay into it. Stay into it. No slacking up. I just want to be done with this part so badly. It's not gonna happen. Alright, this one's pretty... That one's easy. We're fine with that. Yeah, this level's torture. It is. Tor nah, it's not. I mean, it, it, it sucks dealing with that part. Well, that's fine. Torture would be playing Captain Planet or Back to the Future Parts 2 and 3. Home Improvement, one of those kind of games. That would actually be real torture. This is just a tough level. It could be a hundred times worse. Come on, I gotta do that right. There we go. You'll be up all night. Yeah, some people when they take a nap, they're gonna be awake all night. I'm one of those people as well. <laughs> I try and avoid naps at all costs. Usually on days when I stream, though, I have a good time streaming, and that kind of like gets me in a good mood and having fun and that type of stuff. Usually playing something hard gets the adrenaline flowing and that type of stuff, and then it's not so bad staying awake for the rest of the day, even if you didn't sleep well. Like back in high school, I had a terrible time staying awake. After school was over, soccer practice was over, then I was just exhausted. I was ready to go to bed at 6 o'clock in the evening. You can't do that. Ab Paula, welcome in. Hope you're having a nice day. Welcome. Don't ever try this level on loop two, please. <laughs> this is madness. This is madness. I can't afford a hit there. Can't afford it. Timing was a little bit different that time. Us old folks need our naps. We're not old, Neff. We're not old. We're absolutely not. No, sir. We're still young as can be. I'm going to try and stay here again. It worked last time. It should work this time. See, why is it so easy? Sometimes that guy goes ballistic all over the place. And other times he just goes in a slow little circle right there and nothing happens. That's the way that works. If you drink, you pass out instead of sleeping. I'll leave that to experts like yourself. How about that, Apollo? Experts like yourself. You would know a thing or two about that. <laughs> Abpala's our resident drinker expert. Anything to know with drinking that you go to Abpala for that. All right, perfect. See, the, because there was two bats on the right side of the screen that made it simpler. Need to try and get that bat spawn going next time. Maybe that's what we're missing here. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. All right, at least we're on the next section with no hit points. And, wow, that was close. We can't slow down here. I cannot slow down at all. I also can't take another hit, so I'm kind of screwed either way here. Yep. Timing. Need good timing. Looking for that elusive good timing there. Didn't get it. Alright, I'm going to try and like all right I'll take that too slow faster more speed more speed I delayed that too long learn a thing. Did not learn a single thing. I actually did learn something. That there is nothing to learn. I learned that you can't learn anything at that point. You just gotta get lucky and hope the bats spawn in a favorable pattern. Yeah, great, taking another hit. This is madness, man. This level, there's not gonna be a harder level in the game than this. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. This is the bottom of the barrel for difficulty. Sean, what's up, man? How's it going, buddy? 
Hope you're having a nice day. Yeah, it's Castlevania 3, and it's Trevor, it's Whip only, and it's Loop 2, and it's the water level. <laughs> It's the it's the worst combination of everything right here. It's insanity. You need to try this. You should give this a try, Sean. I bet you could do a good job with it. I am getting absolutely pummeled. And you know what? Loop 1 with this challenge wasn't all that bad. It really wasn't. It wasn't that bad, but this stage is where all the difficulty's been so far. Because the bat spawns in the next part are nuts. There's three bat spawns and fishmen that are jumping out, and the water level's rising. It's it's the worst situation you can ask for in a Castlevania game. Plan to do Castlevania 3 damageless? Awesome. I'm not surprised. You got Castlevania 1. Let's ratchet it up to the next level, right? The next level. It's so much longer. That's going to be the problem with Castlevania 3 deathless is how long it is. Of course, you're going to develop those strategies, it'll be done. My own torture, yes. Yeah, but you're going to make it eventually. You made it in Castlevania 1. I remember a couple of times when you were working on that the other day, you were like, I don't know about this challenge. And then you ended up doing it like a day later. <laughs> Which was incredible to see. I, went, I was working when that happened the other day, but I, I saw the VOD. I got to see it. And that was amazing stuff. But welcome in, man. I hope you're having a nice day. What'd you work on today? Did you stream today? I'm sure you're working on something. Great! Great! Awesome! Great. Jesus. Did that happen? It did. I was in the wrong spot. That's why. This is dumb. This is really dumb. Castlevania 2 Deathless. Going for Just do all the Castlevanias Deathless. You've already done three, I believe. So yeah, two Deathless would be interesting. There's some of those parts where you jump over the water that are really trolly. I remember those water parts from doing Castlevania 2 long, long ago. That's going to be an interesting playthrough. Castlevania 2, though, the good thing is once you know where to go, it's not that long of a game. It's, that's the problem everyone has with that. It's just they don't know where to go. But once you do know where to go and like memorize a good path, you got it no problem. But those water parts are going to be a major problem for the Deathless. This guy just does different stuff. I'm starting to get convinced that this guy's not going to do the same thing twice. Go ahead, take a shot at me. I know you want to. Right, I've got no health, so it really doesn't matter here. Let's try it again. Let's take another shot at it. No big deal. There's three bat spawns here. That's the problem we're facing with this spot, is the bats. The, wa the fish guys are fine. It's all about dealing with the bats here. And we actually beat the boss. That's the worst part about this. And then I died in the water. There's no time to delay. Okay, what if I just bounce here for just a split second? Will we be okay? That was a decent run. Of course we get a decent run when I have no health. Now I'll get killed right away having health. And we still have to find a way to upgrade the whip. I'm gonna need that for the boss fight. How about some bats spawn behind me? How about some bats spawn behind me? That would be nice. Really? 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 Cool. Love that. That's awesome. Dude. Two fish guys right there. That's different. I love that. Whip's not upgraded. Whip's not upgraded. 
Whip still not upgraded. Can't delay here. Whip upgraded. Okay, let's go. Yeah, well, that's nice. What was I supposed to do there? I was stuck on the steps. Duck? Nope. Wrong choice. Bad decision. Back to the beginning. Jesus Christ! This part with whip only is rage. It's insane! It's so hard! You know, right before you got here, Sean, we beat the boss. We actually beat the boss of this stage, but the water had filled up so much, I couldn't. I jumped to get the orb to finish the level. I landed in the water and I died instantly. That's how close we were to finishing this level. Bats are trolling him today. Yeah, the, the bats are insane at this point. They're worse than birds. Remember what I said earlier? That the birds were the worst part about this game on level 8 or whatever? No, that's changed. Loop 2 is just bats. I know, it's just non-stop, one bat after another. There's three different bat spawns that happen right there. And you gotta get there with some health. You don't get there with health, you're just done. I'm gonna make it... Alright, if you just keep whipping in this spot, I think you're gonna be safe on this. I'm, yeah, we're, we're good there. It's just all this, this all about the bats here. It's kind of like it's all about the birds and ghosts and goblins. Loop, uh, loop 12 on level 2. It's all about the birds there, and this level is all about the bats. There's always going to be something, and that's okay. they, they got to make something trolly happen. Now, the birds on the last, on the second to last level in that part through the water right before the doppelganger fight, that's one of the worst parts of the game. But somehow this is much worse. Wasn't expecting this to be worse, but it is. Alright, that one we just stand still. No big deal. We can get back there quick. Well, not super quick. Takes a couple of minutes. Been tapped out for too long. How things going? Uh. Tapped out for a bit. Uh, Rob, we are on loop two now. We are back on the water level, and it is psychotically difficult after you beat the the bone dragon guy the first time. The next part has a million bats spawning, and it's it feels just absolutely nuts. It's insanity how difficult this next section is. It's harder than anything I've ever seen in a retail release Castlevania game. Of course, if you weren't using whip only, it wouldn't be that bad because you could get the clock and you could just stun everything on the screen and make it through with no problem. But since we can't use any special weapons, it's bordering on almost not doable. But we did make it through once, killed the final boss, and I drowned in the water trying to pick up the orb to end the level because the water level had risen too much. Unreal. If we, if we find ourselves in that situation again, I'm going to try and make a, a further leap from the further on over on the ledge. Like a jump from like right there. We might have made it with that. Probably not, but maybe next time. But this is a hell of a challenge. I'm, I'm really enjoying the challenge part of it, though. It's trolly and annoying as it can be. It's still a fun game. That's not going to change. What's going on here? That was different. I almost got pushed off again. All right, being over here is usually the smart move because that way, even if he makes a beeline for you, he's not going to be able to push you off. I'll take a hit here just to get him dead. That's all I want to do right here is get this guy down. If we have to sacrifice one life for that to happen, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it, no problem. I was thinking about starting my own Twitch channel. I was just curious, how do you stream without headphones and not pick up the game music? Uh, I have a microphone eater to where it only picks things up in front of it. And there's a setting you can use to where it won't pick up anything behind you. And I've got the speakers kind of set up behind the monitor here behind it. So you can't hear anything from the actual game sound. And plus, I don't have it turned up very loud to prevent an echo. So that's basically how I'm dealing with that. Ants decided they want to come into my house. Had to spray, clean and spray. Did everything short of lighting my home on fire. Well, hey, you got them, though. 
<laughs> I know what that's. I've been down that road once before, Rob. It's amazing how quickly they can get in there. With like, they're not there one day. There's nothing there. Next day you get up, they're like all over the the inside of your window. It's nuts. <laughs> I dealt with that one time. It's crazy. Oh man, still here. Always thought this was a tough stage to begin with. Thunder. It feels nearly impossible. It almost feels impossible. Almost. Not quite, but almost. If you del I don't even know why I'm... No, you can't do it like that. You just can't do it like that. I didn't have any health on that run either. I came into the wrong home. You just don't be like that person that had a, a snake get on their wooden porch. Some guy poured gasoline on the snake and caught the snake on fire on their own porch. The snake went into their house somehow and caught that and burned the house down. It was like one last act of defiance. Pretty epic, honestly. God, dude, dude, dude. Cut me a little slack here with the spawns. Cut me a little bit of slack here with these spawns. It's nuts. It's completely nuts. It's random. It's RNG. Dude, I can't I cannot do this. Yeah, we did it once. We did it once. We can do it again. We did it once. Two tone, what's up, man? Welcome in. Oh, what's up? Condenser mic or dynamic? This is a dynamic mic. This is just one of those this is a blue uh, blue snowball microphone. It's very simple when you can get it like in pretty much any store. The only thing it doesn't do very well, it doesn't pick up very loud noises too well. Like if I, when I'm raging and I yell on stream, it doesn't sound great. But that's how that kind of works. But two tone, I hope you're having a nice day, man. A pleasure to see you, man. Lurking but break a leg. Thank you very much, man. We, we've hit a brick wall here of not making any more progress. Everything was kind of just going along just fine until we reached this stage. Everything was good until this happened. And this stage is normally a little bit difficult, not even on loop two, but now, now we're in hell. Woke up to an ant infestation in my kitchen a few days ago and put some bait traps and they were almost gone by the next day. It's amazing how they just sneak in out of nowhere. You won't even see a nest. They just show up one day. I found termites in the house too, that's scary. Cause you don't know if your house is gonna be damaged. But thankfully, it turned out that it, the house was not under threat from termites. Very, very lucky there. <sighs> yeah, I set a few beat, bait traps for them. I know there's more than what I saw. Just have to make sure not to kill them. If I, <laughs> not to see them, they can come back and carry the bait. That's right. Take them back to the queen. The ant queen and kill them all. And that's how that's going to work. Yeah, you can't take out the nest until you do that for sure. Kane, thank you for the raid, man. Welcome in. The exception of the accidental fall, you were deathless until this stage. I, I know. Deathless on this stage would be something to see. Well, you could do it with some other stuff, but... Like, if you had the clock or something like that, you could do it no problem. But whip only is a whole nother ball game. Kane, what were you playing, man? Welcome on in. We're playing retro. What, what game would that be? Let me know. And I appreciate the raid, man. Welcome on in, all Raiders in Kane's group. Kane's always doing something interesting. Bedtime, no problem, Shrapnel. Appreciate you hanging, man. Hope you had a wonderful day. Charles, what's up, dude? Proto, what's up? Got a lot of awesome people joining in right at this very moment. Welcome in, Charles. Welcome in, Kane. Shrapnel heading to bed. Grunt is here. Welcome in, Grunt. <laughs> Yes, w there there we go. That's the emotes we're looking for. Perfect. Grunt, how's it going, man? Welcome in as well. <laughs> it's, it's just... I, my, we, we can't beat this level. We're, we're very stuck on this level. And when I was... Like, when we did loop one of this today, I was like, oh, this challenge won't be that bad, will it? And then we beat it fairly quickly after, like, three hours. And I was like, hey, guys, want to do loop two? I'm not expecting it to be like this. And here we are. Still here. Call the Nintendo Hotline. Yeah, that would be good. Hello, Nintendo Hotline. Can we help you? Yes, I'm on... I'm on loop two of Castlevania. Castlevania 3, I'm playing as Trevor only, and I'm using the whip only, and uh, I need help. 
They'd be like, are you stupid? Switch to a la carte or use the clock, you idiot, and they'd hang up on you. No, they wouldn't hang up on you because that would cost them money. <laughs> Stream ruined, very discouraged. Just playing some hacks, ended up not having mic working. Thanks to a Windows update. Windows up, Windows updates are more like Windows downgrades. <laughs> That's how that works. Windows upgrades are actually downgrades. Stream ruined, very discouraged. Hey, you can't help that, Kane. That's not your fault. That's Windows screwing up. That type of bad stuff just gonna happen sometimes. Just gotta like the other day, my stream got ruined by my internet collapsing on me. It, it happens, man. Don't worry about it. I had mic issues. Well, the Windows changed your mic setting. That was the problem. How did I get this guy to like loop around me that one time? It was like so quick and easy. I've never been able to get that to happen again. You almost did me in. All right. <laughs> All right, I think he's going to leave now. He's going to leave. Okay. Summer Sausage. Thank you for the follow, man. Welcome in. Hope you're having a nice day. Great to have you aboard for this psychotic area of Castlevania 3, Loop 2, Trevor, Whip Only. <laughs> Oh my goodness, pee on the enemies. I think I'll not do that. Not a good idea. I wonder if the Nintendo hotline still works. It'd be awesome if only a 60-year-old dude named Frank. <laughs> you know, the, the, Pookums, there was a hotline you could call named, it was like Wally Bear. There was like a bad game called Wally Bear and the No Gang. It was like trying to, what is going on with the bats? They're all going under the whip. Unbelievable. What kind of RNG was that? But there was a game called Wally Bear and the No Gang, and it was trying a video game based around kids not taking drugs or something. And that had a hotline that was up for like decades. Even long after the NES was gone. The, the, the hotline for Wally Bear still existed. It's unbelievable, but true. What am I supposed to do with this level, man? What am I supposed to do? Jump over, the, you can't jump over that guy, god damn it. You can't, you can't physically jump over that guy. What am I supposed to do here? Get a bunch of bats on the screen, that's what you do. I'm dead. Dude, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm drawing a blank on this part. And the worst part about it is no progress. No progress. That's when I start getting worried is when progress stops happening. That's when I start getting worried is when progress grinds to an absolute halt like right now. I'm gonna take a hit there. I take a hit there every time. Wally Bear drove kids to drugs. Apparently so. I've never played it. Maybe it's a good game. <laughs> or maybe it's not. Wally Bear and the No Gang. How could you go wrong with that game? Maybe that needs to be a bad game redemption. <laughs> maybe that's what we need. We all need some Wally Bear in our lives. Sounds like it'd be more fun than this right now because I, I, I don't know how to do this part. And I feel like I'm not getting any better at it either. That's the worst part about it. It's just get lucky with the bat spawns. The only times we've made it through are when the bats cooperated. And that's like never. At least we got good music classics. That's one good thing. Racer Roni, welcome in. Can't believe, still can't believe that drugs won the war on uh, d drugs. They did. Every arcade game of that era too had winners don't use drugs on it. And I guess that the whole campaign was for naught. That was a lot of money spent on pretty much nothing. It failed, but that was like on every arcade game. Winners don't use drugs. Like on the demo screen when you're just standing around in the arcade and you don't have any money left, all you can do is watch other kids play games. That was me many a times. And I was like, hey mom, can I have another, another dollar so I can play some games? And she's like, no, you've already spent two dollars today. So that was, that was the end of that. And I was at the mall like every day for a long time as a kid because my parents owned a store in the mall. So I got to go to the arcade like every like five days a week or something. It was kind of cool. 
We want Wally Bear. Wally Bear Deathless. What if I started by even bringing up Wally Bear? Oh my god. Big mistake. Big mistake. Let me. I'll have to look Wally Bear up first. I will consider putting it up for a trash redemption. I will consider it. I'm not promising it, but m maybe. <laughs> it's probably like really hard or something ridiculous, right? They're probably like not even playable. I don't know. I've never even seen it played. Wally Bear win. Great. Still to this day, when the screen when I boot up my Neo Geo, that's right. They're still in some of the old Neo Geo games. Still there, all these years later. I have a shirt that says it's too. Everybody knows about it. <laughs> If you lived in the 80s and 90s, you know what winners don't use drugs is when it comes to video games. Race, I'm doing good, man. I hope you are, too. Except for being stuck on this level for, like, the past two hours, everything else is fine. Really want to Prince Valiant up for redemption? I'm going to have to look at it first, Kane. I'm not jumping in head first on anything. Terrible. Looks like Wally Bear is super short. You can combine it with Captain Novelin. Never played that. Is that another terrible, stupid game? I bet. <laughs> I'll look up. I'll, I'm open to all suggestions, though. I'll look them up for real. Play a game of... A fun-filled game of Wally Bear. That's what we can do. <laughs> Who needs Castlevania 3 when you got Wally? Wally only run. <laughs> I wonder if there's other characters and stuff. It is the No Gang, after all. Oh, that went good. Nope. RNG is doing me in. We just need to beat this guy. Alright, well now I'm screwed. This run's over. Now this run is over. Dude, this is psychotic levels of Castlevania stuff right here. Why did I bother to do Loop 2 and just quit while I was ahead? Ah, that ship is long sailed, though. Wally Bear's super jank, but not really hard. I guess we could maybe we could put it up for a cheaper point redemption. Doesn't have to be at like a hundred thousand or something. If somebody really wanted to see Wally Bear, you could pay like thirty thousand channel points or something for it. Stuff stuff needs to be priced based on uh, how bad it is or how long it is. That's what I didn't do. Game about diabetes and insulin and eating healthy? It might be. I've never heard of it before. Never heard of it. Maybe I need to, though. Just got back from seeing Doctor Strange. Just looking forward to enjoying a relaxing Sunday afternoon. Sounds good. Sounds very good. I hope you enjoyed Doctor Strange. I've heard uh, a little bit of mixed reviews on it. Educational game about diabetes. Okay, that explains that. That explains it. So what are the enemies? Like donuts and and like chocolate and things like that? Is that what we're fighting against in that one? Like things that will make you not healthy? <laughs> Bart's Nightmare. I rented that as a kid grunt and a friend of mine owned it. We never beat it. I don't think we even got anywhere into it. We got to the mall. I think that's stage two. <laughs> so yeah, I've never seen any further in Bart's... Uh, oh no, not Bart's Nightmare. I was thinking about Bart and the Space Mutants. Because Grunt, you know why? That's what you were playing. That's what you were playing was Bart versus the Space Mutants. That's why I was thinking about that. But yeah, we completed Bart's Nightmare in like three hours or something. It turned out it wasn't as bad of a game as I was expecting it to be. I was expecting a lot worse from that game. But yeah, it wasn't all that bad. This is... I gotta get this guy, like, looping around me or something. Otherwise, we're not gonna win. After he takes a couple of hits, he does fly away. Why is he not gone yet? Oh, there he goes. He had to get another cheap shot, right? Didn't seem too hard, but it's hilariously bad. Okay. Wolverine on NES? I'll consider that one classics. I'll consider it. But yeah, Bart's Nightmare is thankfully done. I didn't mind Bart's Nightmare all that much now that I got to see the whole game and learn about it. And I got some help from the chat too, which made a difference. Otherwise, I don't think I would have beaten it anywhere close to that quickly. But I got some nice hints that otherwise I would not have known about that are like key game mechanics. I'm trying to figure this out. I'm trying my best to figure this part out. No spawn that time. No fish man spawn in the spot that had been killing me. That's insane. C 
see how easy it works when you get good RNG? You have to have good... WHAT?! Oh my god! Oh my god, how did I not make that jump? I was looking ahead, that's why. I was looking ahead. What do you do here? What do you do? 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 Like that, okay. Okay, you can delay there if that guy spawns. There's enough time to deal with it. Okay, I think I got a little bit better at this part. My real life experience for this stage just went up a little bit. I'm gonna say it did. Okay, another decent run. Regardless of whether we finish the level or not, this is a good run. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Crap. We don't have time to waste. There's no time to waste. You guys know as well as I do what happened here last time. Keep going. Just keep on going. Dodge a couple of bats. Keep going. I'm out of time. Orb! Yes! Oh my god, we did it! <laughs> the nightmare is over. That was absolute hell. Oh, out of the fire and into the inferno with this level. Okay, I'm gonna die here on purpose. Kill me with your little rapier. Kill me with it. There we go. Thanks for the GG's, guys. Holy crap, we got through the water level. It's done. Sir Dash, what's up, man? Welcome in. Hope you're having a nice day. Oh, man, I'm so happy we beat that level. It's done. Never again. Dark Castle is going to be a rough one. I know it's a maze. It's too late to back out of Dark Castle at this point. Unfortunately, Farley, but we'll play it when the time comes. If you like Night Bart's Nightmare, then try Virtual Bart. I think I would hate Virtual Bart. I've played that a little bit. It's got, like, the tomato throwing and all that. It's not a good game. Didn't seem too hard. It de okay, hilariously bad. Price based on difficulty too. Exactly, Studio Scott. Exactly. How come they never ported the Simpsons arcade game to 16-bit era? I wish I knew. Because that's the best Simpsons game ever made. was the arcade one. And it never got a port. We got Virtual Bart, but we didn't get the Simpsons arcade game. That's actually good. Actually good. Sir Dash, hope you're having a nice day. Just chilling and enjoying some coffee. Sounds good, man. Sounds outstanding. I'm hoping this level is going to be easier than last, or going to be about the same. Everyone knows about this level, what they make you do on it. <laughs> it's the blocks. It's the blocks. It's a very patient level. You have to wait a lot. Captain Planet Deathless. I'd like to see someone do that. It won't be me. But somebody out there, feel free to try Captain Planet Deathless if they want to. Won't be me. No, sir. They ported Simpsons Arcade to Commodore 64. Oh, really? And not Super Nintendo or Genesis. Oh, my God. The, the ledges are collapsing like instantly. That's new. That's new stuff right there. And there's more bats. That's not surprising. Jesus. <laughs> it's only going to get worse from here. I was watching you trudge through that hell. Nice job, my man. Crazy. I appreciate it, dude. I'm shocked we beat it. I am shocked we beat it. I didn't think it was going to happen. We even got to that part with less lives because I botched up the dragon fight before that. And somehow that time it worked out. My goodness. Sean, you got... You, uh, no, uh, we already said not me. I was going to call out Sean to do Captain Planet Deathless, but he, he's, he's one step ahead of me. <laughs> I was about to say, hey, Sean, thanks for volunteering, man. Deathless Captain Planet, no problem. Doing Hitless Castlevania, you can do Deathless Captain Planet. No problem. That stupid gargoyle. Come on. There's going to be more gargoyle spawns this time, isn't there? There's going to be more. Or maybe it'll just be the same one over and over. 
Alright, so when I get surrounded, we have to move. Alright, when that one shows up, we have to move. That sucks. At least my whip works through the wall. That's a... Oh my god. No more blocks. Come on. Alright, I think the wall meat is here. It is. Okay, I just want to get to the checkpoint. That's all I'm asking for at this point is just reach the checkpoint. No! Stupid glob. Come on now. This part is easier than dragon. I think we're. this is a hard stage. Yeah, exactly. But I think this stage is going to be easier to put up with than the one we just beat. Even though we may not beat it on the first try. No chance of that. But, uh... Oh, here's this bat. Oh, God. Okay, he did, did something different. <laughs> Get stomped. Get stomped, you piece of crap. That was lucky. <laughs> that was lucky. Don't expect more of that. Oh, are they falling faster, or is this going to be the same? This stage should not exist. This is not fun. This is not a fun part of the video game here. Hey, it could be worse. I could be throwing bats at you here. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? A bat spawn on this part. If I had designed this game, I would put a bat spawn on this area. <laughs> I would have put a bat here. This level does suck. It Absolutely. Welcome back, uh, Nomi. What's going on, man? How did I get hit there? I wasn't paying attention. That's what was going on. I was reading the chat. I was reading the chat again. All right, maybe I should not do that. There's going to be birds at the top of this that are going to kill me. I might as well just start this part over and go at it with full health because we're not going to make it this time. And I don't want to have to wait through these blocks a million times. Because there's a bird spawn right at the top. I'm going to start over. Let's just start from scratch right here at the blocks. And not get hit, ideally. The boss fight here is not that difficult. I know the boss fight here well. It's three bosses. It's the mummies, it's the cyclops, and it's the big red guy. N none of them are that big of a threat. It's just getting to them is going to be the problem here. And paying enough and keeping my attention on the blocks long enough to not get hit might also be an even bigger problem. It's so easy to let your mind wander during a boring moment like this, but you got to stay on top of it or you're just going to get screwed over. What are you guys talking about? Hey, Mixer got back from the gym, so now it's time to relax and watch some CV3. Sounds good. Sounds good. Everyone hates this level of classics. <laughs> Welcome to the club. The pattern on these blocks changes once. It does, but not much. Not much. Just a little bit. I think if you stay on this same pattern, just bouncing back and forth, you're going to be fine. It worked that way last time. Doing this part is great when you don't die. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to get past this point and lose all your continues, because then you have to do the blocks again. The blocks alone are stressing me out. Sean, you were doing this not all that long ago, like a month or so ago. I remember. Because I was at work and I was dropping into your stream and I was like, Hey, Sean, this part should totally exist in Castlevania 3, right? Because <laughs> this, this is the type of compelling gameplay you expect when you play a game like this, right? Yeah, I know. I'm not knocking on the game. I just wish this part wasn't in here. Add another difficult platforming part. That's fine. But don't have this block part. It's just boring. Nobody wants to do this. All right, the pattern, I think, just changed a little bit. Yeah, see, you can't be in that, that middle spot now because it's a little bit different. You also need to be right centered on the platform as well. Because if you're not centered here, i got a leather whip. That might be a threat, too, because we're dealing with birds on the next screen. But there's a one-up up there, too. And if you get the one-up, you're in pretty good shape. I don't remember where the next checkpoint is, though. That could be a problem. All right, it's not going to take that long. It just takes a few minutes, but it feels longer than it actually is. Let's look at it that way. I have no idea. I have no idea what just happened right there. I think they changed up on me. I have no idea. Either that, I jumped too early. Well, that's bad. That's a bad sign. 
Okay, it's not over yet. There is a one-up in the next area. It's just going to make it harder. I don't think the bosses fight any differently. I'm pretty sure about that. I think it would be fine to exist, but enemies should either be fighting you while it happens, like Medusa heads or birds, or it should be two times as fast. Now, if it's twice as fast, I could put up with that. No, if it's going to be like this, it should... Well, I just said I would put enemies here, but yeah, I'm, thankfully I'm not a game developer. Because if I had designed this part, I honestly would have put an enemy here to deal with, instead of just the blocks. It's so dang boring. That's the last thing you want in any video game, is to be bored. If you're bored at a spot, then it's I would say it's not well designed. I always try to talk during this part because it's boring, but I die because I'm talking exactly. You have to keep your mind on the blocks. And no one wants to do that. <laughs> no one wants to do it. It's hard to do. See, I'm having a hard time doing it right now. I'm thinking about like everything under the sun. Don't think about Wally Bear or Captain Planet. Think about blocks. It's not that hard. We can think about Captain Planet or Wally Bear and all that crap another time. Or Sub-Zero Mythologies or all the other crappy games you guys keep bringing up. Kid Cool. Don't need to be thinking about him. I wish I could, like, block everything on the screen out except the two spots I need to be standing. That would make me concentrate harder on it. Like, the, the, the two blocks I'm jumping between, that's the only parts that matter right now. The rest of the screen is just to distract you. I jumped too early last time, the pattern didn't change. I stopped paying attention, basically. I have no excuse. I'm tempted to look at the chat right now, I probably shouldn't. <laughs> I probably shouldn't, I should probably focus on blocks. Remember when we were kids and we were building stuff with blocks? This is not what I had in mind with that. Alright, we need like one more set of blocks or something. Okay, now how about a... nope. Come on, I need a whip power up. We're not near the one up yet, I forgot about these spiders. Like the birds are on the next screen, by the way. Oh, there's the whip power up where I can't get it. That's perfect. Awesome. Awesome. I don't know how to avoid a hit there. It's ridiculous. Imagine if you have birds to fight during this part. Yeah, I probably would have stuck one in if it was up to me. Retro Bunny, welcome. Hope you're having a nice day. Let's get a shout out for Retro Bunny since my stupid bot didn't see her. Oh, we got Retro Mike again. Whoops. <laughs> Wrong. Let's get Retro Bunny. There we go. There we go. Good stuff. Retro Bunny, hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome on in. We're trying to do this ridiculous Castlevania challenge, and we're on a really bad level. <laughs> we're on a level that's just not fun. It's not a boring level or any... It, I mean, it's a boring level. It's not a super hard one. It's just not fun. Solar Jetman 1cc. Uh... I think you have to kind of do that anyway, the way Solar Jetman works classics. I don't think you can do a, anything else but that. I'm pretty sure anyway. Alright, we've got this. Oh no, oh no, hold up. I gotta time the bat out or we're gonna die. <laughs> I've never been on this level. This is the hardest path, Bunny. This is a very, very nasty part of the game. This is one of the worst. We just beat the worst level pretty much. I'm very happy about that, but we have a lot of bad stuff still to put still to put up with here. Here you need to keep bouncing, otherwise the bricks below you will collapse and you will die very quickly. That bat is going to ruin it, isn't it? The bat ruined it. I'm backing up. Oh no. Oh no. This is going to be a major major problem. Yeah. They put bats here. I can't make it. I can't make it. How far back? Okay, we're on the same screen. We get one more chance to do this. Then we have to do the blocks again. Oh boy. I just love doing the part with the blocks. I'm 
going to bounce right here. If you bouncing on these... Oh, that's a mistake. Go! And don't slow down. Mmm, made it! Okay. I don't have a whip power up, though. That might be a problem. If you have get here with Alucard, you're in good shape. But otherwise, you're in a lot of trouble with just Trevor here. But that's the whole challenge. Okay, we have... Oh, no. Oh, no. Not these things. Not here. here the skulls are back. The skulls are here. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm... So There's a skip if you're quick. I'm going to try and do that, Sean, next time so we don't have to do all that crappy stuff again. I'm going to try my hardest to skip that. The first set, we got to do that. They stuck The skull heads only show up on loop two, by the way. If you've never seen those before, there they are. Heading out, bro. Got to get ready for work. Thanks for streams. Always hoping a guy I work with hasn't got rid of a PlayStation 5. I'm trying to get a disc version of 650, I'm told. Okay. Retro fan, thank you for hanging out, buddy. Thank you so much. I hope your work day goes well. How did you do that? That guy just phased through the floor. What a cheating little bastard right there. He just phased through the floor. That was crap. Didn't upgrade the whip. That's <laughs> what else could go wrong with this? Time for a skull emote. I'm starting to think so. Yes. I forgot about that part with that. that see, that's normally Medusa heads when you're doing it on loop one. That's Medusa heads right there. You, there are no skulls. Skulls are a hundred times worse. Skulls have no pattern. They just they just dart up and down. This game is famous for cheating glitches. Yeah, there's a lot of glitchy stuff and like a ton of different Castlevania type content. Here, no different. Absolutely glitchiness. I hope I can be fast enough to skip that part next time, Sean. I'm really hoping. So we can skip that entire part with the collapsing little ledges and stuff there. Okay, good start there. Good start there, getting hit already. Okay, this is where we have to just stand right here and then switch positions every time the blocks drop. Except it's a little harder this time. Because the gargoyle spawns happen more frequently on, the, on loop 2. What am I trying to accomplish here? More gargoyle spawns, that's a problem. It's tight. I'll give it a shot. We'll see if we can pull it off. I kind of want this guy to... No, nah, it's not going to matter. Let's go ahead and pick this up. Alright, get this guy dead. Alright, good start here. If we can get to the blocks, we'll be in somewhat decent shape. I think there's more to do before we get there, though. This is a tough level. We beat it really quick on the other loop. We had to deal with the bat again. Got to deal with this guy again. Not going to happen as well as it did last. I, Oh, God, I accidentally used holy water. We got to take a death. Now I'm going to start over. We, we can't use a special item. We can't use... I did not mean to do that. I'm blaming controller. I'm blaming this stupid controller on that one. I did not mean to use holy water there. The D-pad on the Xbox 360 controllers isn't good. They're assuming nobody's going to want to use the D-pad. I've learned that the hard way. <sighs> Did not mean to do that. That's the first time in two loops I've accidentally hit something with a special weapon. I'm, that's not too bad. Yeah, this stage sucks, Thunder. I think it's going to be more tolerable than that water stage. A master craftsman never blames his tools. Yeah, but what about if you have a stupidly bad tool, Neff? 
What if you're relying on a broken tool to get the job done? What if your tool is faulty or has errors in it? What, what, what then? What then? What if there's a defect in it? It kind of feels like this thing's got a defect in it. D-pad is just really stiff. The analog part for this controller is great. No problem with the analog. Of course, that, that's what everybody plays with these days. Nobody uses the D-pad anymore. Nobody does that kind of stuff. A D-pad. What kind of 1980s gaming are we talking about? Like all the like modern RPGs I play and stuff, I do play modern RPGs for those wondering. Yes, I do play a couple of new games here and there. However, the way you play them is with the analog stick and the D-pad is just like control like weird functions in the game and stuff. You don't actually move with it. But nobody appreciates a good D-pad anymore except for us retro people. That's pretty much our livelihood practically for playing these kind of games. Alright, deal with this again. My goodness, I hate this level. It's just a boring level. That's all, all, all there is to it. It's a boring level. And this part is definitely harder on loop two. This is harder. All about the D-pad, right? Yes, exactly, Bunny. I would trade the good analog stick on this controller for a good D-pad. Because I use the D-pad way more. Alright, we're through that. I'm going to get some health back here. I'd like to kill that skeleton first, because that's kind of risky. If they want to hit me right here real quick, that's fine. Alright, now we can get the wall meat. I love it. Gotta have a good D-pad, right, Rush? I know, man. You gotta have it. My sound working okay? It feels like the sound's kind of screwy right now. We're good. Never mind. We're go Oh, hold up. Just screwing up the display thing here. There we go. Oh, come on. Let's beat this level on this shot. I don't want to do this level again. There's so much that can go wrong on this, too. All right, don't use the holy water this time. We had the bat beat. If the bat wants to hit me a couple of times, I'm okay with that. Uh-oh. Alright. I'll take it. That's a good run. I've only been hit once. We're going to try and do it like this. We're going to try and save a life. All right, what's it time to do now, guys? What's it time for? It's time for blocks. Oh, boy, our favorite part of Castlevania 3 where the blocks fall. Yay! This is like an exercise in how long can you pay attention without cra cracking or something. This is this right here. They should make this an elementary school challenge for kids in elementary school to see who can pay attention the longest. I bet no, like nobody would make it through because people would start, kids would start getting bored like at this point right now, and they would be like, "Oh, I'm done with blocks. I'm done." Mixer finally escaped the onslaught of shit games. Yet the rage continues. At least there's not a horse. That's true. The rage is continuing, Fox. But the good thing is, we're playing a great game. So I may complain about this game every now and then, which is fine. But I love this game at heart. So I, I will never. This game will never go negative to me, like unlike something like Captain Planet. I'm, Captain Planet's our worst game. That is our worst game, and it's going to be hard to top that one. I, I, I could top it if I really wanted to, but I'm not going to go down that hellhole. Like Home Improvement and Back to the Future Parts 2 and 3, those would be worse than Captain Planet, but I will just not know about it. Ignorance is bliss when it comes to those games. I, I just will not experience them myself. Alright, the pattern just changed on us. We're, we're fine, though. Let me catch up with you guys now that we have a quick break. I think I'm going to get a retro bit soon, too. Get a gamepad without joysticks. Yeah, just get something freaking classic. Castlevania Karate Edition. Not a real game. <laughs> not a real game. Retro Bit makes an official USB Genesis controller. I got to get that, Studio Scott. I need some uh, actual real... 
retro USB controllers so I can switch them in and out based on what game I'm playing for the day. I need an NES controller. I need a Super Nintendo controller. I need a Genesis 6 controller. We need all that good stuff, and I have none of it right now. And it, I can get it as quickly as I... Uh, as soon as I order, as soon as I get to Amazon, I can order it. No problem. A retro bit would be even better than Amazon. Amazon's freaking taking over the world. We gotta rise up or something. <laughs> Before they own the planet, them and Disney are gonna, just gonna conquer the world. I think they own pretty much everything already anyway, so I'm, I mean, we may already be lost on that front. We'll just have to come to terms with our Disney overlords. That's fine, too. I mean, I can think of worse things to put up with. Yay, I like blocks. Blocks are fun. Oh, what? Excuse me? Excuse me? Captain Planet, he's our hero. Gonna take pollution down to zero. Screw Captain Planet, Beast Mode. He sucks. Welcome in, by the way, Beast Mode. Hope you're having a nice day, man. Blocks, that's right, Charles. Fun. Fun, happy blocks. Love them. Love them. Thunder, if you thunder, if you tried to play a game without having the controller turned upside down, I think you would have a major problem at this point. For you guys that don't know, Thunderfoot plays games, uh, challenges and stuff with the controller held upside down. And if he tried to play it the real way now, I don't think he could do it. God, I knew it. I knew it. I knew the bird was going to hit me, but that's okay. That's okay. We can get to the one up now. Blocks are over. At least for now, as long as I don't screw something else up here. Which is always a possibility. I like Captain Planet the cartoon as well. I did, but it might be ruined for me now that we've played the game. I don't think I can look at the captain any... I don't think I can look at the captain the same ever again. That's a shame, too. I'm not singing the song, Beast Mode. No, no, sir. Go watch Go watch a video on the on YouTube if you want to see Captain Planet. Sean would rather play Minecraft. Now we're getting... Now we're trending into interesting territory, Sean. When we're bringing up Minecraft. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> We'd rather play Minecraft with the blocks in that game, but not in this one. That's the road we're traveling now. Amazing. We've actually reached that point. <laughs> Insanity. Oh, you... I want to try and do that. <laughs> I want to try and do that. Oh, my God. It's kind of tight. Let's see if we can pull it off. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now I have to do with, do this, though. Uh-oh. If they hit you, you're kind of dead? Oh, this is a great situation to be in. I like this situation. This is where I want to be! <laughs> Freaking 20 skulls on the screen. I love it. Caleb, welcome in, buddy. How's it going today, dude? Welcome to Castlevania 3 Challenge. Oh, great. Wow, that's really tight timing right there. We can do it. We did it once, we can do it again. It's not that hard. Okay. It's skulls. All right, guys, skulls are here. Everybody just... Everybody take, take, take a seat. Skulls are here, and they're ready to ruin the world. You know what? Being scared and not moving is not going to work here. I gotta move. No! <laughs> oh, I made that. I swear the D-pad screwed me over right there. I'm pretty sure Athena was declared the worst. Saw the cart suck your soul up and you died and started over. Rush, I'm changing it. I'm changing it to uh, Captain Planet again, Rush. Athena grew on me a little bit, believe it or not. Oh, come on. We made that. We made that. <laughs> Dude, how are we going to get past these freaking skulls? Robocop 2, I don't know about that. 
Caleb, hope all is well with you today, man. I'm doing good. Yeah, we're playing a good game. We're, we're playing a really difficult challenge in a really good game. I'm having fun despite some of the trolliness we're dealing with here. What? Dude, I made this a minute ago, like twice in a row. We can do it. I'd rather play Home Improvement or Minecraft. Put it like that, I'll play some Minecraft. <laughs> I will. All right, here we go. Skulls time. Everybody stand back. It's time for skulls. Oh, this is psychotic, man. Booty, welcome. <laughs> welcome, Booty. Hope you're having a nice day, man. Welcome on in. <laughs> cool. 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 Best I can offer. That's the best I can do. Once you start jumping, you can't stop. Once you start jumping, you cannot stop. Back to the grind. Back to the good old grind of this happy, fun experience of a level. Skulls have no pattern just all over the place. Yeah, you cannot predict the skulls. They're only on loop two, by the way. You don't see those skulls unless you're playing on loop two. Normally in that area right there, it's Medusa heads, but here it's skulls. Okay, so they save the worst for the last with this level. The worst is at the very end. Thank Lord these skulls are buried in loop too. Yeah, I know. Thankfully, most people won't have to put up with them. That's nice. That's not fun having to deal with that much RNG. That's an enormous amount of RNG right there. Dracula, he's back. I just killed him. Yeah, I know. <laughs> once you jump, the fun, once you jump, the fun doesn't stop. I know it never ends. The fun never ends here. That's perfect. That's wonderful stuff right there. I love the bat. All right, we're starting over again. Cause I gotta get there with more lives. We need lives. Otherwise, it's not gonna happen. But that, uh, Sean, your tip of skipping that ledge part is wonderful, and that's going to make the stage a lot more tolerable. At least there's that to deal with now. Or that's out of the way. We don't have to put up with that anymore. But now the focus has moved to the skulls. Skulls are the biggest trolls ever. I agree, man. This is just insanity. How do you keep your sanity? A good question, Retro Bunny. I don't know. <laughs> I think I've become accustomed to the horrors I'm seeing here. Because we've been down the road of Captain Planet, and that, that's the bare bottom of everything ever. Hold up, I just knocked something on the floor. My desk is kind of small that I'm using here, and it's really easy to knock stuff off of it, especially with the way I've got everything balanced here. I almost knocked Tifa on the floor, too. We can't have that. If I knocked Tifa on the floor, we would have a major problem. That can't happen. This is official Tifa Lockhart action figure from Final Fantasy VII. Everybody knows it. She's missing an arm, though. That's a problem. But, hey, but you take what you can get. I have a good therapist. My therapist is you guys. My therapist is all you guys. Beetlejuice, I don't know about playing that, Farley. A Nomi wants me to play Beetlejuice. He recently played it. <laughs> he wants me to join in on the fun. I'm gonna. What the hell's going on with these bats now? What the hell's going on with these bats? This didn't happen a minute ago. Let me guess. Let me guess. Wild guess here. RNG had something to do with that. Never would have guessed. Massive improvement. She started out as a torso. I know we rebuilt her on stream. I found her head, then I found her other arm, but I searched off stream. I did not find the other arm. So that's unfortunate, but that's okay because we always have uh, Dime Store Mario available. Dime Store Mario, obviously. This is before Nintendo made licensed products. This is all you could get. 
So if you want Mario of the 1980s and wanted a toy, well, that's what we had. It was that or nothing. <laughs> and we didn't complain. We liked it. Kind of like this right here. We also had this, and this is the best we had to offer, and we put up with it. We tolerated it, even though it was garbage. We didn't know it was garbage then, but, but that, that's all that we had. What are we doing here? We're working on the next level. How long am I going to stream today? I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe until we beat this. No, that would probably be a terrible idea, wouldn't it? We might be playing till 12 midnight. I don't know if that would be a smart idea. Photon, welcome in, buddy. Mama Mia, I know. <laughs> this freaking level, dude, is psychotic. Really, the bat got me. I was trying to be more patient that time. All right, the bat spawned behind me that time. See, we got lucky. That time we did not get lucky. All right, where the health is up here. I want you to play Beetlejuice. I want you to play Beetlejuice. <laughs> Don't put Beetlejuice on me. I know a lot of you guys stream. So if you want to see Beetlejuice, somebody can stream it. It doesn't have to be me. There's a lot of other streamers out there You know, on, the, on this Twitch platform. A lot of good people out there. It is fun, Mixer. Beetlejuice is loads of fun. Why don't I believe that? Something tells me that's not true. You, you know me. You were griping like crazy about playing. You said you were in a bad mood one day because of Beetlejuice. You can't fool me. <laughs> I know you. I know you. I almost forgot about the blocks right there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's building blocks time, guys. All right, get your blocks out. Here we go. This is like a kindergarten exercise. Build a bridge so Trevor can make it to the next area. It's like something you'd see in second grade, maybe. Help Trevor get to Dracula. Build him a bridge. <laughs> that would actually be kind of a cool assignment. I would have been like, hey, I know that guy. He's in Castlevania. All right, here we go. Am I playing Beetlejuice next? No. God, no, I'm not playing that. I want one of you guys to play it. You guys stream, too. Do not hit me. Okay, there we go. Wow, that was close. <laughs> Slime respawn. I screwed that up. Hold up. Battle Maniacs. I'll play that. Battle Maniacs is already on my list. We will play it. Why is the slime respawning? That's not supposed to even be happening, is it? Oh, now it despawns itself. It's just RNG. We know the drill by now, I believe. I believe we know that drill. So who wants to stream? I've heard of Mixer, Mixer, and Mixer. Only Mixer can play Beetlejuice. You're not going to summon Beetlejuice like Lydia would, Pookums. That's not going to work. You're not going to summon me into playing Beetlejuice. It ain't happening. That is how you handle the bat, people. That's how you handle the bat. You get lucky. <laughs> oh! Oh, wow. That first block almost got me. All right, back to the kindergarten exercise. Help Trevor build a bridge for Trevor. Here we go. I like the Beetlejuice cartoon, by the way. I thought it was good. Now, who wants to stream Beetlejuice? Who wants to do that? Who wants to do it? Retro Bunny. Retro Bunny, thanks for volunteering to stream Beetlejuice. I appreciate it. <laughs> I We all appreciate it very much. <laughs> Good old Beetlejuice. Looking forward to you playing it. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, sorry. I had to go there. I had to go there. Somebody's going to play it. <laughs> I never even played that game. That's part of the fun, though. That's part of the fun. Not knowing anything about a bad game and playing it. <laughs> Take it from me. It, it's, a, it's a blast. When we played Captain Planet, that was like the greatest thing experience of my life. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Have you ever played Vampire Killer? No, I've not played that. Is that a, uh, is that a new game, old game? Caleb, help me out. When did that game come out? Come on, play Beetlejuice. You know what? I'll try it Wednesday. See? See, we got we got retro. She's going to try it. She's going to try it. She's got more guts than me. She's going to try it. Unbelievable. Wow. 
<laughs> well, I'll be working that day, but and if you're streaming when I'm working, I will pop in to have a look at that. That's going to be amazing. <laughs> oh, and Nomi. And Nomi recently beat it, and he's been asking, hey, hey Mixer, when are you going to play some Beetlejuice? Come on, play Beetlejuice. I'll... I don't know. I don't... That's one of those games that... Honestly, the way that game is designed from what little I know about it, I've seen the Angry Video Game Nerd episode. If you don't get to certain parts with certain items, the game is basically over. <laughs> kind of like Athena. Athena did the same thing. We got... I ended up in the wrong, like, level with the wrong item in Athena, and what happened? The game was over. Same type of thing. Are we done with this part yet? I'm bored. I'm freaking bored. I don't want to do any more blocks. I'm done. Moving on. I'm worried about the skulls, man. How are we going to put up with that skull section? That's just stupid. That shouldn't even be a thing. Sounds like I made a horrible mistake. I, I think so. <laughs> I think so. And Nomi just recently played that, and he was like, he popped into someone else's stream. And I was in there, and, he, and I said, Hey, Anomi, how you doing today, man? He was like, I'm in a bad mood. I was like, well, what's going on, man? He was like, I'm playing Beetlejuice. <laughs> so that, that's what happened there. Oh, here's those birds. They're going to hit me at least once. Or we could just not take a hit at all and do an amazing job. There's always that. Or we'll just get lucky with RNG. That's a thing. Vampire Killer is an alternate version of Castlevania 1 before they had the English brand established. Came out on the MSX2 computer system right before the NES Castlevania 1. It's a bit different. That's like the arcade. There's an arcade Castlevania as well, but it goes by a different name. Am I right? Mike7A was telling me about that one and suggested I'd, I play it. So that sounds like something I would enjoy, Caleb. I would definitely enjoy that. I think maybe we need to do that. Dr. Frankenstein, I could play that. I could play... Corman just played that not all that long ago, and I got to see a decent chunk of it, like, late evening. Anyone else find it odd that you go through the door only to come to an area in which blocks are needed to get to another platform? Yeah, who came up with the design of this level? Dracula thought he was something coming up with this level. Didn't make it. Okay, let's try again. Plenty of time. 297 seconds to figure this out. I think we can do it. Almost. Wow, it's so tight. Sean wasn't kidding about how tight that is right there. Dr. Frank and I will play at some point, though. I think it. I think there's worse games than that. All right. Skulls. Skulls. Let's go. We got skulls moving in. Good start. Dude, you can't freaking hit them! Now what? What psychotic person came up with that idea? Nope, didn't make it. We're not doing it until, until we make this. Beetlejuice was pretty bad. Good thing I'm playing a fun game now. Like Friday the 13th. You're still not fooling anyone. That might be even worse, Anomi. <laughs> that might be worse. Friday the 13th. The game that everybody played as a kid and no one could figure out. All right, should I just go faster here? You can't go faster here. You can't go faster here. They're going to get you. God! We're almost through it. This isn't about skill at this point. This is random luck. I can't make it, man. I can't make it. That's too slow. I knew I was a pixel behind on that one. 
Oh, one more chance, and then we have to play this whole godforsaken level again. Dr. Franken win. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We have enough. We... Too early. Too early. Jesus. Jesus Christ Almighty at this. <sighs> too, I was like a pixel too early that time. Well, that's the first time we've missed it there. Great. I know what to do here. It's just doing it. Revenge of the really old Medusa heads. Yeah. These skull things are going... You can't predict them. It's just not going to happen. They're in a different pattern every time. Their movement's choppy, I know. Imagine being a boxing coach and telling your star boxer, you can't even hit him. <laughs> that, that was me the first time I played Punch-Out and Glass Joe beat me. I couldn't even hit him. <laughs> yeah, I lost to Glass Joe before somebody says, Wow, Mixer, you suck. Glass Joe beat you. Yes, he did. He did. He did beat me. And if he didn't beat you the first time you played Punch-Out, not know anything about it, I think you're lying. Cool. Love the bats. I love them. They're awesome. Is there a reason you grab the axe when you can't use it? Yeah, I'm just... It's like a, a natural reaction, Farley. It's like there's a candle there. I'm supposed to whip it and pick something up. Total natural reaction there. I can't help it. <laughs> Cannot help it. But I apologize for picking it up, though. I shouldn't be. It's a whip-only run, so there's no reason to even get it. But yeah, total natural reaction to that. My goodness, this level is just absolute nightmare. This is nightmare fuel right here, this level. I almost feel like I could do a deathless run of this game on loop one now. <laughs> because we've had to put up with all this crap now in loop two that won't be there when I play loop one again. I feel like, yeah, deathless run, no problem. Oh, nice. Alright, forgot about the blocks. Yay, it's block time again, everybody. Get your blocks out. Oh boy, my favorite part of Castlevania 3, the blocks again. Thankfully, this one's kind of short, and then you have the really obnoxious one coming up. Alright, couple more blocks and we're done. Alright, that part's quick and easy. We can get wall meat here. This level is so brutal, your patience takes a huge hit before you even get to the skulls. I, I know, it's just... Oh, goodness! Random slime jumping right there. Screwed that over. Great. That's gonna be a. That's just gonna make things harder. I want this to either get off the screen or. Okay, there it goes. What? Get off the screen. We have a skeleton to deal with. Are you serious? My goodness. Not gonna get any health back now. We have the bat. Oh, why is the bat here? This is unneeded stuff. If you do the bat right, you're fine. You're fine. God. I'm going to take a death here on purpose. I have four hit points. Taking a death there on purpose. That's not enough hit points to do the next section. Otherwise, we'd have to do the block section all over again, and I don't want to have to do that. So we have one less life to work with on this particular run, which is a negative, but really doesn't matter. We just need one good run on the skulls to get through them. We were, we've been very close a couple of times. The boss fights, I'm not that worried about. The boss fights here is easy. If we can reach the bo this it's three bosses in a row, but none of them are difficult. They're not hard. We just got to get there in one piece, and that, that skull section is the major hang-up right now. Hey, what's going on, Toy God? What's going on? Crushing it? Not quite. Really struggling with it right now. We're, we're at a, we've reached another wall. Every level is an absolute hellhole from here on out, I'm going to assume. We beat that water level. That was amazing, and I can't believe we actually got through that one, which is the one before this. We're stuck on that for like two hours alone. But now we're going to be on this level for a long time, and this level's even more obnoxious because it's the blocks. 
And everybody loves the blocks. But Toy Guide, hope you're having a nice day, buddy. Welcome on in. All we can do here is wait on the blocks and be patient. Which isn't fun. It, like I said, it's easy to let your mind wander when you're at this point. Because like right now, Wally Bear just popped into my mind again. If you guys don't know what that is, look it up on YouTube. Wally Bear and the No Gang. Maybe that needs to be a trash redemption. <laughs> if it's really short, we could put it for like 30,000 points or something. I don't want to put up a like a hard, like a trash game that only lasts like 20 minutes and then charge someone 100,000 points for. I don't think that's fair. That kind of happened with Ghostbusters too. That's why I gave Crudos another bad game redemption. He picked Yo Noid, which turned out to be a hell of a game. And not really in a good way, even though it grew on me a little bit when I got somewhat proficient with it. But until that moment happened, I hated it. More blocks. Yeah, everyone loves blocks. What emote is that, Charles? I want to have a look at that. It's a block man. Is that the block man from Gumby? Is that what that is? For you guys, you know what I'm talking about? There's a, a an evil set of characters with block-shaped heads in Gumby. Does anybody remember Gumby? Or am I the only one here? Am I on, on an island? Gumby was that green guy that was like a sh stick of gum, and he had a, a pet horse named Pokey. Anybody remember that? Gumby, good. Some people remember it. <laughs> Shinobi remembers it. Gunjack remembers it. See, I'm not the only one. Sometimes I think I'm crazy remembering some of this stuff, but then you guys are there to let me know I'm not and be like, yeah, that was real. And there was a freaking horse, too, of all things. Gumby had a horse named Pokey. So I, I do remember a few things here and there. Dude slid on one foot. You have seen it. <laughs> That's how he moved. He slid on one foot. I was fascinated by that as a kid. I was like, I wish I could slide on one foot like 40 miles an hour like he does. There's our one up for God knows help that's going to be. Gumby was way before my time there. Yeah, he was, he's an old character, but I mean, even growing up as a kid, even I knew about him. I've got a Gumby action figure somewhere and Pokey. I'll have to see if I can find them. I have no idea where they are. But I will make that effort. Because everybody needs to see more Gumby content. That's what we come here for, right? Gumby. Not Castlevania. Pokey the horse. You are... You are... You gotta be kidding me with that stuff right there. You gotta be kidding me with that stuff. I made the jump correctly. See, now I'm timid because I missed it that other time. I was too early. Now I'm scared that's going to happen again. No, we don't know Gumby Grandpa Mixer. Yes, you do, Neff. You know who it is. Mixer and horses equal PTSD. Yeah, bringing up horses is probably not a good idea right now after what we recently dealt with. Can't make this jump. I'm scared to do it now. I admit, I'm, t I'm timid now. I'm gun shy about the jump. Gun Jack, hope you're having a good day, buddy. What? No. No, sir. I made that. Give me a break. At least the bat stopped spawning. Yes. How can I do this correctly? I want to do this correctly and not keep doing stuff like an idiot. Got to be further on the edge, apparently. All right, here come the skulls. Here they are. Horse heads. Yeah, this could be horse heads. Gumby, Pokey, Spike, and Goo. That's it. That's it. I was That was confusing as a kid, seeing like Gumby fighting these. I was like, what's up with these blockhead dudes and why they hate Gumby? Oldest show I watched was Twilight Zone followed by Gilligan's Island. I swear I'm not that old. I watched Gilligan's Island as well and know me. I did. I liked it. I tried to jump there. I wasn't able to do it quick enough, though. This is hellish. Okay, we get one more shot at it before we have to go back and do the blocks again.
It's a sad thing our adventures have ended here. I don't want to be on this level anymore. I don't want to be on the... Why did I get the axe? I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore, man. I'm done with this level. I want to be anywhere but this level right now. Except for that water level we were just on. <laughs> Except for that, doing good mix or glad I managed to cut at least some of the stream. Dracula's curse is absolutely brutal. Massage rage back in the day at this one. Yeah, I'm really feeling the pain of this level now. This is loop two. We've already beaten the game once, and now with loop two, everything is much more difficult. And we're still keeping the Trevor whip only run alive. So yeah, we're starting to we're starting to tread into insane territory with this one. Oh come on, bats! Come on, don't be stupid like that. Cool, awesome. I hate this screen right here. Dying so we can get lives back. When do we get to see a game with horse skull birds? Hopefully never. If, the, if one exists, don't let me know about it, Pookums. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. There's probably horse heads in a game somewhere. I bet they're out there. But like I said, don't fill me in on it or anything. You don't have to tell me. We're all good without it. We're all good. It's almost 6 o'clock. I can't stay a whole lot longer. Can't stay a whole lot longer, but I'll hang in for a while longer and see if we can knock this level out. I really want to beat this level. Really, really want to get this over with so we don't have to do this like next time. Star Tropics has human skull birds. Okay, sounds like I need to never play Star Tropics. Star Tropics is actually a good game, though, from what I understand, but I've never played it before. I'm sick of the bats. I am sick of the bats. I am really sick of the bats. All right, if we don't get hit again, it might be okay. Reach a point where no level is a good level. I, yeah, I, I'm hope, I think the next level will probably be easier, unless it's the one I'm thinking of. Unless we already go into like the second to last stage. I don't think we're that far into the game yet though. I could be forgetting a level. But I think there's another level in between this one and the last stage. And not counting the awful one that we all hate so much. Alright, this is going to... Nope, no upgrade here. Cool. I like not getting a whip upgrade. That's awesome. I like that very much. Am I going to have to do this without the whip upgrade? Because that's... Not gonna be fun. It's not gonna be fun. No whip upgrade this time. Alright, this so it's gonna be harder. Might not even be doable. Very limited room here. Start over again. Start over. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Can't stop here. This is bat country, Austin. What's up, man? This is hell country. Austin, hope you're having a nice day, man. Oh, God, there is there is horse heads in Zelda 2, and they're really trolly, especially in Palace 7. I know exactly what you're talking about now. Yeah, there's horse heads in my favorite video game. My favorite video game, Zelda 2, has horse heads. Okay, I did not need to know that information. <laughs> oh goodness I want this to end still at it I know Greg we're still going we're still going we're, we're trying to we're searching for answers it's loop 2 loop 2 of Ghosts and Goblins is way easier than this by the way way easier not even comparable we just did two loops of Ghosts and Goblins one credit clear I didn't think we were going to be able to do that, not going to lie, but it was easier than this by far. Alright, bats. Bats. Alright, now give me a whip upgrade. There it is. Alright, now we're in good shape for the rest of this level. 
man, what a grind. What a grind this is. We're not giving up on it. If we don't finish it today, that's fine. We'll be back to it Thursday or whenever. That's fine. But we're going to finish loop two, whip only. It's going to happen. Honestly, we can get to the last stage. I think we're going to be fine. It's just getting there. The Dracula fight, I'm not even worried about anymore. We know how to do that. But Austin, welcome in, man. I hope you're having a nice day. Things are just absolutely hellish right now with this stage. But I still think maybe the water level was worse than this one. The whole problem with this one is just one little section with the skulls. That's the only real threat on this level. Other than that, the blocks are boring as hell. Yeah, we know that. But it's all about the skulls. They suck. And they're not fun. Good. Cool. Nice. Wanted to get hit there. Alright, now what do we need to do is kill that stupid green blob before it can troll me. Alright, that skeleton should stay in position over there. If this thing hits me, it's fine because we can get our health back. Now we're going now we have the makings of a decent run. As long as I don't get hit again, then we're kind of gonna be down a life. You practically lose a life here if you get hit. Because we need to go into this section with full health. There's the bat. I hate the bat. Can't count on beating the bat well every time. See? Alright, not bad. I'll take it. Not too shabby. Yeah, the castle architect here. Great design of this castle. Just immaculate. Weird ledges bouncing up and down. Blocks that fall out of nowhere. What d incredible design on this level. Just insane. But at least we're back to the blocks again. Couple more shots at this and I'm going to stop for today. I was hoping we could get past this level, but that might not happen. Just a very cruel cruel and unusual level. Now we're cooking with gas. Boy. <sighs> uh. It's insanity. It's non-stop insanity. Does anybody remember what the next level is? I can't even think about that right now. Is it the second to last level with the doppelganger fighters? Is there a level in between that I'm forgetting? I want to say there's a level I'm forgetting. Or we might we might go right into something decent, which would be that level. That level honestly sounds less painful than this does right now, believe it or not. I got this more. I don't know, man. I am not too confident with this level. It's all about that skull area. If that was tolerable, then we'd be th we would have been through this over an hour ago. It's all about that skull level, that skull hallway. You can't jump. And if you get not, if you take a hit, it starts setting the block. It sets off those little flippy blocks. And if you jump on your own, it sets them off. So you're kind of screwed either way. You just have to hope to not get hit there. And that's RNG because the skulls have no definitive pattern. All right, couple more, and we're gonna be there. I hope I have this. I don't want to do this part again. This part honestly shouldn't even be in the game. It just, just bogs everything down. Just have another hallway with enemies in it instead of the blocks. Not that hard. Just another regular hallway. Mixer ever took on Castle of Illusion. Is that the Mickey Mouse one on Genesis? Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse? It looks like a fun game. But I've never played it before. I definitely give it, I think it, I might already even have it on my list of games to play in the future. Now I know it's not a good Mickey Mouse game, Fantasia on Genesis, that might be the worst Genesis game of them all. That makes Captain Planet look decent. Yeah, I went there. <laughs> I went there. Alright, there's going to be birds up ahead. 
It's hard to get past this bird section. That game would be too easy for me. Really? I've never played it before. One bird down. Two birds down. Alright, kill two birds with two whips. Nice stuff. Want your skull? I need your skull. Well, that's okay. Skulls are coming up 8-bit. They're coming up. That's the one that's brilliant. Yeah, we'll play through it at some point. Even if it's not a hard game, I'd like to experience it. We'll play it. But I know what we're not playing, and we're not putting it up for a trash redemption. That would be Fantasia. You know the Mickey wizard thing where Mickey's a wizard? There's a Genesis game with that on it, and it, it, it sucks. I tried it off stream. It's like one of the worst games I've ever played. Very easy. Could crank the difficulty. Sounds good. Sounds good. Or we could do a one credit clear or something like that. There's a lot to work with with those kind of games. There's a way to make anything harder, basically. Good start. That's the start we, we were looking for. I'm trying to get right on the edge. Nope. That, we didn't really, that run wasn't going to be good anyway. I wasn't even full health. You need to be full health for the skulls. Nope, too late. Mixer, didn't you beat Battletoads first? Try to remember you ripping through that so fast. No, that was not my first time to play it, Grick. That was a uh, that was a anniversary stream of Battletoads that I played a year to the day I beat it, the original grind. It took me like 12 streams or something to beat Battletoads the first time. It was quite the grind. That's one of those die-to-learn kind of games. Yeah. But no, I had, that was not a first playthrough of Battletoads. Not even close. I already knew the game pretty well. Alright, did not make the right jump there. Sometimes the bats stop spawning here. That's kind of cool when that happens. Alright, we get a crack at it. We get another crack at it, guys. I can't do it. I can't do it. I was so close that time. I was very close, but they the pattern changes on me, and then I can't do it. That was the best run I've ever had on the skulls right there. The best run. And it was close. Let's try it again. Let's give it another shot. Why is there one behind me? S sickening. It's sickening, dude. It's sickening. It's absolutely sickening what they make you do right there. Jesus Christ! Mickey's a wizard. He should cast a spell in which that game on Genesis doesn't suck. I wish he could do that because that's the worst game on Genesis, I think. That's worse than Dark Castle. I got this. Thank you, Retro Bunny. I hope so. I hope so. We're, we're very close. I just gotta go. I just gotta go. Can't do it, man. Can't do it. Just can't do it. So close. The checkpoint was right there and we would have beaten the level more than likely. Because the boss fight's easy. <sighs> My god, man. My god. I think maybe one more run and I'm done. I think this might be the last run of the day. I can't handle much more of this level. I'm starting to crack. My mind is not in, in a good place right now for this, right? Uh, <laughs> oh, I hate it so much. Six hours of grinding, and there's probably going to be another grind on this level next time we play it. was hoping it would be over, but it's not. Oh, man. Pain levels are off the charts right now. Okay, 
And we know how to deal with that now a little bit. You died right before the freaking checkpoint. Glad I found you a while back. Amazing vibes here. And you're a great player. Way better than average. Fett, definitely one of my favorite streamers. Grick, I really appreciate it, man. I really, really appreciate it. That's the type of stuff when I hear things like that, man, that makes it like very worthwhile to me that my streaming time has been just well worth, well spent to hear nice things like that. Because my channel has grown way, way faster than I ever deserved. Way faster. Way, way faster. There's streamers that are infinitely better than me at everything. Streaming, video games, you name it, they're better. But I'm, I'm just very happy to have met a lot of really cool people on this journey. And I'm going to keep it going as long as I can. Because it's been one of the best experiences of my life, honestly. I didn't think I was going to make any new friends at this point in my life. I'm 41 years old. I know some of you think I'm not. But I, I really am 41. And, you don't, and when you start to get this age, it's really difficult to make new friends. Because, I mean, there's just like not a whole lot of opportunity to do so. There's really not. So th for that reason alone, just being able to meet you guys, make new friends, hang out, talk retro stuff, 80s, 90s culture, whatever. It's just been incredible. Here, here, I agree. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys are just, you guys make this such a good community. That That's, I'm giving you guys all the credit, not me. It's you guys. No, oh, that's nice. That's wonderful. <laughs> that's that's even more wonderful. All right, that the good thing the wall meets there. Otherwise, it would have been a lot of trouble. You deserve more, really, dude. I don't know about that, man. I really appreciate it, though. You look thirty. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm trying to look young. <laughs> I'm trying. Some people have come in here and been like, oh, what high school do you go to? I'm like, no, I don't, I'm a little bit beyond high school. <laughs> a little beyond it. I graduated high school in 99. I haven't been there in quite some time. Wouldn't mind going back, though. I had a really pleasant time in high school. Get wrecked, bat. We got bigger fish to fry than you. All right. Back to the happy fun blocks again. Back to it. I feel like half the stream now is the blocks. <laughs> half the stream is now the blocks. Better blocks than the skulls, I guess. I mean, this part's easy if you just pay attention, but I mean... We had our best run last time. Maybe we'll have our best run this time as well. An even better run. Grick, you should, you should try streaming as well, man. If you, You've been watching streamers for a while. You kind of see how things operate on stream and stuff. I know a lot of people have done that. And there's others that are thinking about trying it soon. Toy God mentioned he wants to try streaming soon. That sounds great. It's a lot of fun. I've enjoyed it a lot. But one thing that like new streamers get in trouble with, and I'm guilty of this as well, is staring at the numbers too much. I was very guilty of that. Like, I wasn't even streaming retro when I first started, which was a mistake, by the way. It took me a while to find my home. This is definitely my forever home here on Twitch. But I was streaming Team Fortress 2 for a, quite a long time and wasn't getting hardly any viewers. And, like, half the viewers I was getting was people coming into the chat to get mad at me that I killed them in an online video game. Wow, I killed you in a game, so you're going to come in my stream and yell at me because you're not happy you died. Okay, well, that was like half my viewer base then. And that and racist hate and all kinds of other messages I was getting off stream, that's unfortunate. But all that's gone now. All that's behind us because now I'm in the, the, the coolest community you could ever ask for on Twitch, which is Retro. And this is where I'm going to be staying and having a good time. Here you're on the friend front. I'm 45 on this channel. You do an awesome job. I love all the retro games you play. Get at it. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, you don't... It's hard to make new friends once you start getting into this age. It really is. I haven't made a new real-life friend in pr probably, like, never. <laughs> never since high school. I mean, you, you can, I don't really count co-workers and stuff. That's more like acquaintances. That's not somebody you're, like, m more than likely not going to hang out with a whole lot. All right, we got to wait. i just got to be more patient with this. That's all i got to do. There's, there's a method to the madness here. Yeah. 
It's easy to stop paying attention. I've said that a million times here, but it, it really is everything with this part. Just paying attention to the, to the stupid blocks. I like how they put one block that falls right when the, the thing is built high enough to where you can jump off of it. They have the nerve to drop one more block right where it'll hit you and knock you off. That's really crappy right there. But I'm not surprised. All right, the birds are going to show up right here. Hopefully we can kill them without taking a hit. That rarely happens, though. It's not going to happen this time, but that's okay. That's fine. I'll take a hit from the birds. Used to enjoy watching I get stressed. It, it's, Twitch is a great place to like decompress as well. It really is. I feel the same way, Celestial. It's wonderful. Time for the block party. Good old blocks. Can't get enough blocks. Love blocks. I'm never going to look at a block game again. Glad things are going so much better for you. Yeah, Bunny, I would stream in the wrong game. With a bad community. <laughs> the community of the game Team Fortress 2 is like the lowest class of people ever. And there's a couple of really nice people there. But they're like 0.01% of the community. Everyone else just biggest asshole ever. But this is a place to be. This is the place to be. I wish I'd discovered this earlier. There we go. All right, Skulls. Yeah, I make it to... We got nothing to work with here. No health. Not going to make it without more health. I got to start jumping. Yes! No, right, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. It's not over. This is a checkpoint with all our lives. We're doing this, fellas. We are doing this. That is our best run ever. Yes, sir. All right, we have. We still have more to do, though. This is a new enemy. That wasn't in there before. Oh, God. Uh, I'm going to stop for one second catch up with you guys. Steven. What's up, man? Steven D84. Thank you for the follow, buddy. Welcome in, welcome on in. Great timing. We just beat a part we've been stuck at forever. But that means nothing at all if we can't beat the boss. That means nothing. We have to finish this now. Or we have to do all that again. Please don't let that happen. I'll come and yell RoboCop 2 forever. Great, Fox. I appreciate it. More Ro You're not going to let me off the hook for RoboCop 2 until I actually try to play it, are you? I know you. I know you. Yeah, I started with VR and tabletop, but do more retro now. Great choice, Brass. This is the place to hang out. Have the opposite. I have friends that want to hang out, but I'm too old and tired. You start getting this age, you start feeling a little bit more. You really do. It's not like it used to be. I still feel good. I mean, I'm not feeling like a 41-year-old. I kind of feel like I'm still 18, like I just got out of high school. But not every, like, I don't have kids or anything. That's one reason a lot of people start feeling older is they have kids. Every, like, friend and cousin I have that has kids, they're like, I'm so tired and exhausted all the time. And I, I, I kind of get that. This retro community is awesome. Charles, it is the best. It is the absolute best. Best internet community I've ever been a part of. Continue to make friends after high school or work in a consistent summer job after I quit working as a stuntman at Six Flags. Great adventure. Some of us drifted apart and then politics split the rest of us up by 2017. Sad, man. Politics sucks. That's why I try and stay the hell out of politics. I'm a very moderate person when it comes to politics. So, like, people on both sides of the political spectrum usually hate me. But that's where I like being. I like staying in the middle, choosing people based on personal benefits, not political party. I don't like that kind of stuff. And Autumn, welcome in. How you doing, Autumn? I'm doing good, man. I'm, I'm doing really good. I'm doing excellent, especially since this is as far as we've ever made it here. But it's about to end. Thank you for the GG's, guys. I appreciate it. This is an outstanding run that could end at any moment. Autumn, what are you up to today? Hope all this Sunday is great for you. When you see both staircases go for the left, there's meat on that side. Yes. Yes, there is meat there. And I'm to I, Yeah, I think I forgot about that on loop one. Good call, Celestial. Let's see if we can actually do it. Uh-oh. Ledges are collapsing. Skeleton with swords. There's going to be more enemies, I think. I At least, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's going to be more stuff. Nope. Okay. 
We're at the checkpoint, though. We are at the checkpoint, and we have some lives to play with. I forgot about this climbing section. That's going to be pretty painful. That spider missed me somehow. <laughs> I don't know how. Oh, God. That was frightening. That was really scary right there. There's gargoyles up here. That's a major, going to be a major threat. Wish I had kids back at 25. I feel like I'll have them at some point. But until that time comes, I'm going to stay a child and keep playing video games all day. That's my plan. I'm feeling like a 44-year-old. Nah, cruddas, come on. We're all young here. We're all young. I don't know how we did not take a hit there. That was psychotically lucky. Luck's not going to hold up there, though. How much further until this ends? Oh, no. Put a collapsing ledge right there? Okay. All right. Got to deal with this guy. No! Oh, goodness. <laughs> Thought he was going to hit me there. All right, now we have full health for the bosses. There's no excuse beyond this point. No excuse. Holy crap, man. Uh, to raise my nephew for about 16 months from the ages of one and a half to three, it's a huge drain on you. Yeah. Yeah. I'd See, for me, I had an easy life growing up besides going to high school, making good grades, and performing well on the soccer teams I was on. That's That was my whole life growing up. Other than that, not too much. Uh, I became friends with these people because of shared interests like movies, theme parks, music, and but slowly over time it became more and more of a requirement that I would also adhere to their moral and political affiliations without having any respect for mine. Yeah, that sucks, man. That sucks. Politics should never drive people apart. and People should just not talk about it much or just have dis agree to disagree. That type of stuff. That can be hard to do sometimes, though don't need to be taking hits here. Honestly, the mummies are the worst part about this entire boss fight. Here we go. Cyclops time. I wonder if he does anything different on this difficulty. I don't remember. I don't think so. All right, I know you want to run at me. I get that. I'm not going to be greedy. I'm not going to do it. We're going to take one shot at him and move. How much time do I have? 160 seconds. More than enough to deal with this guy. And then red guy pops out, who's not going to be a problem. It's like a red Aramur from Ghosts and Goblins that ate too much food. Here we go. Should be able to kill him. Jesus Christ, we got through that god-awful mess. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I never want to see that level again. <laughs> Holy hell, that was a grind. Goten, welcome in, buddy. Loop 2. Yeah, this is Loop 2, man. This is Loop 2. Oh, this is... Oh, my God, look at this, guys. Look at this. The zombies are taking multiple hits on this on Loop 2. Goten, how you doing today, man? Yeah, this is Loop 2, Trevor only, Whip only. We've gone all the way through the game once on the Alucard path, and we just finished that godforsaken stage. So, hope is, is here again, and we're not doing anything with these zombies. 
Allie, welcome back. Woke up just in time for the victory. I'm glad you missed a lot of hell. This is nuts. Yeah, Retro Bunny, we beat the, the, uh, the, the... Those boss fights are not that bad, thankfully. That is not a major problem with that level. Just getting through it is pretty much everything with that one. Thank you for all the GG's, guys. I appreciate it. Vance, welcome back, dude. Allie, welcome back. Good to see you guys. Gray Foxy, what's up? Nice to see you as well. Jump in all the holes, says Beer Baron. Beer Baron's the downer around here in the retro community. Remember how I said everybody's nice? Beer Baron is the guy that goes around everybody's streams and tells them how much they're going to lose. But that's okay. That's what we expect from him at this point. <laughs> Dude, I can't. I am so excited we beat that level. I am blown away. We still have to. There's a lot of crap to put up with still, so don't get too excited. We have to beat death again. And death, oh, as you saw in the last loop, was quite the challenge. Yeah, it's Beer Baron for. Yeah, him and Compile. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Should I keep streaming until we actually beat this? That would be amazing. I don't know if I have enough time for it, because that next level's. This is a level I could remember that existed. Because remember what I was saying earlier? I was like, I'm forgetting a level, aren't I? Yeah, when there's a level with death. But holy crap. This is nuts. Does anybody know if there's meat on this level? I don't... I couldn't find any last time. I don't think there is. That jello mold is going to get me. I couldn't find any wall meat on this level. Go through loop three. No, Beer Baron, we're not doing loop three. Loop three's not any different. If it was, I would do it. But it's not. Loop three is exactly like loop two. It's not like Ghosts and Goblins where it just infinitely keeps getting harder. If it was, though, we would do it. No wall meat. That's not wall meat by the... It's, yeah, it's gonna help. Whip only with a double shot. Cool. Goten, new PC. Yeah, Goten, Goten's been building a new PC all day. <laughs> Good stuff. Looking forward to seeing that in action very soon, man. The only thing on this level is leftover jello in the fridge. KQ Runner, what's up, man? Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, leftover jello. No wall meat. I was thinking maybe I missed it, but I guess it just doesn't exist. We could somehow beat the next level. We could probably finish this game in one stream, believe it or not. I'm, like both loops. All right, here comes death. Same pattern. Same pattern. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a problem, though. <laughs> it was last time. It will be again. I almost made it. Okay, we can beat him. It's going to take a little bit of a grind, but we can beat him. And then it's going to be back to another horrifying grind on the stage that's after this one. That's the problem. Did a quick Fortnite run. It looks so much better. Nice, Goten. It's going to be awesome, dude. You deserve a new PC, man. You, you said you've been using a potato for a long time. you got to get a good one. All right, this night guy we don't have to worry about. If I accidentally hit something with the special weapon, I have to take a death. That's part of the rules. I did that already once on the other level. By the way, we get the nice music on this one. The Castlevania 1 music. That's not going to work. I'm gonna, I need a new strategy for that. That's not going to work either. <laughs> that's not going to work. I need something that works here, and that's not it. Oh my god. I'm kind of tempted to keep streaming until we finish this whole thing. <laughs> that's probably a stupid idea, but we're so close to the end now. We're just a couple of levels away, but then that's a, that could be a long way, considering what we still have to put up with. The last level is not going to be that bad. I'm just worried about the one after this. What do you guys think? Keep going until we beat it and have to stream till midnight, maybe, or or take a break soon. Up to you guys. We can just keep going. I mean, I'm going to have to go get dinner at some point. I don't really don't want that to be 10 o'clock, but maybe Castlevania is more important than getting dinner. Who knows? 
Oh, that was beautiful. We need to do that again. Not that. Now, come on, man. That was godforsaken stupidity right there. No! I thought I could dodge it. Good God. We're going to beat him. He's not that bad. Keep on going. Go all the way to Symphony of the Night. That'd take quite a ways. That'd take a while. Keep going, says Pookums. The stream will continue until morale improves. Sounds like you guys want me to keep going. Well, what about dinner? What about dinner? Screw dinner. We got death to kill. We got Dracula to take out on loop, too. It's Sunday. Sunday is going to just Castlevania all day long. Keep going till you lose track of yourself and start playing Home Improvement. If that happens, I, the streaming career ends right here and now, Pookums. That's the end of my streaming career. I think I just missed a shot that I could have put on him right there. That's some damage. That's some damage. That's crap. Just missed out on a huge pile of damage right there. He's going... He is so dead. Well, he's already dead, but you get the point. What was up with the spawning of the blade that time? I thought it was going to be like a, a, a little bit further back. I thought I was going to have room to react to it. Oh my goodness, we're so close. That was winnable, man. That was so winnable. Come on, Trevor, you got to give up. I know it hurts. <laughs> Yo, oh my god. Yeah, we can't stop now. We can't stop now. That's not... We, we can't turn it off now. That's gonna haunt... You know, I don't stream for the next three days. My streaming times are only Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, if I stop now, it's gonna be like looming over me the whole time that we didn't finish. I kinda wanna finish. <laughs> kinda want it to be over. Meows, welcome back. Let's turn his bones to dust. Hell yes. Hell yes, let's do it. I didn't count on doing both loops. We, we finished loop one in like three hours or something. So I was like, uh, you guys want to do loop two? I was just kind of kidding around, but everybody was like, yeah, loop two. So that's why how we ended up here. It was not by design. Why am I hitting stuff? I don't need ammunition. We're using a whip. At least we get the cool Castlevania 1 music here. Alright, I want this guy to back up. That's probably going to hit me. going to be a bit of a grind to take this guy out. And that's what I... All those emotes is what I feel like right now, Goten. All combined. My favorite emotes got reset. Oh, you got to reset them. Okay, yeah, that's right. You got a new computer. Get them back. Spam them. You have my complete permission to spam the chat to get your co common emotes back. Or most used, whatever they call it. We can't come this far to only come this far. I know, Caleb. I know, man. We, we got to do it now. Spam the axe. How's that going to work, Beer Baron? This is a whip-only run. How's that going to work? Oh, 
crap. Crap! We have more health this time. Oh no. Oh no. This is not going to be good timing on this. Death is gone. Death is returned to dust. He is now dust. We have done it. Now what type of god-awful hell is this level going to present? Ain't no stopping this train now, guys. I think I'm going to go till we finish the game, no matter how much longer it takes. If I have to stream till midnight tonight, we're doing this. It's been decided. We're going to finish loop one and two, whip only, Trevor only, in one stream. It has been decided. I don't know what they're going to change on this. They can't. How could they make this level any worse? This is the worst level in the game anyway. How could they make it worse? It couldn't be worse. Thanks for all the GGs, guys. I really appreciate it. You know what? We have to keep moving. There's more harpies spawning here. I think that's part of the problem we're dealing with here. There's way more harpies. What a fun stream, though. I've had a blast playing this game. We've played so much crap lately. So much freaking crap that I'm just happy to be playing this game. Yeah, Beer Baron wants me to accidentally hit something with the axe and I have to kill myself and start over here. That'd be great. I did accidentally hit something with the holy water earlier, but I took a death right after it to, to nullify that. All right, this next part coming up. If they stick skulls or something in this next screen, I am not going to be very happy. I am not going to be happy. Let's see what's different. Probably more gargoyles. Or it could be exactly the same. That's what I'm hoping for here. Be exactly the same. Don't add more gargoyles. Don't do that. Great. Not good. Okay. This is one of my least favorite parts of any Castlevania is this screen right here. Oh, I didn't duck. I was looking at the gargoyle. I'm screwed. I'm dead. I'm dead. I hate this place. We can beat the doppelganger. I figured out the doppelganger fight. If we can just get to him, we can beat him. That's not going to be a threat anymore. He's got a very, very, very constant pattern, but getting there is going to be a bit of an issue. Is that going to be a whip? No, a heart. Wonderful. This track is an awesome remix in Order of Ecclesia. I've never played that one crazy. Need to play it. Sounds like fun. Any Castlevania game I haven't played, I kind of, I don't know. Some of the newer ones are more like more maze-like and stuff. I don't really like the whole the idea of like maze. I like going from one side of the screen to the other. That's my idea of Castlevania. Ah... <laughs> uh, this is nasty. This is nasty right here. This is nasty. What can I do? What can I do to make this situation better? Get an upgraded whip. Let's try and upgrade our whip. Axe isn't going to cut it. Symphony of the Night. I might play that at some point. I watched you play it. It was fun to watch. I'm not sure how much fun I would have playing it. i got to back off here. This is all screwed up. You can cheat, yeah, except no. <laughs> Beard Baron trying to screw me over. No hearts. I mean, no whip upgrade. Jesus. And we have that bird screen to put up with. That's a problem. I don't think I can think of a cast... No, they're firing faster. This is going to be harder. They're firing faster. There's more frequency. Loop 2 is problematic for the, the... Nope. 
I gotta get my, I gotta learn this part. This is gonna be a learning curve right here. This is gonna be a very strict learning curve. And I don't know anything about it. I'm gonna take another death here on purpose. We don't have enough lives. We have to get through that with lives. But we're gonna get there. We're going to get there. Just gotta get that, if we can clear that one screen, or figure out how to clear it. What's weird is streaming this late, I'll end up getting to raid people that I like never get a chance to raid. That's gonna be weird when we do end up finishing. Favorite Castlevania is a toss up between this and Rondo of Blood. I haven't played Rondo of Blood yet, crazy. I need to play that one. Definitely gotta play that one. Not a fan of Symphony of the Night, Grick. Uh, I prefer like the standard side-scrolling goodness like this. But I mean, I think if I had to put up with one as a Metroidvania, it would probably have to be Symphony of the Night. I know there's others that do kind of the same thing and stuff. It's going to be hard for me to like get into it, though. I think we need two for Castlevania, one for Classic, and one for Metroidvanias. I agree. I agree. We need two different styles so, so everybody can have what they want. I just like this kind of stuff. Rondo is the best. Rondo's way better. I have to play Rondo at some point. I've done Dracula X, but that's not Rondo. Dude, this is kind of crazy. Alright, how can we do this part without taking a hit? Very tight timing, okay. Dude, I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay, that's going to be fine if it stays like that. I don't want this to die. Okay. Okay, we're, I think I'm going to be safe to be right here for now. It's not really a safe spot, is it? <laughs> it's not really safe here. Alright, that's positive. That's a bit of a positive. There's other characters you can play in in some of those games, too. It's got Alucard's a playable character. I, I've seen a little bit of it. There's a Castlevania Rondo of Blood remake on PlayStation Portable. That one looks good. I'd like to play that at some point. Everyone wish Eight Eyes was a great Metroidvania from Screenshots back when it came out, but it wasn't so great. I remember Eight Eyes. I remember that's got a bird you can control. <laughs> Player 2 can play as a bird in that one. I've never actually like played it or anything before, but I've seen it. Oh, I forgot about this god-awful part. Whoops. Alright, we just have to do it very carefully. It's kind of the answer to everything. Like, people would troll each other as kids. How do you do that? Very carefully. <laughs> that was a common thing back in school. Alright, there's going to be a skeleton here. No, there's not. I thought there was going to be a skeleton there. There's going to be one here. And the one-up is over here, and we do need that. All right, good run. Eight Eyes is pretty good. You should check it out. It looks kind of mazy, Neff. You know how I feel about mazes. It looks a little mazy. It looks like a somewhat decent Castlevania-style game, though, but the, the whole maze element thing kind of scares me a little bit. Who's joining us in chat here? Symphony of the Night is great. It has more elaborate movements than any other. Castlevania, plenty of ways to play. You can move and teleport and bounce. That sounds like too much stuff. Lil Man, welcome in, dude. Happy Sunday, man. Welcome in. Hope you're having a nice day. Welcome on in. Doing a little Castlevania challenge here. Sorry I missed you coming in a second ago. I don't know what I was doing. Getting mad at something, more than likely. All right. All right, let's go. Let's go. There's a ghost up there? What? That's different. That's really different. Are you serious? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, never mind. I think we're fine. We can pick up the one up again. There's a go They put a ghost spawn in there. 
I was not counting on seeing that. Okay. All right, now I know more about what we're up against. That kind of sucked right there, but we're fine. Monster Party is your kind of... Monster Party I've seen played before. That looks kind of fun. I would play that one. I would play me some Monster Party. That looks kind of fun. Is this going to be a... I need the whip badly to deal with these skeletons. Or we're going to be in trouble. Master of Darkness on Sega Master System. Yes, I would play that. I would definitely give that one a shot. That's another one of those games I saw Mike7A play. And he was like, Mixer, you like Castlevania, you need to try this one. So yeah, I guess we will at some point. Ever heard of Infernax? Yes! I bought Infernax. I bought a yeah, I bought a modern action game, but it's built like a retro game, so that does not really count. <laughs> but yeah, Infernax, I'm gonna probably not gonna play that on stream. That looks like a game I would enjoy more off stream, honestly. It's like Castlevania 2 style. But yeah, that looks awesome. Is there anything over there? I don't think I've ever even looked at that spot. There's not. All right. Nope, screwed up. Nope, no I didn't. All right, this part's not that hard. You just have to be a little bit patient with it. And if we die here on the next screen, that's fine too. This ghost, how are we gonna deal with that? Like that. Now we can try to get the wall meat. Alright, this next screen, guys, is one of my least favorites you will ever see in a video game. This next area. This part is garbage right here. This is a garbage place to be. Why? Because of the birds. No other reason. The birds are unbelievably trolly in this spot. And the, uh, the fishmen continue to spawn as well. You guys, remember what hell we just dealt with here a minute ago. Or hours ago. I'm losing track of time here. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Thank you for hitting me from off the screen, you piece of garbage. You guys wonder why I hate birds so much. You, look, you have look no further. The only positive here is they can't dart down directly at me. No, we just fought that bird that I didn't even need to kill right there. The doo-doo falls, I guess so. <laughs> Little Mixer's in love with birds. Not quite. Not quite, booty. Not quite. Fish man got me from behind because I was worried about the bird. Couldn't hit the... They, they have the... They have the bird's altitude to where the whip will miss it by like a millimeter. Alright, there's going to be more birds. Get ready. Fish man got me from behind, of course. Bird. You can't predict it. You cannot predict it. It's going to get you. Now we don't have an upgraded whip, so now we're even in even more trouble. Bird one is down. The second bird won't get after you, but then you don't get to upgrade the whip. I don't know what's a trade-off here. And then, you know what? There's going to be a skull thing coming up next, by the way. There's going to be skulls. I just realized there's going to be another skull section. Is that going to be a whip up? Bird aggravated on me. I'm done. Oh, he's dead, but they're going to respawn him. This stage is dreadful. It is. The, the birds in Ninja Gaiden, as bad as they are, are better than the ones here. At least the ones in Ninja Gaiden have a consistent spawn pattern and do the same thing every time. These do not. These are different every single time. I am deathly afraid of what's coming, if there's going to be skulls on that next section. I think there will be. If we can even get past the birds, that's questionable at best right now. Bird just despawned. That was lucky. There's going to be one more. And he's dead. Okay. Let's see if we have to deal with skulls here. We do. Okay. It's very short, though. Okay. Oh, cheapskate! He 
He's doing different stuff. Different stuff. This is not what happened here last time. I'm done. Dude, it's totally different. It's completely different on loop two. Back to the good old drawing board. Back to the drawing board. What I learned on loop one mean, meant nothing right there. It was completely different. Wow. Now I'm really worried. Now I am very, very, very worried. At least the skull part's easy, but the doppelganger is much faster. That fish guy's ruining this. That better have counted. It didn't. It didn't. Dead. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that was that was lucky. A little bit lucky. We need uh, another whip upgrade. Nope. Oh, you... I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I had a strategy, and it's gone now because he's so much faster. I thought we were going to beat him quick. It's not going to happen now, though. There's no way. Wow, man. It's like relearning the fight from scratch. That's what it's going to be. It's like you've never gotten there before, and you don't know what you're doing, and that's where I am with that fight now. Oh, my God. I couldn't do a 24-hour stream. There, there, that is never going to happen. These, yeah, I hate these freaking mermen. They're awful. You're trying to worry about the birds, and the mermen show up at exactly the time you're about to hit the bird. Gotten a little bit better at it. Let me hit this just to make sure. 24 hours of yo noi. No. Streaming later than usual. This is one of the later days I've streamed. Yeah. I usually don't stream this late. Very rare to see it. Kind of good to try and attack these. He's so freaking fast, dude. I can't predict anything he's going to do. I can't predict anything. Hi, Jesus! I can't predict anything. It's all RNG at this point. It was a good run, but it doesn't matter because I'm... <sighs> That's discouraging, man. That's really discouraging right there. That was a really good run, and I, I still didn't even get close to beating them. Castle seems to have a water leak. This I this level's gonna I don't know if it's gonna be the worst or not. I've said that on the other two levels. Unless you can handle playing through a second and third wind. Yeah, I'm I'm a bit worried about this now. 
This is a major concern. Come on, just a little bit of slack. Just a little bit of slack here would be great. Just a little bit of something. We're not going to get any health back. <sighs> 365 days of yo, bro. Now that would be hell. Wouldn't wish upon anybody. I be. <laughs> Might end up being better than this level, crazy. Might end up being better. <laughs> Tiber, what's up, man? Hope you're having a nice day. 24 hours of Yodenoid. I can't even imagine that. <laughs> Ooh, okay, they have like two intervals of fire on their patterns here. Or maybe they do. I don't. Or maybe it's random. Maybe it's a little bit random. I, I don't understand this part. Maybe it's random. Maybe it's not. If I die here, I'm going to have to jump. I'm going to have to uh, start over again. Alright, I should be able to handle it from here. I can't handle it. They're, they're, they're rapid firing me. That was lucky, okay. That's gonna loop back down. That would have killed me. Alright, we're at the next, we're almost the checkpoint. Mixer's amazing gamer, all my bullshit aside. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Beer Baron says it's easy to predict the doppelganger. I, uh, doppelganger, I predict it will kill you. That's a good prediction. That's a good prediction. Oh my god. Maybe this will be the run. He was kind of hurt on that other run. <laughs> kind of. Okay, we need to get the one up here. No one up. No one up to be had. Forgot about that. These guys are an upgraded version of the previous ones. Oh, it just went from bad to worse right there. Need to get a whip upgrade so we can deal with skeletons. I have one less life to work with this time. Also another problem. Gotta go for that one up. That's gonna be there. Skeleton on this ledge? No. Next one up. Go get the one up now. Man, this level's hell. <laughs> it's not even the level that's that bad. It's the doppelganger. And I thought I had that fight done, but yeah, I have it done on loop one. I can kill it no problem on loop one without taking a hit. But this is completely different. It's so fast now. It uses more attacks. It uses a special attack more, which is the boomerang. That's an even bigger problem. Out of the frying pan and into the fire, so to speak, or is that the other way around? Can never remember. Out of the frying pan. That sounds accurate to me. Sounds plenty accurate. Almost took a stupid hit from from the koosh ball. That's what those look like. You know what? I'm just going to make a run for the door. <laughs> Screw the ghost. There. Now we're in the door. Now we have birds. Who's ready for birds? Thank you, Glitch. I appreciate it. I, I, I don't know, though. My confidence with this part is not good. We need to kill one of these guys. And hope to kill the bird. The bird is down. The birds are a little bit predictable. They don't they can't go down directly. They don't have a a swooping pattern that comes directly beneath them. They have to go left or right a little bit. That helps us somewhat. going to be another bird. Are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's sad. That's just really sad right there. 
Everything was so perfect there for a second. You gotta be kidding me with this stuff. You gotta be kidding me. Everything's going down real quick. A good run can just implode in two seconds here. Just totally implode. Now I have to hope for the best on getting uh, through the next bird with a weaker whip. Hey, Doctor, what's up, man? What? Are you serious? Are you serious? Yeah, they're serious. They are deadly serious. Not gonna make it on this run. Even if we do, we don't have enough health. Not enough health. Not enough health! That's gonna catch up with me. That's dead. I, I think, yeah, this is gonna be the worst part of the game. Because the doppelganger fight's just so different. Can't predict it, can't time it, can't see it. You gotta get lucky on a good pattern there. I didn't get it. Lurk mode activated, best of luck. Thank you, buddy, I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. It's absolute hell we're dealing with here, absolute hell. Before we played Loop 2 today, this was I was saying this was my least favorite part of the game, this specific little sequence here, and this is why. Because you have a very terrible boss fight on top of this section with the birds in the water, which is like the worst possible combination you could get. Dr. Fuzzy Boots, hope you're having a nice day, man. Hope you're having a good one. No! No! Come on, man. You gotta be kidding me with that. I didn't take a hit, but still. Prax is raiding us. Prax, welcome in, man. Hope you're having a nice day. Appreciate the raid, man. What are you working on? Final Fantasy 7 now? Prax is playing through every Final Fantasy 7 and every Final Fantasy game in a row. What a challenge. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm just gonna die. How did I get through this the last time? I'm, I just can't do it. Prax, what are you up to, man? I'm assuming you're starting Final Fantasy 7. <sighs> Got home from a car show all day. My arms are now a nice shade of pink for being sunburnt. Wonderful. Wonderful. Wow. Nice shade of pink. It's going to be a nice shade of maroon tomorrow. That's how that's going to work. This is a run I've been putting off literally since I started streaming. Retro Whip only Castlevania 3 is terrifying. Dude, it is insanity. Loop 1 Prax isn't that bad. You'll beat Loop 1 without too much trouble at all. Loop 2 is where the psychoticness truly shows itself, like what we're dealing with now. We're very deep into Loop 2. But unfortunately, it might be beyond my skill level because the doppelganger fight is different on Loop 2 than it is on Loop 1. But welcome in, Prax. Good to see you, man. Just got out of Midgar in Final Fantasy VII. It's going pretty smoothly. That's one of my favorite parts of the game is the Midgar part. I know, like, after the game's over, you're out in the real world. It feels like a real RPG. But I really like the Midgar part of the original Final Fantasy VII. I haven't played the remake yet, and that's going to be something. But I really like that part. Climbing the Shinra Tower and all the mystery and stuff behind it, that was one of my favorite parts of the game. But th again, Prax, thank you so much for the raid, man. Very, very appreciative. And this screen right here is one of the absolute worst in the history of video games. Right here. Right freaking here. Alright, so you're going to fire again? What's going to happen? I'm gonna like edge up a little bit here so we can see what we can do with this. All right, now we should be in decent shape to make a move. All right, it's gonna fire once. It's gonna fire again, and then there's a pause. No, it just fires endlessly. Well, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. 
Yeah, the, the, the doppelganger fight in this is just sheer madness. He's so fast, you can't get away from him. Okay, I don't know what to do here. That was positive. That was really positive, okay. Man, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared! I'm really scared of this. Take a hit there. I'll take the hit. I'll take another hit if it just gets us past through this area. That's all I'm worried about right now is get out of this area. Get out of Midgar and into some Midgar... Um, I, I love the whole... M it's, it's kind of weird. I love Final Fantasy VII. I love the whole game, but like my favorite part was the Midgar part right at the beginning of the game. Very strange. I mean, people have different favorite parts of the game and stuff, and that was always me there. I think waiting on the remake of Smart once a couple of parts or all the parts are out, I think you'll have a better time overall. Dude, I can't wait. Prax, have you played the remake for Final Fantasy VII yet? I am like really excited about it, but just haven't had time to dig in yet. Haven't even bought it yet. <laughs> Ended the stream by dying to the serpent. Want to do the early beta trick even though it's not worth it. Oh, the Midgar Zalem thing. I, I thought you had to kill that the first time I got to it. I didn't even... I missed the Chocobo Ranch. And I was like, am I going to have to grind enough to beat this stupid snake? That's, that's what I was thinking with that. The snake is like immortal and is one-shotting all my characters. I was very confused about that part. But no, you have to find a Chocobo Ranch that somehow I walked around. That was nuts. Mixer will be on loop 12 in no time. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so, Neff. Not happening. I'm honestly tempted to die here, believe it or not, and try and get health back. I'm going to die here. This will give us a chance to get some health back here for the stretch run. Trick is you can throw an elemental plus fire on your armor, and he uses beta on you, and you learn beta without dying, and then you can kill him. Oh, my God. Cool trick. I'm going to have to try that. I kind of want to see that in action now. <laughs> <laughs> kind of want to see him. That is an awesome trick. The remake is all Midgar. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It's like 60 hours of content in Midgar alone. That's like my dream Final Fantasy scenario. This is whip power. Where's the whip power up? For God's sake. Vanilla, what's up, man? I'm still going. Yeah. We've, it's been a long, long, nasty grind here, but somehow we're still going. I kind of wanted to finish today. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough time to do it or not. This level is providing more of a challenge than I was expecting, but you never know. You never know. And I kind of went and got health back there, for, and that was a waste of time. Vanilla, hope you're having a wonderful day, buddy. I never did it before, but I knew it existed, but failed it. I want to see somebody do that. I'm going to see somebody do that, Prax. Maybe if you're streaming tomorrow and you're not past that point yet, maybe you can show me, because I really want to see that. Final Fantasy VII is just one of those games that like would never get boring to me. It's one of those types. Maybe my most nostalgic of all the Final Fantasy games. Alright, there we go. Take a hit. Really? Had to take a hit there? Well, I can try and get the meat, and that's probably not going to help. Okay, so it's doable. It's doable. Now I'm going to wait on the bat. Don't spawn a bat right there. Okay, I was about to say. This is the run we kind of needed here. Here we go. They expected to learn beta, but God is broken if you get it. Ass on fire, welcome in, dude. Hope you're having a nice day. Just working on some Castlevania stuff here. Not going too well because this level's terrible. Welcome in, dude. This is a make or break part of the level right here. You know, I, I may end up stopping pretty soon anyway. I, it's going to take a longer grind than I'm expecting to beat this level. Unfortunately, I thought we were going to just like smash the doppelganger in two seconds. But no, loop two, it's different. He's faster. Way more aggressive. Uh, Beta was such a meme between me and my boyfriend back in the day. So everybody knew about that but me in Final Fantasy VII. That's interesting. I thought I knew everything there was to know about that game. I guess not. Joke's on me. 
All right, this fish guy is going to drop down. He's going to troll me. I'm going to look up uh, for some dinner real fast. Good luck with the whip, and I'll be back. Thank you, man. I appreciate the raid very much. It is interesting to learn that about the, the serpent thingy. Did not know. All right, bird. It's just you and me. It's just you and me. There we go. This doesn't even guarantee I'm gonna even like even get to the doppelganger because we have to deal with that stupid skull part every time, even though it's not very long. It's about the best I can hope for, honestly. best I can do. It's the absolute best I can freaking do. I can't do better. That's as good as it's gonna get. It's so insane. Thank you for the host, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I know it's PlayStation, but did you ever play Symphony of the Night? Unfortunately, I've not played it, Farley. Uh, I may play it at some point in the future for sure, but th that's one of those games that I have never gotten to. That's one of those kind of games. And I've heard just like so much good about it. I've seen people play it, but yeah, I'm going to have to play it at some point. I'm going to have to. It's going to happen. Even though it's not really my style of Castlevania game, I still want to play it anyway. I hope I have this retro bunny. I hope so. I want this level to be over. This is such a terrible level. It's not that bad if you get here if you can use other items. I mean, it's still a hard level, but uh, if you're using weapons and stuff, it's way easier. All right, now we have to deal with the stupid skulls again. Boyfriend used to talk on the phone weird, I know, and he would talk about his buddy. He'd be like, use beta, use beta. I don't think I ever got beta somehow in that game. I missed out. I'm just going to keep running and hope it doesn't hit me again. It will. Okay, cool. What can I do about this fight? No! so close. I'm so close. But it's, it's a long way off still. I'm close. That's not good enough, though. I need to be a little bit closer. A little bit more required. Doppelganger, no sub-weapons. It's hellish. Absolutely hellish. And he's using sub-weapons, and I'm not. Cheating bastard. I hate the guy. He's using them, and I'm not. And he does like four points of damage. I do one. If I beat him, he just absolutely sucks. There's no excuse. We're getting past the birds a little bit more frequently, at least without taking damage. But I mean, it, it can happen at any second. All right, let's level up here. I'm getting there. Just got a pretty good pattern worked out. Just need to perfect it. Yeah, if I had made a few more jumps right there, we would have beaten him. But the problem is when he jumps to the high ledge, I have to jump over him with like a pixel perfect jump. It is so hard to pull that off. It's doable. It's definitely doable. Why can't it be like it is in, uh, in, the, first, in the first loop? They had to make this harder. Oh my god. Never played any Final Fantasy game. I did date a girl who worked at Square Enix, though. What a great place to work. 
What an amazing place to work. Well, I don't know about these days, but like back in the day, that would have just been like one of the greatest jobs like ever. Ooh, that was nice. I would love to go into this fight with full health. We're going to do it for once. All right. No! Oh, goodness. He jumped on top of me? God. Oh my god. That sucks. That fight sucks. Oh my god. <laughs> the end is within sight. I'm going to die here on purpose so we get lives back and go for Dracula. Oh my god. Oh, we got the fake idiot dead. Thank you for GG's, guys. I appreciate it. Holy freaking crap. This level I don't think is going to be as hard unless they just do something absolutely masochistic with it. And I, there's probably going to be the skull heads are going to be here. Because this was Medusa heads before. It's skull heads this time. Yeah, I figured it would be. All right. <laughs> Great. Wonderful fun. The skull heads are laggier than the Medusa heads. It's slowing the game down. That's kind of cool. <laughs> That's kind of neat. I like that. Oh, wait. What am I doing? I was supposed to be dying. I forgot to die. Hold up. We got to start over. <laughs> we need lives. I forgot to die. Hold up. I was supposed to get myself killed there. All right. Now we go into a full lives. We got to take Drac down now. We're not stopping. We're not stopping. This is going to the end. This is going to the end. Dracula, if they don't change that fight any, which they probably did for loop two, then we're going to more than likely find a way to beat him. It's a lot harder Dracula fight than it is in Castlevania 1. That one's a piece of cake. Once you learn it, learning it's hard, but once you get there, you're good. These skulls are just god-awful to deal with. They're just RNG. Awesome! We're right there at the end, too. Alright, start over. Dude, we're on the last stage. This is freaking doable. Time to sack-tap the drag. That's right, man. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it, man. Yeah, guy hit the freaking doppelganger was taking off like a quarter of my life or more every hit. At least we've learned how to put up with the birds a little bit better. They're not quite the threat they used to be, but that doesn't mean they're not going to be. There we go. This is a fairly short stage, but unfortunately, like Castlevania 1, there is no checkpoint at Dracula. So if you lose to Dracula, you go back to the regular checkpoint in the stage, which is not good. But if they don't change that fight any, we're going to be okay, I think. This is definitely harder with the skulls. Ah. Oh, we're going to dodge that, I guess. No, no. Oh, no. Oh, they fire three shots here. Uh-oh. They fire three shots there. It's three. They changed the pattern. It's three instead of two now. I forgot about that. That's that's part of what you deal with on the last level is those skull head things fire three shots instead of two. I forgot about that. And we got to do that part again. That's fine. That's totally fine.
just hope they don't change the Dracula fight too much and we got this. I'm betting that something's going to be different with it simply, be simply because the doppelganger fight was much harder. So this probably will be as well. I've done, honestly, I've already done a loop too, but that was with using the weapons. I mean, you can shred the last part of Dracula with the axe. That's basically what the weapon's meant for on that part. Whip, not quite so. Can't dodge him all the time. Nope. Basically, take a lucky guess. Okay, here we go. All right, no problem, Meows. I'll catch you later. Thank you for hanging out. Really appreciate it, as always. More bat spawns are here. That's different. There's extra bats. Extra bat spawns. Okay, I don't have enough health to make it through this next part, so we're probably going to die here. Nope. We've got to get there with some more health. We gotta get there with at least one hit point, two hit points, so I can take a hit there and make it through. We gotta at least be able to do that. <sighs> so much stress with this part. Oh my god. I'm super curious what Loop 2 Drac is like. Yeah, I I've seen him before, Prax, but it wasn't really. The bird's RNG crap hit me right off the bat before I could move. That's awesome. Got to start over. We got to have a perfect run. They're looking for perfect here. But I don't remember Loop 2 Drac being much different, but I fought him with the axe, which just made it a piece of cake. Whip only is going to be probably going to be different this time. It was tough with Loop 1, but Loop 2 Drac, Whip only? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm scared. Cool RNG on the bird there. Love that. Love that very much. Okay, back to the skull heads. Getting through this part with some hit points is going to be a problem in itself. If I fall now, I'm going to die. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Got me. Okay, we can still afford a few hits. We can still afford one more hit. We can afford one more. And that's dead. Nope. Nope. We need one extra hit point to make it past that skull thing. That's all we need is one extra hit point. Got to get there. Got to clear that area with two hit points left. Or I'm basically working with four hit points. I can take four hits from anything without dying. These skull heads suck. That's what we've established. Yeah, I feel you. When you shred them with weapons, it's different for sure. You got to last longer. Yeah, the whip fights get dragged out like crazy. It's so slow killing some of the bosses with the whip as opposed to actually the, using the weapons. It's, it's, it's like playing a different game. You get to see what kind of weird shit exactly. Exactly. Prax, this would be a great challenge for you as well. You grind through hard games really quickly. It's, you beat Ninja Turtles on NES in one day. That was in madness. Madness. No. No, 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 no. Back to the drawing board. Try again. Jukebox, how's it going? Second run. Uh, it's, we're on the last level. The end is within sight. The end is upon us here. It's doable. It's doable, but we gotta get there. There's things that it's making me do here, and that's get there with some health. My idea is to like face tank one hit through that skull thing at the bottom so I can actually get to the checkpoint if we can make it there. That's my whole plan. Face tank a hit through it, which is gonna give me less lives to work with for the deeper part of the, this stage, but I don't see any other way to do it. I see no other way to do this part. If I take a hit there, I die. JC beat Castlevania 2 world record. 30 minutes, nice! I know he's been working on getting a world record set up for that, and it looks like he succeeded marvelously. I'm not surprised the way he meticulously does his speedruns, though. 
I've never seen a more consistent speedrunner than him. I've seen a lot of good ones, but, but JC is just freaking insane. He gets things down by the pixel. That is awesome. I want to do a run for a long time. This was the first really hard NES game I've beaten. I'm still scared of it. Ship only, deathless, never mind, loop two, whip only. Yeah, it's a hell of a challenge. Hell of a challenge. But it's such a good game. This has got to be one of the best games on the NES library. I think it's a top five. Is that going to like shoot me from behind? It is. Okay. I think we're going to be okay. We're okay. We're fine. Yeah, Prax, that's going to be fun when you do that. That's going to be fun. I see a lot of your streams when I'm at work and stuff, even though I have to be quiet a lot of times. I do get to see a lot of your stuff. Your Final Fantasy plays have been awesome. I can't believe you did Final Fantasy V at level freaking 30. And like, everybody else I've seen play that game gets to, like, level 50 or something before they end up finishing. And I'm like, dude, he's doing freaking last guy at level 30. The hell? <laughs> it was a grind, though. All right, what's going on here? All right, we have to get. Through. There's going to be more bats on the swing on the swinging uh, on this swingy part up here. Number one or two for me. Sure, this game is so damn cool. It's definitely one of my favorites. And I didn't even get to play this much as a kid. I played this very little when I was a kid. I think I rented it once, and I was like, oh, it's good, but it's too hard." And didn't really actually get a chance to play it until I was grown up on stream and I ended up loving it. Okay, what kind of decision do I need to make there? <laughs> make a good one, like that. Alright, there's no checkpoint at Dracula and we're down some hit points so that's a problem. Alright, so at least we get to see freaking Drac for the first time. What is 4J4? Am I missing out on something? It's probably something I don't know what it is. <laughs> what is that, Culep? Appreciate the lurks a lot, dude. Love a work lurk. It's brutal. Final Fantasy V is cruel to the inexperienced. I've gotten nowhere with that one when I played it. That's the one I've got to go back and work on. I don't think I can do it level 30, though. That was madness. Good start against Drag. Okay, it doesn't appear to have any extra hit points. Good start, all right. Gotta get under him. Oh, crap! Jesus! I'm gonna get hit down here in the corner unless I switch sides. No! Oh, it's bad, it's ruined. We're looking at a ruined run here. Damn it. Sucks. Easy peasy, I wish, Sean. <laughs> I'm going to die here in the corner. We got to get here with more health. All right, fine. You want to switch sides on me? I'll switch them. Tracker, welcome in. Mixer, your dodging is a stuff of legends. I think I get lucky with half this dodging stuff going on, Tracker. It's not by intent. <laughs> All right, well, at least we'll get to see the last Drac form for like a minute or two. So far, this feels pretty similar to the original. Maybe he's a little faster. Greedy. Greed took over right there. I should have fought more defensively. I was very greedy right there, and that's not the way to be. That was so close. That was close, guys. That was close. It's a pretty good first run. We need to get there with more hit points. <laughs> I think that's part of the problem. We would have beaten him. 
We totally would have beaten him there. No, 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 bat! Oh my god, I can't get health back. Ruined run. Ruined run. Sad, sad, sad. The run just got ruined right there by the bats. There's more bat spawns here. That's a problem. They do happen. Just fell off the ledge. They do happen here, like on the normal game, but they're less frequent. Ooh, that was close. That was even closer. All right, now we get Dracula with two freaking hit points. That's not good enough. We need at least three. Have good instincts, you think, Tracker? I, I hope so. <laughs> I've been playing these games for a long time. I, I hope to be like somewhat competent at them sometimes. <sighs> Alright, so maybe the run's not ruined yet. Ah, that was not good. This is a really cool boss fight, Bunny. It's a, it's a very well-designed boss here. All right, good start. I'm going to have to go under him at some point. If you get caught in the side of the screens here, he will just crush you up against the wall. All right, that's going to be okay. I'm too low. I can't get him. Really? I think the lasers are faster. I think the lasers are faster here in loop two. The lasers are much quicker. I gotta do some damage. I can't just hide from him all day long. I have to fight. I gotta fight. I was trying to do some extra damage there. Hide. It's a winnable fight, man. It's a totally winnable fight. The lasers are faster in loop two. I can definitely see that. That is what's different. Faster lasers. I'm going to get hit here. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I'm taking a hit here. Ah. <sighs> Extra bats here. Yeah, it sucks. It's more bats. They don't throw two at you at the same time, usually. Alright, no lives left. Full health. No lives left. Oh, health. Dracula's second form is a bunch of faces. Yeah, pretty much. Someone earlier said crazy that it was like a... Uh, it was like looked like the second form of Dracula, like a toilet. It kind of does a little bit. <laughs> I kind of see it. It's being greedy. I need to stop being greedy and take what the game's giving me here. Be kidding me with that stuff. RNG. 
Little RNG mixed in right there. The pattern's not the same every time I thought it was. It's not. It's a little different. It's not always the same. See, I'd memorized the pattern from last time and it played out differently that time. What? Oh, he's not low enough. Still not low enough. All right. So close, so freaking close, man. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's over, it's over. Two loops, whip only, Trevor only, it's over. Goodness, what a run, man, what a run. Thanks for all the GG's, guys, man, I am exhausted. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Let's never walk this path again. I think we will at some point. We'll find something else to do with this. <laughs> Believe it or not. No, we gotta do Grant only and Sypha only and Alucard only. There's more to do. Thank you for the GG's, guys. Very kind. Sean, Jukebox, Farley, Foxy, Brass League, Vanilla, Steven, Culip, Vance, Celestial. Thank you so much, guys. Crazy, Ale, Charles, Retro Bunny, Crudders, 8-Bit. You guys are awesome. Thunder, what's up? God of Disappointment. Thank you for the GGs, man. Appreciate it. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow as well, buddy. Holy God, that was intensity right there. I had a blast. That's my kind of grind right there. That is my kind of grind. That's the kind of stuff we need more of way more of that kind of stuff no more bad games no no more no loop three loop three is the same as loop two got lucky again yes thank you chaos warrior thank you neff thunder chaos warrior crudders gunjack thank you guys oh my god <laughs> holy crap it's finally over but there's a lot more to do with this game so expect to see it again in the future we're doing more crazy stuff the journey has only begun. That's right. I agree. No more bad games. Unfortunately, there will be more bad games at some point, at some time. Talking specifically about Trevor only, Whip only, Alucard Path. Not much left to improve there. Leather Whip only. Oh, God. Leather Whip. Can you imagine the doppelganger fight with the Leather Whip, Vance? Can you imagine that? That was the hardest boss in the game, by far. Dracula wasn't that bad. <sighs> <laughs> Just finished my yard work. Yeah, it's seven hours, seven and a half hours of streaming. Goodness, thanks, Pookums. Appreciate it, man. Still time for a Yo Noid run. No, I think it's time for a dinner run because I'm about to freaking starve. It's 7 30. I haven't eaten a bite yet. Bad games. Yeah, there's going to be more bad games. Thankfully, Castlevania 3 is not one of those bad games. Another awesome achievement to add to your ever growing list. I'm excited about this one, Vanilla. That was a. That took a lot of grinding. Oh my goodness. Allie, thank you. Appreciate it. This is loop three, but it's the same as loop two. Watch. I will prove it. I will get hit by something so you take the same amount of damage. No difference here. Enemies don't get any faster. That skeleton was there on loop two as well. No difference. All right, guys, let's go on a raid. I'm starving. I gotta get something to eat. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't have to stream till midnight. I was willing to do it, though. And, and until we beat the game, I was willing to do it. 
Well, let's go on a raid, man. Let's go. Let's raid. Who's doing what? Who's doing what? Rat's playing Battle Toads. Let's raid Rat. Rat's awesome. She's doing her. She's doing a hard game today. I did a hard game today. We, we each did our own grind, so we're gonna hit Rat with a raid. I rarely get to raid her. Our streaming times like never overlap. But guys, thank you so much. You guys are incredible people, and I am very happy to know you. Glad you could hang out here today on this incredibly difficult grind that I'm happy to be over with. Yes, Vanilla, I think I got a bit lucky. I did. Some of those fights could have gone the opposite way very, very quickly. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to see you guys on Thursday. I'm sure I'll see you in other channels and stuff along the, throughout the week. But uh, I'll be back on Thursday, and we'll come up with something to do. Yeah, going to get something to eat, Allie. Thank you, Crazy. I appreciate it, man. That was, uh, that was uh, a lot of fun. I had an absolute blast. Thank you, Vanilla. Thank you, Retro Bunny. Thank all you guys. You guys are awesome. I love hanging out with you guys. Awesome, awesome people. And love you guys, too. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Stay safe. And I will catch you next time. Have a good one.